Man, I can't believe Noctu is dead. Yeah, I'm not killing. I just said That's no more crazy. spoilers! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking whack. Okay, I'm gonna send out ads. Say hi to chat, everybody. Hi, hi chat. chat. God, this thing is so low. We're, we're live with, we're live. with Indigo? Live. Oh, we're live? No way, no, sounds fake. Yeah, it's, it's been not three fake. years. Welcome back to Dai Sui Sin. Yeah, I was gonna so say, finale, is this finale, like a finale. Dai Sui Sin spin off show yeah. that we're seeing here? Happy to announce yes. that Koji and Dai Sui Sin again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, look at you guys with the chat integration. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Hey! Yeah. Oh, oh, chat. You're on TV! <laughs> no, yeah. wait, I can end go. Yes. So, uh, in the upper right, it should be a credit sequence also. I don't know how to start it, but, um, yeah, it should go at some point. The rest of it, uh, yeah, as you can see, there is a bar in the lower left. That is functionally a, an achievement bar to unlock Nocti's hint corner. If you completely deplete it, we do a dumb, meaningless comedy scene at the end. Uh, I don't know how to value it, so I set it kind of low at first. Um, so, yeah, uh, donate if you want, you don't gotta, support's enough, uh, but I did add a wacky incentive. Um, okay. we spent a long time working on the new overlays, etc. These are thanks to Bryn, um, they look very nice. Um, yeah, they do. Oh, someone's uh, name Super got cut off by the thing. Oh, got cut off by the thing? Let me see if I can oh, open that. Oh, a yeah, shorter put, it on the, put it on the higher level. Yeah, give me a sec. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Oh my God, the neon caster, kitty cat, kitty Kate, Spencer, Aloha, and there's Run. one more in here. And two, the four, six, me. GP. The bar's bar been depleted. Good job, everybody. Oh, the bar's the bar's gone already. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry. Thank you for the sub, Jack of Coins. Thank you for the sub, so goes Big Blood. Thank you for all the subs. And oh God! I told you you should have said it higher. Thank you for all the, the you should have made dead. a bigger joke. <laughs> <laughs> the bar's dead. It's it's easy. So that was easy. That was easy. Hey, Chad. <laughs> Thank you for all the subs, and it's greatly appreciated. Please forgive us if we miss any of you, as there's a lot of people flooding in, and we are but one men. Yes, you, you have, you have a, God, I'm, hold on, I've got a. They just I've annihilated gotta, that bar. Yeah, I gotta see how, how dead it is. Oh, it's really dead, it's, it's gone. Yeah, no, um, uh, 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 okay, thank you everyone. Brand now that the new one is subscribed. Use emotes. Spam some yes. emotes in chat. Spam everyone. some emotes. Spam Hiles. Spam Hiles. Oh, hey, look at that. We got the credits up That's there. The credits. Through. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. We didn't have any room for the notification thing, so this thing pops up on top as well over the credits. Yes. So, yes. you know, honestly, wait, Ellen, I got a fix for this. Why did you put a first? It's, it does it automatically. Aloha, no, Aloha no. got in first, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Aloha cheated. Nice. Oh, man. Yeah, this is snazzy. I love this. I'm, Pretty. I'm really Hi. digging the wall of emotes that are happening. Oh, yeah. Right now. This is a real Twitch, Twitch channel. We got yeah. all the emotes. Oh, my drivers. God. We've Finally. got Knock to a Dead in the lower They're left hand corner. Yes. Yeah. Dude, I am just here oogling at all of this art. I, I've yeah. only yeah. seen some of it, but oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> this tear heart emoji. It's so good. <laughs> I've only seen the ones relevant to me. To Uba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got a lot. I got a lot. It, I, think it, I think it panned out. I think it looks good. <laughs> right, I'm gonna need you to pan to those feet. Yeah. I saw yeah. the, I saw you hiding those feet. <laughs> I'm banning you both on Twitch.tv. Do it. Do it. The entire website. Oh god, do it. So, do it. um Oh boy. Uh thank you everybody for coming. Um thank you for uh being here for what is the beta session for chapter 3? Chapter 3 isn't quite ready to start yet. We're waiting on it. A lot of stuff still. Uh, there's, there's a lot that still needs to be prepped, uh, both like art and GM-wise. We're, we're just not ready, but um, we wanted to 
We wanted to at least give everybody a sample and sort of get back into the swing of things ourselves. After this session, I'm going to be running lots and lots of side stories off to the side um, for my various players to get them both used to their characters in the world, get into it a little bit more. We're going to be showing them on Patreon and they'll become public as everything, as all things do. Um, next Saturday, we are going to start Beretta's Endless Summer Trip, the previous patron exclusive thing. Um, it's going to air, and once it's done, I think Chapter 3 will probably be ready. So, yeah. Uh, chart your no expectations spoilers, but it is not actually endless. It, yeah, there are a number of sessions in it. Was it nine? Yeah. I think it's nine it sessions. Nine. It, was it was nine. nine. It did um, end. It did end, sad face. Yes. Uh, so, always ends. with that out of the way, why don't we start with our snazzy new introductions? Um, J-Man, if you would, uh, start us at the top. All right, first up, Christian. Yeah! Hey, everyone. Um, I've never played in... <laughs> no, I'm not even gonna fucking make that joke. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm a co-GM now, at least for this one. I played Teach in the last two chapters, and this time I'm just helping around with some, some stuff, ideas, maps where I can, and all sorts of other stuff. I just finished up Daisui Sen, and for the next month, basically, I'm gonna be releasing mini-RPs, and then after that, there's gonna be some more content that I'm gonna start dropping, too. Uh, keep an eye for that. Uh... And yeah, that's, that's basically all. I'm playing a number of characters today. I'm really excited. It's going to be fantastic. Nice. Next, Next up. up. Yeah, you, you do the calls. Yes. Hello. I'm Jibo. I'm playing Beretta of the Beretta's Endless Summer Trip fame. Um, I, uh, I hate Aloha. <laughs> <laughs> when, I mean, when he got you, he got you, so... <laughs> Shout what? out to Aloha and chat doing all the uh, links, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Post my links, you dirty, dirty trollop. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Next up, me. Hi, everyone. It's me, your good pal, J-Man. I do a bunch of shit behind the scenes on the channel, and I, I, I co-GM, but to a lesser extent this time, uh, this game. Uh, but I'm going to be being a player. As you can see, I'm doing Skyus this time. It'll be a fun guy. Uh, check it out, see shit. I got some shit. I don't remember what it is. Uh, check out the official Discord and uh, shit. You know, killing it. You Thanks, got man. it. You know, man. I'm, I'm on fire. You are. I'm really excited for Sakaya's. <laughs> Thank you. J Man says literally in flames. <laughs> yep. Next up, Kaguya. Ah, hi. I'm Kaguya. I am going to be playing Amai. Uh, I hang around, do art. Uh, I have a Patreon. I, I do a lot of commissioned work for, for games of these. Uh, and I have uh, a few few things that I've done in this, this show, too. But yeah. Excellent. Nice. Yeah. Mask. Mask. I was muted. There we go. Hi, folks. I'm Wandering Mask. I do some art, and I move books from one shelf to another is basically my job. Uh, I have a Kofi, I think. Thank you all for coming out. And Aloha, thank you so much for the links. Thanks. Nico. Me. Ah, Nico. Hello. Um, it is I. It is Nico. I'm going to, I played Sonder. I apologize preemptively for anything he does. Um, I do, I, I do arts. I do arts for this show and others, and I do commission work. Hello. Roma. It's my turn. Hi, I'm Roma. I do art for this show and some other shows, and you can find a lot of that stuff up early on my Patreon. Uh, there's a lot of chapter three stuff up there if you want to come check it out. And I hope you guys like the session. Nice. Then, Yam. Me. Hi guys, I'm Yam. Sometimes I'm also called Amy. I play Selif, and sometimes I play video games on this channel. That's about it. I'm so happy to be back. Nice. Yeah. Finally, Jay. 
Hi, I'm Jay. Hi. Um, I tactically placed myself at the end of this list so I could smoothly transition into talking about the game. Hi. Mark. Um, we have a Patreon. Uh, it, uh, the Windrose Everlasting Patreon. It has lots of stuff related to this show that you can see pretty much a little bit ahead of time. Uh, everything on the Patreon will eventually be free. Um, but uh, basically contributing is just you get a, you get a sneak peek and you support the show. Speaking of supporting the show, all this fancy shit on the screen right now is uh, thanks to you all. Seriously, like, it, it paid for all of this. Thank you. <laughs> like, from the bottom of my heart. I, I can't quite communicate how nice it's been to be able to, uh, like, really make the, make the thing look good. And you guys paid for the website before the, end of, uh, before the start of last chapter. Y'all are the best. Thank you so much. Yeah. But... Fear of God. Yeah! I think we're about ready to start. And, uh, before we do, I guess I want to explain my mentality slightly with this. So, it's been about, um, it's, it's been, what, like six months, seven months since, since we years. did, like, yeah, two years for some people here. Um, and getting back into this, this is, this chapter that we're getting into right now is one that we had a really good idea for after chapter one ended. Like, immediately after it ended. Uh, J-Man threw out an idea and it's ballooned and built and built and built so i find myself here having worked my ass off the last few months to get this in place so right now what i'm looking at with this game is almost like it's almost like staring at it through two layers of glass there is one side of me that is thrilled out of my mind and then the other side that's a little terrified because this is the moment that all of that planning shifts into reality but I sort of realize the beauty of this game is and always has been, no matter how much prep you do, you can't prepare for shit. <laughs> the, like a rock will smash through those two panes of glass. There is only the reality of what Indigo is, which is uh, something that um, I, I try to make for you guys. And then similarly, you energy tennis right back to me. So forgive any slowness in this session. Forgive any changes that I'm doing on the fly. This one is built to be a new launching point for the next bit that goes forward. But, um... What value does a new launching point have without a little bit of context? Without peering, even if only for a moment, into the past? Cassius. Fear of God. It's the height of summer. It's the height of summer. You've taken the long path out. It's it's an area of the city that not many people come to. Not these days. The old noble district was left abandoned. It's the oldest part of town, but that sort of makes it a denial to the various amenities and advantages of living with an indigo proper. The people who still live here are few and fall far between. You're pretty sure there's a shopkeep here, maybe, but mostly, this is only home to the weeds. Dodge watch walks ahead of you and travel behind him. Turns around and looks at you. Hey, partner, come on. I'm coming, I'm coming. You follow behind. The crunch of leaves underneath your feet. It's funny. Something about this doesn't exactly sing right in your head, but at the same time, you follow along. If this is a dream, it's a pleasant one, working together with your partner. You travel towards a bridge. A creek babbling directly beneath. He moves ahead with an almost enjoyed step, an air and an energy that's uncharacteristic to Dodge. He's confident now. Apparently, the last few weeks of hard work have managed to bolster the man up. He's proud of his new position. He travels forward, and you look across. In the distance, you see boarded up and sitting on a small little incline, a church dedicated to Rockus. The, bill, uh, the various windows are boarded up, the glass scattered across the ground, and a resident thought cascades across your entire brain. That church was supposed to be empty. 
You blink. The warm summer air once again grazing across your flesh. Dodge looks back. Hey, you uh, doing good? Um. Um. Uh, I don't know. You pause for a moment. You think about that really deeply. Am I doing okay? Huh. Well, I guess we gotta get closer. Um, reports are Gylardia moved into the area, and we gotta make sure they're not, like, well, they're not setting out an outpost here or something. Come on. Um, we'll, we'll get you food or something on the way back. Okay. Move up. Gylardia moving into the area. Huh, weird. Weird. You, you look down and almost go up to touch your face for a moment, brush the hair out of your eyes, and something strange about that, too. Looking down at your hand, you remember their almost bruised coloration. Uh, something about the change in your blood flow or something. But right now, your hands seem uncharacteristically lively. They seem to be full of almost a vibrancy in a life that you're not you're not a hundred percent used to. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cassius, how are you feeling about any of this? I think he's getting more and more scared. Like, you know that sinking feeling in your stomach? Yeah. I think that's starting to kick in <laughs> really hard. And he's like, he's like, okay, I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, you travel towards this tiny church. And you feel the emptiness of this place. Apparently, in ages past, Indigo was very devout. Followers of the Blooming God, but over time it sort of slipped away. This Church of Rakus stands a sort of ruin, but one that was constructed in the last hundred or so years. Abandoned so quickly after its initial inception. The, uh, Dodge moves forward and places a hand on the door slightly. He reaches down to his side and brushes his hand across his sword, adorning his belt. Hey, um, uh, get out your badge. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm realizing what's happening. I think Cassie's just realized what's happening. <laughs> If there's really any Gylardians in here, we need to we need to have something that shows that we're a neutral party and they won't just um gun us down or whatever. Uh um can I go in first? He nods and then lets you walk to the door. Move up. And as you do, your, your hand reaches down and it brushes across something. You reach into your pocket and you pull something out. A badge, a familiar one. But weirdly, not the one you know. This is a green badge. This isn't an adornment meant for someone else, but you hold on to it just the same. Apparently this thing is very important to you. Bits of whatever... Bits of whatever strange or alien logic are keeping you together start to sort of untwine around the badge. Cassius, I ask you again, how are you feeling about any of this? Scared. <laughs> scared. You, uh... You feel this oddity. You feel this oddity, and just the same... You creak open the door, and you head inside. This is supposed to be blue, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> it's supposed to be blue, isn't it? Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Uh, you know what? That's an, that's an interesting point you just made. This badge is supposed to be blue, right? The IPD badge was always blue. blue. The heating on it. You tip the badge up in your hand. Almost examining it a little more closely. Judicial Affairs Department employee? What the hell? That's not... That's not IPD. That's not IPD. Hmm. 
That thought honestly provides you a weird amount of context in that moment as you push the door open. And you travel inside a church. It's quiet again. But you can't shake that sensation that something's wrong about this place. There's not supposed to be people here. You know this for a fact. And as the door slides open, eventually enter. Little abandoned place, dust strewn across the floor. You look around. It's quiet here. Empty. As empty as it's supposed to be. Hmm. Dodge sort of eases his way in. Uh, okay, um... Should we lay low or like yell out or something? Well, um, let, let's let's yell. <laughs> Nods. Let's yell. Um, hello, is there anyone in here? The words resound off the walls, and almost simultaneously, you you feel the air in the church almost change. As someone shifts, moving down the stairs, step by creaky step, it's a figure that shouldn't be here. She touches down and moves directly into the church proper. Closing in slightly, she looks at you. Oh, the detective again. This is Gallardian property. Get out. Motions with a hand. Cassius. Cassius is Cassius might not be completely keeping it together at this point. <laughs> I think he's starting to kind of panic because this is not right. Cassius? Why don't you give me a roll to die in this moment to keep it together? Oh, I don't like that I only have two! Like <laughs> what dice one. are you logging in? <laughs> You lock in a feeble black dice, trying to push back against the presented reality in front of you. The dream flickers and dances in front of you for a moment, and then back, I'm locking in your red. She takes another step forward. Dodge is like, sort of giving you a little space, but sort of edging his way in front of you, Cassius. Can I? This is this is stupid. Yeah. Can I red string dodge? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Why don't you roll to die for me? Ah, <laughs> uh, that your your black attribute grows slightly stronger as you red string dodge. Tell me, what dice are you locking in? My black stat. <laughs> <laughs> you lock in your black stat as Dodge vanishes immediately before your eyes. There are no strings tied to this one. As you move in to what you are starting to, you're starting to put it together. Cassius, tell me, what do you believe is happening in this moment? He's hallucinating or something. <sighs> yeah, you start to put it together. This, this, this has to be a dream, right? Hallucination. Something like that. Hmm. A lot of this is wrong. Cassius? Yeah? We're going to recollect the path that carried you to this point. Okay. You stand at the start of your journey, and immediately in front of you, a path laid in bricks carries its way through the darkness. That is a solid path. It's one that is well-worn, and will carry you safely towards the future. As you walk this path, I'm sure you remember a few key events. You don't have many memories rattling around in your head, but at least over the last few months, you managed to hold on to a few significant events that have managed to keep everything together. 
That's right. You, uh... <sighs> you dealt with a specific case in the university. A great creature that was stalking the students and making the entire thing an absolute living nightmare. You confronted it alongside your friends, correct? Mm-hmm. Yes. Where I wasn't with them. Hmm. That's weird. <laughs> I wasn't with them. <laughs> Cassius, I'm going to lock in that red stat of yours again. Could I lock in my black as a counter? Hmm. You'd reject this then, huh? That's not what happened. <sighs> Let me make a case. Let me make it. Just, just give, give, give me a second. Let me make a case for this, okay? Just just walk, walk with me a sec, okay? No, um, no I don't want to. <sighs> Cassius, though, down this path, look. So many things happen differently. A string of possibility dances out from one of your fingers, and it connects you to a point that you reject. You refuse to walk down the path any further. But you see it. You see a different Cassius, a very different one. One that managed to convince the one Martha Teach to reject her position at the university to join your organization. Mm. Everything sort of mutated from there. Growing one by one, your little... Hmm. Your little faction was granted power by some outside source. It was given the ability to push back against the brutal situation of Indigo. And... Bit by bit... You did that, along with your friends. One by one, you pushed, you pushed back against this brutal situation you're in. You stare at the end of this path. You stare at a reality in which you stood, comically facing your rival on a rooftop. <sighs> That's not how it went, is it? <laughs> That's not how it went. Cassius, you can lock in your black stat now. Instead, we talk about a more scattered route. That's right. From the very beginning, Cassius, you weren't there when they fought the Scholar, right? No, I got too hurt. Hmm. As you look over, you follow the other path. A broken and empty one. One that grants Cassius the person less power. You look at it. A bloody dodge cradled in your arms. You faced a great creature in that university, sure. But, um... When it came time to cross that threshold, you prioritized the life of Dodge above the life of, um... Well, the other people around you. Everyone else. That was a decision you made. Yes. You can't exactly walk back to that brick path. So, I guess the only choice is to press further. Cassius, do you remember what what changed there that day? Do you remember Do you remember the person that you met on that stage? I do. Hmm. You feel strength in your legs remembering that encounter. That's right. While you were encountering the scholar, you came face to face with a person who frankly shouldn't have been there. You look. With the aid of another, you chased him down, right? You made him leave his stupid sewer. Yeah. Hmm. That was really the point that this last path breaks down, right? Like, it, let's be real here. Um, all I this think stuff. The point where the last path, path breaks down is the idea that I would tell Martha Teach to stop teaching at the university. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fair enough. You cast your gaze down this way. This path, that one, that one. The one that head off in that direction. The best way to put it is, though, it's a very Cassius-centric path, you know? Um, that's a path that puts you at the center of the universe. That's a path that puts the people immediately around you at the center of the universe. But as you look around on the path you took instead, all the strange outliers that you've picked up around you 
you realize that what you're following instead isn't this path of brilliant spring and deep trust. You never had that emotional moment with Teach on the Bridge. No. You, um, took a different course. Cassius, are you willing to jump in this direction? I won't make you, but, uh, it's a much greater leap than heading that way. I'll jump. Okay. Give me a roll to do. See if I fall and die. <laughs> you catch the edge, and you keep going. Hmm. The stranger path. The more unusual, uncertain one. You look as you feel the cascade of events that traveled out from you. Are you going to jump again, Cassius? Do you think you can make it? Well, I made it last time, I guess. Oh. This is what happened. Give me that roll. I fall into the abyss and die. Cassius! You do indeed catch the edge of the abyss. Hey, you managed to pull yourself up. That was a uh, mighty risky thing you did there. Pulling yourself up barely, you look across. A different series of events. Hmm. Yeah, another weird outlier case. Champion of Noctua, huh? You and your friends managed to grab hold of that one. And, uh, whatever fate that this would have led to... Well, you're chasing down this path now. Take another step forward. Cassius, wound one of your dice. Tell me what you're wounding. Red. Ah! <laughs> Makes sense. I assume I can only pick up the two. You can only pick up the two. Red. Ah, beautiful. Okay. Let me hit that button. And you... You once again get ready. Hey, Cassius, you think you can jump this one? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> Give it a shot. You leap, you hit the ground. And... There's nothing in front of you this time. In the far distance, you can see your next step, but... Man, that one back there was such a solid, easily traversable brick path, you know? Like, it would have been simple. You just make everything about you. Like, Cassius, with your power, you have the ability to see the bonds between people. You could, you could draw it all together. You could make the city a better place if you just, if you treated those strings more like reins, you know? That's... No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> Not to you, be a rude-ass, but that sounds super fucking weird. Oh, well, you can't blame someone for trying. Well, okay, give the abyss a shot, my friend. I'm sure you'll make it. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> Cassius? Yeah? You leap into that utter darkness, a void of pitch black that you'd honestly rather face than that other life. And you, you vanish into that abyss. You feel nothing but the cool wind and the darkness roiling and boiling around you. But you catch hold of something. And you start to pull your way out. And... As you do, one hand lurches its way over the edge, and you pull yourself free to that single aisle of darkness. There's nothing really around you at this point, but hmm. your head feels clear. You got rid of that nasty red stat that was confusing you. Now let's go over that assertion with you again. Cassius, what do you think's happening? I don't know. Okay. Well, you're not entirely sure. Do you think you're in a church right now with Dodge and Noctua? No. Hmm. Then I guess the only alternative is the other one, right? The one with the lady I don't know? Unfortunately, yeah, seems like that's your only choice. Hmm. Well, that's better, I guess, right? 
hands. Okay. Your eyes peek open. And Cassius, you realize something immediately. It's not the height of summer at all. All that exists behind you in that cool, cold air is the welcoming embrace of fall. Her eyes crack open in a much different church. Cassius, roll to die for me. Hey. Hmm. Those are all right. Cassius, you're awake now. I fall asleep here? You crack your eyes open, and you look around. Hmm. This church still feels familiar. That's the worst part of this, you know? You walked all the way out here. You know you walked all the way out here with the way your legs are screaming. This church seems weirdly familiar. Across the way, almost as if repeating everything beat for beat, someone travels their way down from the upper floor, an almost upsetting quality to the air, moving with them. She sets her foot on the bottom step and moves down. Oh, hmm. What's somebody doing in my church so early in the morning? She moves over in this direction. <laughs> Cassius, how are you feeling right now? Uh, fucking weird. <laughs> you seem confused. Are you looking to offer a prayer? No, I can't say I am. She moves forward. Cassius, is that you? Recognition. A strange expression. Yes, that is my name. Have we met before? Hmm. Yes, actually. When I visited the city five years ago. Ah, uh, then we have not met before. Or we have. It's nice to meet you again. Hmm. She moves forward. I'm unsure of what you mean. But, I don't have any memories. Oh, I see. Hmm, shame that. <laughs> she starts to move in and, uh, like, almost starts to inspect you a little more closely. Hmm. Well, if you ran all the way here, perhaps I can get you a cup of tea. I would appreciate it. Is she it alright if I sit down? She nods and moves off. Silence starts to spread through the church once again. Hmm. How do you center yourself after a moment like this? That sucked. That sucked <laughs> so bad. That sucked so bad. What the fuck? <laughs> what do you do when you find yourself on the far side of town? Up hmm, at whatever hour this is. You pull out your phone, no reception. Um, it's, it's awkward, it's strange, and you still can't get a phrase from your dream out of your head. It just kicks around, almost like a worm embedding itself. Mm, I suppose I can ask about it. <laughs> There's nothing I can do but ask or try to remember, but look at yeah. what we're trying to remember got me, I guess. Do you feel like trying to remember right now, Cassius? I can I can try and remember. I'm already here. You're already I'm here. already sucking it up. You're already sucking it up, that's right. Hmm. Give me a give me a roll to die, then a roll to do. Okay, one second. And then pick whichever stat would go with this. Oh, I don't know. Based on what was happening. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, give me give me that roll to do. Okay, interesting. Well. Level up my Because I didn't. I forgot. I haven't put my UHP in it. You... You try to remember. You remember why this place mattered to you, and you catch on the edge of something. A memory that's trying to flit away deep within your head. 
You remember pressing yourself. Remember pressing yourself to the door. You remember someone next to you telling you to pull out your badge. You remember the scream of the cicadas, and you remember the height of summer. The image flashes in front of your eyes for a second. You've been to this church before. That dream didn't manifest conveniently. This is a place you know intimately. Cassius, I'm gonna just, I'll give you another, I'll, I'll ask your permission. Can I roll to do to see if you can pull on the thread of any of this memory anymore to see if you can discover what happened in this church? Sure. Okay. Hit this button. Okay. You cracked open the door. And you discovered something. This wasn't one church. In fact, it was two. The blooming god, something sprouting from the corpse of something else. There was something beneath this church. It was supposed to be empty, but you found its real inhabitant entombed beneath. Your eyes crack open again. Your tea. Oh, thank you. She holds uh, it out to you. Were you here last time we talked? She, um, she sort of shakes her head. <sighs> no, I wasn't able to come over to this church the last time. I was mostly confined to the docks. I see. Do you know about the basement? You bring up the basement, and she gets a... She gets sort of a look on her face as you bring it up. Hmm. That dusty old ruin down there. Yes, actually. I've been poking around a little bit, but at the same time, I can't say I've gone in particularly deep. Uh, I don't remember very much, but I think I've probably been down there. Oh, um, well, that's interesting. It seemed to be a shrine of some variety. Based on all the dog statues around, I would assume it was this land's former deity. I see. Um, I don't remember very much, but I don't think it was anything good down there. At least I assume so. Maybe it was something really good, I don't know. It doesn't sit very good with me. Yeah. This place isn't okay. You know that for sure. Well, I suppose I'll explore it then. Or maybe I'll hire you. Are you still doing the detective thing? Yes, I am. <laughs> well... That sounds like a fun outing. <laughs> she seems to, uh, she takes a step back over this way. Well, if you don't need anything else, I think I'll probably get back to bed. I'm supposed to keep this place open. I'm doing my best at pretending this is a Church of Rackus. I can't say I expected anyone to come over here, though, quite this far. I suppose the cathedral is in the city. Before you go, if you wouldn't mind reminding me of your name. Oh, um, she bows deeply. My name is Celicia. You can call me Celie, though. It works as a good nickname. Celie, hmm. okay. Well, you already know my name, but I'm Cassius. He does like a small little bow. <laughs> she nods and thinks. Hmm. You said most of your memories are missing, correct? Yes, I only have like about as many as you can count on both hands, maybe? Maybe less? She, uh, she ponders that. So, I suppose you probably wouldn't know the answer to the riddle you asked me last time. It's been vexing me ever since. Well, why don't you hit me with it? Maybe I'll remember. She nods. Hmm. Well, where I come from, I'm treated as something of a judge or an arbiter. Last time you were here, Hmm. You asked me... What was it? She twists a hand in the air. Her long fingers seem to be almost clearer see-through. You asked... Ah, yes. Um... Which do I find personally more interesting? Justice or kindness? I think you were going through a hard time with your job, and you wanted to know what another law person was interested in. I see. Well, 
I don't know what I thought back then, but I think if you had to ask me now, it'd probably be kindness. Hmm. <laughs> uh, she sort of thinks you answer very naturally there. I don't think you can really find justice without kindness. <laughs> she, uh, she sort of smiles again. <sighs> That's worth remembering, I guess. Well, you walked into my church and you provided me with a sermon instead. This is a delightful turn of events. I hope you visit again in the future. Maybe when I hire you to explore my creepy basement. <laughs> Maybe when I maybe when I come over to explore your creepy basement. <laughs> well, have a nice day, Cassius. You too, silly. She walks. Slowly exits. Hey Cassius, give me one more roll to die. Okay. Yeah, that's high enough. You picked them up. You manage to actually catch sight of them off to the side. You're unsure of how you missed them at first, but... There are creatures moving throughout this area. Oh, they almost seem to dude. all watch you, and as the congregation sort of comes to a close, this one immediately in front of you seems to perk up and smile directly at you. They all travel towards the stairs in pursuit of the... He waves at them as they leave. <laughs> this one moves in this direction. This one travels up to you, too. You can sense an aura from this one. <laughs> he smiles at it. Waits smiles for back at you. Thing it's going to do. <laughs> it smiles back at you and then moves on with its life. Okay, this Go almost parade of... Slip my tea into my face or something. <laughs> <laughs> this almost parade of spirits travels back directly upstairs. Cassius? Hmm? You know the basement's over in that direction. <laughs> you just do. But... Hmm. How are you feeling about it? Not today. Not you, today. You make a quiet call of not today. Not by myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's the smarter idea. After all, last time you were alone. Wish you brought your partner, right? No, that's not right. That's <laughs> not right. That's not right. That's not correct, actually. I, I'm saying no, that's not correct. <laughs> I was not alone. I wasn't. I wasn't. This is Cassie's telling that to himself. Yeah. Perfectly. You, you insist and you force those errant thoughts down. Your memories of this place sort of subsiding as you manage to put distance between yourself and it. And uh, as you go, there's nothing about silence. This place was so much livelier in summer, after all. But now... You exit in the early morning, probably 4 or 5 a.m. How the hell did I get here? Into a world wrapped in autumn. How the hell did I get all the way out? <laughs> this is a normal district, right? This is... To explain where this is, you would have had to walk for two hours straight to get here. And then you... <laughs> you hit the other point of realization. You're gonna have to walk for two hours back. Ugh, I sat down for a little while and drank tea. I could do it. I'm a you big drink. boy. I'm locked in red. You're locked in red. You start to walk down the path. So, so much quieter now. Old graveyard across the way. Old noble district behind you. Ever since the fire at the Alvier house, this place has been empty. Just... <laughs> How old are the graves here? Ancient. Well, ancient by... Ancient by this graveyard, or ancient by this city's standards, I suppose. They're about 100 years old, built with the church. With the church 100 years ago? Built with the church 100 years ago. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. You look back. You look at the architecture. All of this is a church of Rockus, for sure, but what Seely said... 
it's built upon another church, an yeah. older one. Wind blows through the trees. You're really glad you dressed for the weather. Yeah. Though, I guess my old outfit wasn't necessarily... Probably would have worked, too. Probably would have worked, too. But, uh... Hmm. Yeah, this is the one... This is the one you wear when it's time to do business. <laughs> when it When it might get filthy or disgusting or discarded. You don't want to risk the other one quite this much. Mm. So I came out here knowing... I, do I remember getting up this morning? No. Nope. There's no just, cell service, right? No cell service here. There's only you and the long walk back. A dusty trail of leaves. Do I know how far out it will be until the cell service kicks in? Yeah. It'll be about... You've been out to the old noble district once or twice. It'll... It's like a 45-minute walk from here. I guess I start walking. <laughs> Cassius, you start your long walk back to Indigo. That brook, babbling next to you. You take a second as autumn truly and fully sets in. We continue to move. The city always seems so different during autumn. Funny coincidence, you've only seen one, but you can feel it again. This changing weight, and almost has a cold life to it. Summer's flame has yet to properly go out. But what's starting now? What's starting now kind of chills you to your bone. <laughs> you had. Oh boy. You head down that long, lonely road. <laughs> you're down here. <laughs> Let me know when you're loaded. This map is a behemoth. Can you ping me again? Yes. Down from here, I see. Yep. You're exhausted. Sweat beads on your brow as you go. Where am I even heading? Uh, probably back into town. You got work this morning, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> and you stop. A slight clearing ahead of you as you hear a voice. Well, multiple voices, actually. A loud call from the far side that almost snaps you out of your morning doldrum. And uh, you look across. Oh, that's the time training yard, actually. As, as a, as one by one, it is impossible to escape the clamor of the tide's edge. One man is caught in the rope monkey bars. He spins freely end over end. Cassius. My fucking wife. <laughs> Cassius, this is more the indigo you remember. <laughs> up through this clearing. You start so to I head up that way. See my friends, and I, I wave at them. You start to wave as you head in. You... They wave back, embroiled in training, as you now walk down that paved street. Something new and different. You continue traveling down. <laughs> as you start to see a line of figures in the distance. Mm. Yeah. Oh boy, here they come. One after the other. Line of tides sprinting their way, doing the morning routine. And as you go, Cassius, you stop for a moment. Because of course you do. And you peer across at a tall tower, the top of which someone is sitting, majestic ass that he is, looking over all of them, sword pointed towards the ground. <laughs> he gives you an improving nod. <sighs> I, wave him. I wave at him. 
<laughs> as you wave back and you head your way deeper into the city. He's so <laughs> <laughs> You continue moving on. Everything over here. Well, you can feel the grasp that both Aranea and Tide's Edge holds. I mean, the Calamity Tempest holds on the city. A new modernizing force that swept through Seedside. This area, previously, was not quite so paved, not so heavy. You go over here. Doink, doink, Cassius there. Ugh. Yeah, this is your... This is your least favorite part of the city. Used to be different. But now it's certainly the case. Is that the pizza shop? No, 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 Cassius. You look across the way. You get closer. You start walking and... You realize, uh... Man... They're turning up the spotlights awfully early. Where there was once a uh, brilliant rainbow bakery, uh, something else has been built in its place. Oh, uh, an outpost? An outpost. It, it sort of stands up like an ugly scar in the middle of the city, Tempest now coagulating around it. This is their stronghold now. Most of the city is. Ever since the Empty Night, the Calamity Tempest moved into town. And, uh... Over time... That's becoming increasingly clear to the residents of the city. Tempest controls 80% of it at this point. You force your way across the bridge, back into Old Town, where you feel far more at home. walk and you pause for a moment on the bridge <sighs> Cassius you've been through a lot already somehow somehow I started the day going through it well more than that how many years of memories do you have at this point uh one and a half yeah. on the stoop one and a half yeah God, but it already feels like so much. More of you is certainly buried in the past, but the person you are now, well, feels like you've already lived quite the storied life, huh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you look back across your city. You look, you feel it, you inhale, and you let fall finally and fully set in. Question is, where do we go next? Well, you said I had work this morning. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got work, but uh, huh. Question is, are we gonna jump? We're we gonna jump backwards and talk about what happened earlier, hmm. earlier tonight or later tonight. That's it's a really big question. You know what? Hmm. It's been an hour, Jim. Hit us with the break screen. God, it's already been an hour? You got your Mine. moody intro. <laughs> uh, bless. I need to use the bathroom. I'll back. Yeah, hey, uh, moody-ass intro, thanks to Zephy Sonas on Twitter. Thank you so much. It's so good. Uh, you got God, this theme now. That's so cool. Uh, uh, the word is everyone in the, in the chat music. was like, chat was like, where's the song from? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is, this is the theme for chapter three. Mask, I have stuff to send you. Bunny. Oh, boy. Bunny. <laughs> yes. Bunny. My yes. wife. Yes. My wife. Yes. 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 He's handsome. He's uh, really good. <laughs> casually my, dropping my all wife. these hot men new designs. Uh, I love my you're, wife. I'm so dear, 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 dude. <laughs> <laughs> did, yeah. I, did I? Did I do good? 
<laughs> Good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, excellent, excellent work on the new designs. Y'all are, y'all did so good. Um, there hey. you go. Mass that's for, yeah. I saw Amy. We're good. Okay. We're getting it set up. That's why the break is necessary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did I fucking almost walk headlong into death and then not do it? How much did I Listen, listen, I'm always ready for the for the fucking rock to break through the two panes of glass. <laughs> you went for more memories than I expected, so you got uh you got you got fun hints that there's a church under the church. There's a church under the church with dog statues, smiley face. That's there's not cryptic. A, that's not that's not weird. That's not weird. That's not weird. Don't worry about it. That's not weird. Double church. I didn't know I knew Sealy. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Ask. Hi. Um, I am going to send you a full body of something so that Ooh. you can drop the full body reference. Ooh, give me. I think me, you me, already me. have it, but it's from like a million years ago. Oh, I should post the new Cassius icons in the chat? art artist. How, how are you guys doing? Yeah, how's chat doing? How's chat doing? <clears throat> I'm freaking out. Good. <laughs> that was fantastic. Yeah, I I uh I wanted to go for uh weird shit because um you know, we're in the weird That's shit what we're doing chapter. Today. That's what we're doing every day, unfortunately. So like if if you like the vibes and you're just checking this out, please stick around. Um we got lots more coming. I uh it's all like this. No. I uh I when you put the when you dropped the one which left on the bridge and then I kept walking the credit start, I was like, oh this is actually super cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm like Roma's got me. Roma's got me. <laughs> it was so cool. Just fucking yeah, perfect. Oh. Let's pack up for your mic a little bit. <laughs> oh dang it, I'll I'll I was even facing away on purpose. How about oh. this? Am I better? Yep. Excellent. Huzzah. Okay. Um <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna try to take uh we're gonna try to take more regular breaks because um it's healthier. <laughs> Taking Long. breaks is good for you! I you're in I, POV, you're I, in an anime intro, yeah. <laughs> I bestow upon mask full body references. Because mm. oh, they will no... be Bless. they will be relevant. Bless I had no idea that was gonna happen. I also yeah. uh I was scared. I was really oh. scared. You dropped me in that, and you're like, you're like, how do you feel? And I'm like, I don't know. Cassius is fucking freaking out. Losing his mind, yes. <laughs> it's like you come on that map with Dodge, and I'm like, oh, why are we in Dodge out here? And then it's, and then he's like, oh yeah, partner. And I'm like, yeah. And then he's like, pull out your badge, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. What? Oh, what no. are we doing? <laughs> oh no. Things have gone horribly wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have so much lore related to all of that. That's that's phenomenal. What? Why is it green? Don't worry about it. It's don't listen. Okay, it. don't worry about it. Just don't worry don't about it. It's it. fine. It's all fine. Everything listen, is, everything's fine. Sometimes you get to see a different. Room. Listen, yeah. my wife is here with a new <laughs> icon, and uh, everything's gonna be fine. That's <laughs> <laughs> a centric fucking memory trail I almost yeah. went down that was all me all the time, baby. Cassius, yeah. did you like that reality in which you were the main character and everyone's lives revolved around you? No, that's weird. It's a better world. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a like world. So uh I, I'm gonna just fucking break time. I can talk about like all that shit where I'm like, okay, let's talk about a hypothetical scenario where uh, a JRPG f party forms around Cassius and Cassius talks to and helps no one. <laughs> like, <laughs> ah, beautiful. <laughs> this is great. You were, like, you were like, yeah, you convinced Martha Teach to quit the university and you did, yeah. your detective agency. And I was like, what the fuck? You did. <laughs> I was but, like, there's no fucking way in hell that Cassius- Bet you Cassius is isn't a vampire in that timeline. <laughs> <laughs> the balls on Cassius to be like, quit your job doing my emo band teach in the fucking wood. Yeah. Dude. Wow, bro, that sounds super cool. Let's do it. <laughs> you're like, you're like, you're like, 
Yeah, yeah I'd do it for you because these rippers from like, I don't know who the fuck you are. Me, me putting Teach and Cassius together for the bridge scene and me being like, that had me cracking up. When yeah, I I'm like, oh, that's so funny. What <laughs> sick fucking reality is. <laughs> <laughs> What type of fucked up monster would do such a thing? I'm gonna use the bathroom really quick, and uh, then, yeah, Mask, send me a DM if uh, the thing is ready. It's ready! Oh, it's ready? Me cool. Okay, I'm gonna use the bathroom, man. Me two seconds away from making this new tear pog my icon. He's so fucking handsome. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? He's a good boy. Oh, y'all, he's so good. I don't I, know what happened. I've said before that, like, tear for some reason, Every time I do it, I, I might be having a bad art day, and then it just comes out. <laughs> listen, listen he's your the news. <laughs> Embrace it. No, I'm not going to. <laughs> Slaps this man derogatively. <laughs> I'm gonna push Tear into a river. Yeah. I, I'm going to close to him while you guys are pushing him into the river. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Was scary. That was scary. It was cool. It was awesome. It was, it was really cool. It's so good that you're back here in the real world where everything's fine. Where everything's red, very normal. Lights, red searchlights in place of rainbow bakery thing. Everything's I'm, great. I'm fucking depressed, dude. The rainbow bakery is gone because Tempest. <laughs> Did Tempus just buy that lady's store and kick her out? They needed out the land. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm... Sarisa, what the fuck? Welcome to Indigo. You don't have rights here. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. You don't have rights when there's no laws. That's how they get you. That's how they get you. <laughs> That's the loophole. I'm back. Taps head. Bunny! Oh, hello. Bun. Time to post the Cassius full body and Cassius reference in the art reference server. There you go. Oh yeah, set him free! Fun. Okay. Fun. Hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> I also like how you made me choose between red and black. Yeah. That was mean. Yeah. <laughs> that was mean? Yeah. I... My reliability, yeah. dude? Yeah. I want to point out the general character arc of us who do indigo stuff, which is normally it's like the embrace the light side or some shit, you guys. No, over here we're like, yo, dog, that black stat, that's hype. Do that's that hype as hell, please. That's, it is. <laughs> that's the hype as fuck. It was like... Darkness has always been the cooler element. Everyone has just been cowards. Yeah. It's like... You literally showed up and you said to pick between being reliable and everything else. And I'm like, yeah. okay. Hey, which is more important, kindness or justice, Cassius? Come on. I, I, chose, <laughs> I don't know which one I chose in that situation, but but he wants to pick kindness. Because you can't have justice without it. I, I like that answer. Good answer. Okay. Scared. <laughs> okay, let me check all of my DMs, make sure I'm good to go. Um, let's see. Okay. I think I am. <laughs> Thank you, Kaguya. <laughs> yeah, makes sense of that. Yeah. Okay. Who's in the next scene? Uh, this one will be Amy. Okay. No way. <laughs> I can't name this person, but shout outs to a person who recently posted a message in the general chat of the server we're in. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we good to get back into it? Do with the pluses. Do with the pluses. I need, I need the ovo plus and the, the mean plus and yeah, okay. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Is this one good? Yeah, this one's good. Selif, you dream of nothing. It's actually kind of nice in this case. That's pretty nice. Just, there's an abyss here blocking something away. The curtain has fallen fully over whatever exists behind that pall of darkness, but 
It took a while for that darkness to re-intensify. Now it's here. And navigating this seems all but impossible. There's a comfort in a storm that's all but impossible to navigate. If you're inside, you have no excuse to want to go out into the Great Abyss. In fact, it'd be foolish. It'd be, it'd be the dumbest choice possible to want to brave that storm. So, in that way, the darkness, the intensity, it is all itself a terrifying comfort. And it cracks. As you... No, no face stuck to the table. <laughs> you sort of, you pull yourself up slightly because you, you feel somebody jabbing you in the back a little bit. He grumbles. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> he rubs his face. <laughs> Salaf, you, you were up late studying, and you were left with quite the legacy, is the best way to put it. A, uh, a secret wing of the university reserved only for you and your own studies. You were up late studying there, and then moved back as some prickle or worry concerned you at the time. Made your way over here, and apparently you dozed off, at least temporarily. Is a... Uh, your familiar floats next to you. Hmm. Do you think of her that way? Familiar? No. Yeah. <laughs> that's, an, that's an interesting thing. Mages would call her a familiar. She shifts back and forth, body partially disappearing into smoke. You forged a contract with this person, but, uh, familiar, huh? <laughs> she. That was fucking weird. <laughs> she, uh, she looks at you. I didn't really want to wake you up, but, um, hmm, it felt like it might be pertinent to do so at this point. He, he stretches a little. Yeah, it's fine. What time is it? Um, it's pretty late. Uh, I was just, I was going to be mostly content to let you just sleep till morning, but, uh, I think something's been following us. <laughs> Immediately perks up a bit. <laughs> What do you mean? I don't know. It was weird. I I thought it might have been my imagination, but uh, mm. she, uh, she sort of floats in place, shifting back and forth. It almost feels like uh, like a prickle on the back of my neck. It's such a weird sensation. She floats down, delighting in the fact that she can feel this. <laughs> But at the same uh, time, it all just flared up at once. There's something on the roof right now. A roof. Yes, I thought it'd be wise to let you know. Before it was just a suspicion, but I'm pretty sure, um... There's something. <laughs> she waves a hand almost dismissively. Solo sort of glances up. Not that he can see the roof from here, yeah. but you know... Up. Well, we should probably be getting home anyway. That would be the wise choice, yeah. <laughs> and he'll start packing up then. You pack up. Isla continues to move around. So if you've had this sensation before, you're sort of... You've become acquainted with the supernatural side of this city. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> and, um... Well... I guess, run me through your thought process. How do you react to what many would consider an active haunting or a spirit nearby? Mm, not too substantially. He, uh, he just continues packing, really, and sort of is eyeing the darkness. Does he see anything? Ah, uh, the cell of question. <laughs> 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 Give me a roll to die. Sure thing. There it is. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, tell me what you're locking in. Oh, uh, let me, let me enter, uh, when you get a sec, enter your stats on the character sheet, too. Oh! 
It's it's yeah, chill. Now? Nah, it's fine. You just tell me what your bonus is. Um, should I lock in? First? Yeah, lock in. Okay. Well, I believe the bonus on that is a plus four. Ah, uh, excellent. Looking around the room, you don't you don't feel anything here. No, no, this room's clear. It's safe. You fought a great creature in this room once. And, you know, weirdly, you feel an almost empathy with this library. You know when it's disturbed and you know when it's calm. Yeah, well, it's the amount of time he spends here. Yeah, no, it's your pal. <laughs> <laughs> My good buddy, the library. You're, yes. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Start to move in this direction. And, as you do, you make your way into the main hall. This way. You go here. Delete every old Celeth band. Okay. <laughs> Come into the main hall. You remember the construction of the university. It's borderline a labyrinth to itself. Back behind you, this arcing platform up above. That's... Yeah, that's, that's the way to the roof. There are stairs pointed up in this direction. Stairs in that direction. And only in this moment is there a blind spot from above. Selif, can you give me another roll to die to respond to this situation? Okay, you managed to catch it. With the mm -hmm. plus four, it's doing work. Um, you managed to catch it. There's... It's quiet, and you hear a... A coin hitting the ground. Bouncing, dropping, and then again... As it slides along sideways, almost landing in a divot over here. Ma'am, there is a hole in your purse. <laughs> <laughs> it rests on the ground. A coin? Yeah, just just a coin. This one. Okay. He looks at it. You look down at it. This appears to be some, it's, it's not, it's not from Indigo, that's for sure. We got, we got paper money here, printed on jet black bills. No, that, this appears to be a genuine, it's like, yeah, that's a golden coin, huh? Does he recognize it? Yes, uh, actually, no, you, you're gonna have to roll big brain for me. Uh, you get an additional 1d6 on this, give me a roll to do. Okay. Can I, can I die first or change my color or should I just roll? In this, you? you gotta stick with what you got. You can drop okay. first and move over if you no. so wish, but. No, I'll roll to do that. Let's go. Okay. Uh, and with your bonus and then add 1d6 to it, just type slash roll 1d6. Go. Two. Hmm. Yeah, you do recognize this coin. This is one that's exchanged primarily in... Hmm. Your, your eyes easily scan the darkness, them being no match for your owl-like vision. Uh, <laughs> as you um, as you take a closer look at this, this seems to be Mitsudain in origin. It's familiar. It's not common currency, but you're in a port town. It's not unreasonable for it to be here. Mitsudai. Yeah, Mitsudai is a country to the far south. Hmm. He's gonna... He's gonna call up to the balcony, actually. Ooh, okay. Is he gonna say hello? You call up to the balcony. Give me another roll to do, this time to observe. Look and do that just fine. Ah, uh, yes, it sure can. Uh, that is versus this person's bonuses. Ah, uh, I see. Um, <laughs> as you call up, 
you feel a figure actually shift away into the darkness, as if reeling back from your call. Huh? What's That's up? Weird. Is there something out there? Yes. I, uh, I just want to give you back your change. <laughs> Aza. You dropped it. And perks up. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's silence. Whoever it is has pulled back from the scene. Right, well, it's down here if you want it. <laughs> Leave them alone. Smile. You start <laughs> to move forwards, leaving the coin in its place. You travel in this direction, and you make your way outside. Head out into the cool night. Um, let's do this one. Yeah, why not? It's quiet outside. Usually you're not around the university quite this late, but uh, yeah. Well, sometimes. Well, you know. <laughs> I know what paper is due and when. <laughs> move off in this direction. Ace is a little on alert at this point, but mostly seems relaxed. The fact that you have shown no signs of outward distress is keeping her... keeping her mostly chill, too. She's just looking around. Oh, while you're asleep, I actually got to reading a few things. Oh, is that right? Nods. I gotta say, getting used to textbook writing is something. It's so dry. How do you do it? No, well, it's not so bad, once you've read enough of it. They're all sort of written the same. You kind of learn how to skim and still retain. Oh, so it's you're not- practice, but... You're not hanging on every single word? No, there's no point. I mean, <laughs> have you listened to those scholars? <laughs> <laughs> Aza smiles. She's like, okay, well, I think I might be able to handle this after all. As you sort of walk, Selif, there's a rustle to in the bush immediately to your left. <laughs> As you hear it, immediately snaps his eyes over there. <laughs> Head tilt immediately. You, you see two tiny little pricks in the darkness staring at you and almost a panicked voice echoing out hey be careful okay be careful <laughs> this tiny little this tiny little creature like almost pokes her head out of the bushes slightly he's just like what <laughs> as she moves in slightly she she her eyes pinch shut it's not super safe around here. Waves hands, waves hands, waves hands. <laughs> uh, excuse me, why are you in the flower bush? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, head perks up. Uh, well, it's because my friend is currently dealing with the problem. It, it might be safer for you here, too. Dealing with what problem? She points back at the roof. <laughs> Do we have a good view of the roof from here? You know, um, Ace is like, hmm, you want me to give you a boost? I could, like, carry you up a little bit of a distance. <sighs> no, thank you. <laughs> oh, that's no fun. <laughs> Sell of you, you, you stare up at the roof, and you, let me hop over to this. Mm -hmm. Up on the roof. Well, something could be there. Who could be that? there? Who could be there? <laughs> Who could be there? I wonder. Up on the roof, you see a flash. Actually, yeah, you see it. You see a flash as two figures in the distance engage each other, embroiled in combat. Let me swap over really fast. Selif, you 
Uh, yeah, this one will do. Let's do, hmm. Let's do this track. Okay. So, up on the rooftop, you can't quite make out their forms. Shrouded in shadow, two figures dart at each other. One shape, almost inky black, sort of cascades around the rooftop. Almost like a bag, it moves in and attempts to close in on a person with a gleaming blade. They close the distance, and in a moment, you're pretty sure that a cloud passes the moon. All that lights it up is a single glimmering arc, a slice that divides that space in two. And a flash. Something is parried in the darkness. Two knives are thrown back to either sides, clattering against the walls, sticking in at odd angles. The figure takes a step backwards, distancing themselves from their attacker. But the figure darts forward a little too quick, closing the momentum, and once again, a slice divides the darkness. Selif. Selif, you get to see this part. You're down here currently, and as you are, uh, the, the person next to you actually starts to panic slightly. Oh no. Okay, I think they're coming this way. You should really get in the bush. She retreats back to the bush herself. This is like, um, she puts herself between them and you. Uh, Self, what do you do in this moment? You first just. Of all, yeah. First of all, bravo, that was very cool. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. What does he do? Yeah. I think, I think he's just going to scoot to the side just a little bit, but stand his ground. Okay, you stand your ground. And something is thrown like a bag from the roof. Hey, Christian. Thump! You touch down. And you start to close the distance. You're also muted, Christian. If you're here. Mm. I'm here. Christian, you're yeah. flung from the roof. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, I should have control of my character. Hang on. Yes. Let's see. But that's fine. I don't actually need it. Um, I got you. <laughs> oh, thank you. There you go. All right. So, uh, sort of falling off the roof. You described it almost earlier as a bag, no. and I think that's a pretty descriptive kind of uh, way to put it, because almost hitting the way down the stairs, it almost kind of roils and almost spins, like different limbs are trying to find out what the ground is for the first time, kind of grasping and crawling around, every time trying to right itself, but never quite doing it. Like a kind of a failure of a cat, it almost scrumbles up again and starts moving on this way, tilting its head in every which direction. It looks off this way and then looks back up to the roof to see the person that it just fled from and it decides that the best course of action considering the massive disparity in their strengths is to simply run away and so with every singular instinct it almost starts moving heading on this way and kind of just sprinting over moving across the flowers it doesn't seem to take much note of you three, not really parsing you as any sort of threat, as it almost skitters past, making some strange uh, insect-like noises, kind of like a hissing cockroach almost, except, hmm, that's not quite right. It still sounds like some sort of voice of a man underneath it. It's just going to try to make its way past you. Can I... Can I do some kind of, like, empathy roll with this thing, just to try and get its vibe? Yes! Ooh, yeah, you I'm can! Sure. Give me a roll to do. Okay. Let's go. Hey, uh, Christian, uh, roll to die versus that. Okay, sure thing. Uh, let's, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, Christian. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. still lose. <laughs> yeah, I do. I still you lose. do. <laughs> oh, the bonus. That's so funny. That's so oh. fucking funny. <laughs> Tell me what is going on, my oh. man. Okay, okay. Oh, so Selif, you look at this thing, and geez, it is, huh? So, 
A bag, yeah. It's like a bag of multiple colored marbles that are bouncing against each other. Nothing's finding purpose. Every single second it's moving, this thing is just confused above all else. He stumbles, okay. knocks himself over into the flowers, and looks around in a bunch of different directions. It, it looks terrifying right now, but also it, it, it's almost scattered. This thing is... Hmm. Yeah, that's that's a good way to put it. When you look at it, it seems overwhelming. One person is not supposed to have this much personality, this much being. Okay. It's, in fact, you would say that in some way, it's almost everything. All personality, everything almost colliding together, constantly smashing against itself, where the only thing that you can really make out at the end is much like too much color all pulling together, it's just black. It's just okay. it's just overwhelming, and I, it doesn't really know what to do about that. I am looking for one thing specifically. Yes. Oh. Malevolence. Ah, malevolence. Hmm. Let me look at these minis yeah. that... No, not really. It had an not, ounce not of malevolence. Really okay. Yeah, it had an ounce of malevolence earlier when it was fighting, but now that the fighting's ended, it seems to just be back to confuse and looking around. It's... <laughs> it's a lot like a Roomba right now. <laughs> it's looking for something. Okay. Silith looks back to the roof. Uh... Does there seem to be pursuit happening? There is pursuit happening. You get the feeling that the other person had to run through the building. <laughs> <laughs> this thing almost impacts the tree, knocking its head there, and then sort of pulls back, almost waits a few seconds, and then starts to scramble around in this direction as well. Okay. I... Hey, Asa. Yes. Can you buy me some time? Absolutely. She, uh, she... You feel some flares fire out as she makes a path down in this direction to just draw this thing's attention. No, 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 no. The other one. Oh. <laughs> she stops and freezes and her expression flicks back this way. Oh, that's so like you. <laughs> it stops and looks and it's just like, it seems confused for a moment. It You felt that you almost felt that aggression pull in and then it stops and now it's just left inside of there like another marble, basically. Asa yeah. touches down on the ground and begins to crackle with fire. Pats you on the shoulder, Selif. Good luck. <laughs> Starts to walk off. Implicit trust. Go easy on them, okay? <laughs> Nods. <laughs> this thing almost watches them, uh, Aza go and then it turns to you and it seems curious, a bit on edge, like a like a wounded Roomba. <laughs> <laughs> a wound buff. Oh, oh no. Hello? How are you? Uh, uh, uh hi. <laughs> Hello. Hi, hi, hi there. Are it kind okay? of nods its head slightly, the flap just kind of flinging around. I it looks down, and you notice that there seems to be a large gash across the arm as it seemed to have pulled back from an attack. It seems to be seeping and oozing this sort of black blood that almost falls on the roses. You seem to no. be a long way from home. What are you doing here? Uh, home. Memories. He thinks. Can't, can't remember? No. Well, that's a problem kind of crawls over and then kind of perches up on the edge there and stares directly at you with this strange mask. Where am I? You are an indigo. Indigo. <laughs> it sort of stares off. Looking for bad things. Stab bad thing. And then it kind of stops. No, no. Let me roll to die really quick. <laughs> uh, okay, that's that's a which few. one. <laughs> no, which one are we gonna? Oh, you know, maybe it'll. Um, it sort of calms down for a moment. This feels empty. 
this specific feeling. It's almost like an empty vessel has pushed its way up to the front again. There's nothing here right now. It sort of looks at you curiously. Uh, bad thing. What is the bad thing? Ah, uh, bad thing. Bad thing. In the dirt. Stops. And he turns. You don't know. Do you know? I'm afraid I don't. Not without more information, anyway. Oh. He kind of considers that. Information. He kind of stops and approaches. See? See? You see? Want to see? Hmm. Maybe not right now. (laughs) Kind of nods his head. Not now. Not Not later. Later. Maybe later, yes. Okay. He kind of nods his head and then sort of turns around and sees this one. And then a new stimuli kind of loops around and shoves its face (laughs) in front of Vaughn. Vaughn places herself between self and the thing as if trying to protect (laughs) (laughs) it. He sort of kind Olive, of expects, yeah. Um, Olive extends a hand and and shoves the face back a little bit. No, no, personal space. It almost seems surprised to see you again, like it lacks object permanence. <laughs> <laughs> and then it kind of scoots around again and looks at you again. Huh. What a hand, and looks at your hand a bit, and then <laughs> let's see, let's see. <gasps> Oh. <gasps> oh, it shoves its hand forward and shakes your hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, Rasa. Rasa, you? nice to meet you. I'm Selif. 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 Later, you see. Hmm? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Nods his head three, four times. Uh, yes, later. Though I think right now you should probably make yourself scarce. Uh, scarce. Looks kind of confused. What? Scarce? Mm. For now, it means you should not be here, I think. Ah. Ah. Stops. Goes again. I will be killed, yes. And then sort of steps off in this direction and you notice that when once more another another marble bounces up to the top and then it almost seems to stand up with a very almost really composed silent step the moment it the moment it swaps over to this it sort of stops looks around and checks in every direction pulls out a knife checks it almost seems very professional and then hops leaping up and landing on a tree and it kind of turns back Selif, uh since you're kind of empathizing what do you what do you think uh, what do you think this blue stat is mm-hmm. you said it was professional it was get a strange composure here he said something when he locked into it what did he say he said i will be killed Hmm. Is it like, is it like pragmatism? Something close to that, yes. It seems to be some sort of pragmatism, some kind of, uh, it's, I'd say a good hint is that it is pragmatism. Something about it doesn't feel like it's his. Once more, it's, it's been locked in. It's the way that someone's supposed to act. You get the feeling that something about this person, because you tried to empathize, it's like he's trying to act like a certain profession. Like he's sort of trying to live up to some strange inserted slot that's been put inside of him. And so he hops, moving across the tree, and then ends up fleeing outside of the university, scrambling away as fast as he can. And the moment he leaves your sight, you don't hear him anymore. He's almost completely gone. The diminutive figure sort of <sighs> next to you deflates 
That was really dangerous. What it is, is a later problem. <laughs> yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, are you okay? It's fine. Okay, that's good. <laughs> she, she seems to relax. You've never seen someone like this before, but almost... Repeated interactions with Aza, you can tell this person isn't entirely human. They seem to be comprised of magic. I see. And sort of look down and, like, think about this relatively hard as someone starts to wander back over to you again while well, the problem's been adequately distracted. Good work. <laughs> as another very pouty person walks down the way seemingly very upset <laughs> they she walks into the scene looks at uh looks at both of you well i have a few questions <laughs> they splits open into a somewhat mean smile that would make two of us <laughs> Who are both of you? I would like to ask, huh? who are you first? You seem to be the interloper here. <laughs> you say you seem to be the interloper. <laughs> His expression shifts again, moves forward. I suppose from your perspective that might be the case. My name's Kestrel. I've been assigned by the Tide's Edge to watch over the university. I'm Selif. Hmm. And he looks back over to Aza. Aza just like waves. You notice that neither of these two seem to have any battle scars on them. They didn't fight. <laughs> and um <laughs> You'll ask he, about it later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Selif, are you a student here? I am, yes. Hmm. Looks over to Aza. And you have, uh, you have an incredibly dangerous spiritual being bound to you. It's a little rude. <laughs> you don't normally call people on the street dangerous, do you? <laughs> expression changes again. I guess not, no. Hmm. Well, I saw you speaking to that other one. Yes, sort of. quite a poor chap. <laughs> it's a little <laughs> What did you what did you man what did you manage to get out of them? Not much. <laughs> I see. But not but not malevolence, for one thing. Hmm. They she seems to relax again. <sighs> How? How? How what? Genuinely. When I approached that creature, it attacked me on sight. Well, did you approach it with hostility? Because I think anyone would be on edge if you did that. Seems a little obvious to me. <laughs> she sort of like looks off to the side. Uh, and you feel a presence behind you, Selif. I just want to say something real fast. This probably isn't obvious to uh, Kestrel at all, but it, it's probably obvious to Aza, or maybe she notices. Uh, Selif's a little pissed. Yeah. <laughs> you feel a presence behind you, Selif. A light touch. This is good. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> assigned as a sort of guardian of this place, so it only follows naturally that I would do my best to protect the university, correct? Oh, yes. Don't tell me you swing your sword at all the falling leaves as well. <laughs> <laughs> only the ones that throw knives at potential students, of course. <laughs> Again, I ask. Was that something that was instigated 
or not. She seems to, like, almost relax for a second. <sighs> to tell you the truth, I don't rightly know. She, uh, like, walks forward again. Um, and then Aza sort of off to the side, moves back over in this direction and starts to move around. That creature points back to the distance. Hmm. When I fought them, they had already been fighting something before me. She turns, uh, she turns and looks at you. Tell so me. Cox is that. <laughs> and I'm like, sort of like leans down slightly. Tell me, do you know anything about ghosts in the university? Any strange <laughs> happenstances? You are new here. <laughs> <laughs> sort of smiles, nods. Well, then I suggest you do your homework. Good night to you. <laughs> you start to walk off. <laughs> Frustrated expression. Oh, what a positively unhelpful person. <laughs> well, might as well go home. Come on, Fawn. Aza moves over in this direction. Comes back this way. I just talked to that one. Very easy to distract, actually. Hmm. You start to walk off. Quite so, rude. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Is this sort of thinks for a second? I suppose so. You start to walk off in this direction. And you head into the city. This one? It's... It's late night. You're used to navigating this space around these hours, and the darkness honestly doesn't stand much of a chance versus you and your vision. Come down this way. And head out into the cool fall air. <laughs> Are they following me? <laughs> <laughs> and you continue walking. And it's around that point that you hear crunching steps behind you. Aza turns around. Wow, following people is especially rude. Should we walk faster? I don't see the point, really. Hmm. <laughs> walk, walk. Walk, step, 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 continuing to walk, continuing to walk. Though I have to say I am unimpressed by such a childish maneuver. <laughs> hey, Fawn. Yeah? Do you think he was saying that to us? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> childish maneuver, I mean... Oh, I... What? I'll go the other way. We'll, we'll go the other way. We'll just go the other way. It's fine. We'll move on. <laughs> Starts to walk off in this direction. And you make your way a little deeper into the city. Celeb rolls his eyes. <laughs> go over here. Make your way down here. And? I see it. I see it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important. Um, you come around here. And you... So if something weird happens... What's that? Where am I? There you're, I am. You're at the top of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's... I don't... Hey, Selev. <laughs> pointing! Just ignore it. I'll It'll just... probably go away. I'll just ignore it. It's fine. You walk through the back alleys. You eventually wind up your way.
back to here. Walk, walk, <laughs> walk, walk. Oh, I just remembered something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, Fawn. Yeah. You feel like you ever feel like somebody's watching you? Yeah. For like a long time. Is the big old glare burning its way through the back of your head? Yeah, I do feel that sometimes. <laughs> Click inside. <laughs> I want you to imagine on Selov's face the most <laughs> unimpressed glare. <laughs> you uh you just you just sit. What do you do? <laughs> Selv, what's the next step? Selif, while just staring at the front door, not moving his eyes, says did Cassia say anything about new tenants to the building? Mm, she sort of thinks about that. I... I don't... Not to me, at least. <sighs> Let's just go to sleep. <laughs> okay. She travels behind you as you walk indoors and you hear step after step a pair worming their way upstairs as you uh, you find your way in this way. Hold on, I'll just drop you over here. As you come face to face with another one of your roommates. Um, good evening. Hello, Noctua, good evening. Uh, points back up over in that direction. Oh, you saw them too. Yes. I would recommend keeping your distance. They're not very polite. I see. Well, <laughs> well the smaller one is fine. I see. Okay. Have a good night. You as well. Sweet dreams. I made you food. It's on your table. <laughs> she, she claps her hands over both of them. Aza moves back in. You make me oh. anything? Oh, oh. Selim smiles genuinely. He says, thank you very much. <laughs> you open the door and you slowly move inside. You make it back to your room. It's been a while since you moved back into this place. Hmm. Yes, it's indeed. nice. It's quiet. This room is yours now. Aza, despite being, for most people, well, she'd be considered a familiar, a uh, highly dangerous spiritual being, but for you, she's another person, and she's honestly rimming with Noctua across the hall. It's a very human arrangement. It's nice. It's nice. You hear a thump on your door. He looks at the door and waits. You hear another quiet thump on your door. <laughs> Selif sighs, puts down his bags, and walks to the door. <laughs> you move over to the door, and it's, uh... He opens it a creak. You open it a creak and you see... <laughs> Can I uh, help you? Hi, um... Is this your room? Yes. Okay, um, nice to know you, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> she just says this and looks mortified. <laughs> you get the feeling. Selif, he smiles rather beautifully, beautifully, but you get the feeling that it might be forced. And he says, you as well. Okay, that's good. Um, I hope nothing too strange happened at the university tonight. Um. Oh, no more strange than I'm used, used to, I promise. That's, that's good. Um, that's really good. Uh, if you're ever in any trouble, don't hesitate to call us. 
have a nice night. <laughs> you slowly <laughs> you slowly squeak the door shut and she just oh okay, I'm going back upstairs. <laughs> As she travels upwards in this direction and moves through a door that honestly didn't exist at the head of your apartment before about two, three weeks ago. It seems like this place too has on its own almost grown to a new size. Excellent. Great. Excellent. So if you go to bed for the night. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh. Amy, that was great. Good job. Oh, killing it. <laughs> Can you live with that? It's, uh, it's good to be back. <laughs> yeah, it is. Awesome. Just, you watching them go in the house and going, I remember something. <laughs> that was, <laughs> like, yeah, that was so funny. Oh, uh, uh, cream. What? It's, it's, it's break time. It's, it's break, break time. Hold on, I've got a... Christian, i got to yeah. DM you something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nico. My son. My boy. He's alive. He's alive. I cradle that was him. Great. I cradle my cradle my dumb my sweet stupid baby feral boy. son in my hand. A feral Roomba. <laughs> a feral, feral like a, Roomba. Like a wounded Roomba. <laughs> should I? Where should I put his full body for people to see? Because he does Probably. have one. Oh, uh? person or phantasm? I don't is he know. Legend? So you can put him in the legend, phantasm, etc. art reference server. I don't know. Or you can uh. put him in Indigo <laughs> Citizens put, chat. Yeah, I'm gonna put him in yeah. Indigo Citizens. What a good maybe, citizen! You know, I'm electing to put him in Citizens. <laughs> I'm making the I mean, executive think, decision to put him in think, Citizens. Okay, he's a good right. boy. You know, He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He lives in this. He is a citizen. He lives in this town. I (laughs) see. Holy shit. Where the fuck is Indigo Citizens? There's so many. Third last in the. I can vouch for his citizenship. No. Yeah, he's a citizen. Yeah. Can you go to the forgotten Indigo Factional one? What a good, what a good law-abiding, tax-paying Roomba. (laughs) He is a stand-up citizen. I don't think he pays taxes yet. (laughs) He he definitely pays taxes. I have to rename his... Definitely. That was his money that he dropped. Exactly! That was his tax money! That was his reaper! He was coming to pay his taxes and he got attacked by a merry mean person. (laughs) (laughs) Who does does that? that? To, who does that? Who does that to nice, law-abiding taxpayers? Yeah. <laughs> Monsters. <laughs> Rude people. That's Rude what. People. people. What the hell, Kestrel? <laughs> I can't I, wait for later. I was losing my mind at the, it's fine, we'll go a different way, because the second Kestrel went up and screamed, she grabbed Fawn and then ran as fast as she could and was like, fucking owl's behind me. <laughs> 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 one is behind me. If anyone's following anyone, it's them. Uh, I'm not putting all of his alts because he has a lot, and they all haven't been seen yet. So I'm only yes. putting the ones that matter. Maybe. Ever since, I guess specifically just because of the exact mood he was in and everything that worked out, but also just because of the new icon, I haven't been able to not see Reinhardt whenever I look at this boy now. <laughs> He's just so. No. Uh, no. Legend of the Galactic Heroes protagonist. He's just this no. beautiful. Beautiful man. That is the highest compliment. It is the highest compliment. By the way, everyone go shower Siv with love for finishing that icon literally last minute. Siv, you're the best. You did it. That's what I imagine happened. Thank you, Siv. Siv, Siv, he's Um, gorgeous. Also, uh, yeah, um, I was describing, when I described Ross's movements that was almost like my movements when i was crawling back in through the window <laughs> of the balcony to get back to my computer yeah no uh <laughs> no this is this is point divergence with like oh i guess ross is in now let's do this <laughs> yeah fantastic that was incredible listen sometimes oh god sometimes you do wind up on the heavens feel route though <laughs> sometimes you sometimes you need to pay your taxes and life just gives you a new friend 
<laughs> you see a scary garbage Where? bag being fighting a beautiful person on a roof, and you think, I'd like to be their friend, and you're tell not me, looking at the pretty person. Yeah. <laughs> Christian, tell me. Yes, J-Man, yes, What does Rasa say when his uh, cursed ability comes out and rips a person's heart out? Um, he says, uh, Baba Booey. Nice. That's good he I said he said the knives the and the bug shit, and I was like, ah, yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh. I can imagine oh. was that scene of Kotamiri Kotamine Kirei just fucking shoulder checking that dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I also assembled this and made a I made a uh, executive decision also after that. Now I, I put this together very quick. Uh, chat can't see it yet, but, um... There you go. What? There you go, chat. What? 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 Take Title it. Title screen. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, uh, beautiful. Well, now I don't have to make one. <laughs> oh, Holy gosh. fuck. This is fun. I'm back. I see Selif bonded up with the Roomba. Yeah, Selif has bonded up with the tax-paying Roomba. Oh, cool. <laughs> I, I love my son, my horrible, shitty son. Hey, he's pretty small. Yeah, he's, 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 he's a good dude. Um, next up, it would be... Oh, uh, am I? It's your go. I... Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not ready. Wait. Too bad, it's just gotta be. Oh, they get you. Yeah, it just gotta be. Okay. If y'all are ready, I uh, should be good to go. Um, okay. <clears throat> let's, uh, yeah, let's do, let's do this one. Uh,. Back now, uh, drop pluses in chat if we got a camera and got them, got the MI. Okay, excellent. Okay. Daytime. The sun rises high in the sky. One of the many new exorcists wanders the town. A little lost? But, with what he's been given, can't ever really be truly lost. He enters the 13th ward, looking down at what appears to be a card almost. Taps it, brushes it against his hands a few times, looks back and forth across... Across this ward, moves his way over instead to a small warehouse off to the side. He holds the card up to the side of the door, places it against it, and almost it adheres to it. He wraps it twice with his fingers, and magic starts to spread throughout. This warehouse, an inconspicuous space on the edge of Stampede Trading Co., is one of the many entrances to a certain shop that very, very few people know how to get to. Now, the owner of this shop would prefer it to be quite the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? It's been a long trip. You got word recently that uh, in the surrounding hinterlands of Indigo, one of the things that you were looking for was resting, but you didn't exactly find it. Seven long days of searching, you finally find your way home. You make your way into your store. Oh, the little dinger starts to chirp loudly, touches the ground, and starts to run back and forth immediately in front of you, <laughs> uh, celebrating your return. <laughs> he just sighs. <laughs> so happy! It does a flip! <laughs> <laughs> and he, he comes over and says, come, 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 come here. <laughs> he picks him up and pats him. He pat the goes quiet. <laughs> now, did you miss me? Shake slightly in the affirmative. <laughs> you know, you, you, these things can answer simple yes or no questions. They feel a lot. 
Yeah. He lifts it up and gives it a little kiss. <laughs> you kiss the little dinger. Its cheeks grow rosy. <laughs> <laughs> he walks over and uh, places it on the counter, uh, stretching, breathing in the familiar smell. Just starting to relax. Ah, you're back home and... Well, <laughs> right on cue. Door cracks open and somebody travels into your home. Not from the same door that you came in. He looks around. Oh, um, I hope I'm not disturbing you. N not, not at all. Uh, welcome to Morgana's Mysteries. You just caught me coming back. <laughs> he, uh, he almost looks sheepish for a second. Oh, um, sorry. Yeah, I'll give you a chance to unpack your bags. Please go ahead. <laughs> No, no, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> what did you need? Um... Tom pauses as the GM rapidly considers doing the potion seller bit. <laughs> 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 the GM deeply considers derailing everything to do the potion seller bit <laughs> and decides not to for the first time. <laughs> he, uh, he, he's sort of like... Um, <laughs> he sort of holds out a hand. Um, my name is, uh, Thaus. I'm, um, well, I'm a godslayer from Mitsudai. I was, oh. I was hoping to, um, purchase some potions. <laughs> he scratches <laughs> at his chin. Oh, from Mitsudai, huh? Do you think you can handle my potions? <laughs> The GM, despite his best efforts, is drawn into an insidious <laughs> trap. <laughs> I, in fact, I think I need your strongest potions. <laughs> oh. Ah, well, I hope you can stand it. My strongest potions are quite powerful. <laughs> Bless your soul, Kaguya. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he looks around. Nice shop you have here. Can I sit down for a second? Oh, take a seat, take a seat. Um, how long do you uh, intend to stay? I have a few that um, are pre-packaged, but I could come up with something specific to your needs. Hmm. If you have anything that could potentially ward off curses, that would be, that'd be the best. I'm carrying one or two from my time in Mitsudai. Oh, um, I think I can... I can do something about that. Um, yes, take a seat. It might take a little while. He gets into a big smile, and you head back behind the counter, and you get to you get to brewing up your potions, and uh, your familiar manifests immediately next to you, sort of like scanning the room. Not even a second of a break. Come on. <laughs> it's it's all right. It's we're popular. What's wrong with that? It's, uh, us not getting that nap we wanted is wrong with that. <laughs> ah, it's fine. We can catch it up later. <laughs> Mitsudai, though. Huh. It's been a while since you've been back there, right? Yeah, awfully far. Looks back at the door. <sighs> you ever get a chance to kiss that, uh, what's his face? Touches down on the counter and starts to like move around like a like a wyvern. <laughs> he leans down and uh, goes through a few uh, a few like draws. I never did. Mm. <laughs> That's uncharacteristic. Uh, he flood he flutters up and lands on your shoulders. <laughs> he goes, I it I was a little awkward at that age, right? <laughs> Yeah, we were. <laughs> A deep <laughs> exhale in your ear. <laughs> okay. Uh, curses, curses. Let me... He pulls out a few, like, small boxes and, uh, and packages and places them on the, on the table. Ah, exactly. Just one moment. You stay here. Touches down. Watches you. He walks out and quickly goes, um, excuse me, uh, yes. do you mind explaining to me the nature of these curses? Oh, um, well, I, uh, <laughs> I made a common mistake for God Slayers and thought I was a little, um, 
I thought it was a little too uh, uh, big at the time, and uh, I took on a nasty deity that, um, well, every day I wake up and my hand is on my face and I cannot remove it from my first hour of consciousness. I just, I just can't. I'm, it's, it's stuck. He holds his hands to his face for a second. <laughs> it's, um, it's, it's apparently to remind me of my own cowardice, uh, taking this. He motions to a scar. I, uh, apparently dropped to the ground and shielded my face, and, um, the gods in question found that so delightfully funny, they decided to remind me of that experience every day of my life. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, um... <laughs> I've experienced some of that. Um, <laughs> now, uh, okay, okay. Um, and you said you were, there was a few. Is that the only one that's bothering you? Uh, it's, I, uh, that's the most problematic one, I suppose. The others only apply if I'm in Mitsudai. If I stay within an inn owned by someone affiliated with the Peacock God, I have the uncontrollable urge to, um, uh, make a mess of my room. <laughs> it's a very oh. specific curse, but at the same time, it did drive me away from my home. <laughs> Inconvenient, but yes. Okay, I can... As I is can the nature of these things. <laughs> he kind of looks down a little embarrassed. Yeah, yes, yes. Well, um, I can work with that. Uh, just, just a few moments. Um, I'll come out with some tea later on. He nods and smiles. Thank you. Um, I'm new to town, uh, so being able to see the famous Mirage District up close is um rather nice. Is this all of it? He says, <laughs> looking around to the around to the room. Um, once, if you want to see the Mirage di District after, once you leave, uh, just head through that door and you'll be right there. <laughs> he uh, he smiles and he looks out. Sounds delightful. He heads on too. You head inside, but it's around then that you hear the same lively sound that generally accompanies your rearrival. You're shocked that someone actually managed to beat her here. Door <laughs> clatters open. A my big resounding yell as someone moves into the Oh hey, waves to him and it just kicks open the door. Hel hel hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome back. Um are you busy? You doing anything right now? I have a customer. I um, see. <laughs> yes, uh, but if you want to, if, uh, anything you want to do, and I can work and talk, but uh, what is it? It's been a little while. <laughs> she, uh, she starts to move around your, your little, uh, atelier, making herself, um, making herself at home almost immediately. Well, it's actually dis district business, or else I wouldn't be bothering you quite this intently. Um... <sighs> What is it? Well, there's been a murder. Oh. <laughs> Silence reigns for a moment. Yeah, um, somebody died. <laughs> somebody? That... That is rare, though. I haven't heard of that in quite some time. Hmm. Her expression sort of falls, and she starts kicking her feet up on the uh, cabinet over here. Yeah, it's been a while. I mean, nobody's ever died under my watch before, so I was a little confused about what to do uh, about it. I mean, we already reached out, talked to the law office, they sent some people over, but now that you're back, she touches down. Can you help me out? Because, um, well, the person that died, they, uh, they were a legion. Hmm. Not um, a... Not a traditional murder case. Still, being able to... I don't see the purpose. Same here. <sighs> Kinda... Right. Moves back over. He... He starts biting his nails, but you see out from his back, 
a bunch of hands uh, unfold and start uh, to mix and cut up the ingredients <laughs> while he taps his taps his uh, foot. Hmm. Well, there are a few people gathered up. Uh, apparently, we've had reports of hauntings around the district, especially lately. Something that follows you around late at night. Um, it, uh, well, they're all gathering up in Cal's house if you want to head over. He's throwing oh. like a, he's throwing like a party, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's not what you do when somebody dies, huh? <laughs> she sits back on the uh, bench. Not, not the most common, but <laughs> different customs, different experiences. <sighs> but that's <clears throat> concerning. All right, um, let me let me deal with this customer first, and I'll I'll be free after that. She nods and then just relaxes back. Things have been really busy. That Socorro guy is a pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I I apologize. It's fine. You're probably the one that's gonna have to deal with them. <laughs> she says, like almost relaxing back. This is this is Archmage Sienna, technically the strongest wizard in the district. She is flighty, capricious, and overwhelmingly powerful. <laughs> she, she is also your constant hanger-on and self-appointed BFF. <laughs> Don't worry, it's mutual. <laughs> Heck yes, confirmed. <laughs> uh, am I, uh, will, will make something to, to... Uh, how long do you think would it take to make? Uh, am I cooking? Hold on, she'll hop up. You know what? I can help you out with this. Uh, uh, it's been uh, a while yeah. since uh, yeah. it's been a while since we've collaborated. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> do not take any shortcuts. <laughs> please. Last time, Me? please. Of all people, really. <laughs> <laughs> He just looks her dead in the eye. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one on your shoulder. <laughs> uh, am I? Give me a roll mm -hmm. to die. I'm gonna die. Beep. Ooh, you rolled exceptionally well, my friend. I think I also get to add an extra d6. You do? Well, okay. 22 grand total. Yeah, uh, you managed to brew this up in actually no time, and Sienna manages to assist and also not cut any corners. You watch her pretty closely. No, she does a good job. You guys, it seems like, despite the tone and tenor, her confidence is absolutely unshakable in pretty much any situation. <laughs> she does seem to be taking this murder thing very seriously. Like she said, it's the first time someone has died under her watch. Mm -hmm. Uh, Amai takes care to bottle the, uh, the potion. Uh, before too long, you've managed to bottle the potion up, and yeah, you got it ready. You got it prepped. He walks. Uh, thank you for your assistance. Yeah. <laughs> Literally any time. Come on, we used to do this all the time until you fired me. She says, like, <laughs> cocking an eyebrow as she exits out this way. You had other work to do. <laughs> I can be an assistant. Come on, I'm good at that. <laughs> he just shakes his head. <laughs> she... She moves across. Oh, right. Uh, welcome to the Mirage District. Enjoy your stay. Uh, don't drink the moat water. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Am I? What am I forgetting? <laughs> um, there's a lot. Just learn as you go. <laughs> there's a lot. Learn as you go. We throw you in the water around here. <laughs> <laughs> Door clicks open. <laughs> he places down the uh he like takes a seat and places down the the potion so with this 
Wait for a full moon and then drink it. Go immediately to sleep. I see, of course. Um, I can't say I'm particularly familiar with the with the art that you're using right now, but it's very interesting. Witchcraft works in mysterious ways. I see. Well, um, thank you. Uh, if this works, I'll owe you a great debt. Um, how much do I... He stops and realizes something. I haven't actually gotten my currency changed over yet. <laughs> huh. Indigo's <laughs> kind of frustrating that way. Uh, do you Don't take... Worry. Do you take, like, artifacts, other forms of payment? I have a wide variety of... He slams uh, 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 a bag down on the table and starts to shift through. You see, like, a brilliant compass shining inside a section of crystal. I My work takes me all over the place, so I happen hmm. to have a selection of things that you might find interesting. Hmm. Let's, let's, let's see. Let's see. Okay, roll me 1d6. <laughs> Okay. Let's go. Two. Okay. Uh, you pull out a flute. It almost seems to resonate with you for a second. Oh, that. Well, that one's actually rather interesting. He sort of leans in. This was possessed by a spirit that could control the winds. If you play the flute, it actually... Hold on. He reaches around to the bag and produces four to five sticks. <laughs> he hands them over to you. <laughs> you play the flute, the sticks float around and will just bludgeon people. <laughs> you pick up the pace, it'll bu it'll bludgeon even faster. Beautifully brutal. <laughs> yes, it's, um... I'm fairly sure that this magic item would be extremely illegal if the RNAs caught word of it, so be careful with it. <laughs> uh, if, if it comes to it, uh, Blum gets hungry. <laughs> I see. <laughs> He sort of smiles. Well, um, I guess I wish you the best of luck. I couldn't help but over here. If you need the assistance of, um, what is it in this land? He scratches the side of his head. An exorcist? If you need the assistance of an exorcist, don't hesitate to call. My partner. Uh, my partner's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but, um, I like to think I'm reliable. <laughs> uh, no. In my experience, uh, a lot of people are <laughs> <laughs> difficult, teams. but they mean well. <laughs> he, he smiles up at you. He, he uh, pulls from his hand just uh, very quickly and with a flash another card and places it down. So you can find me at any time. <laughs> he, uh, he takes it. Uh... I'm looking forward to it, and if I want to see the Mirage District, he motions with his hat over to that door. You can go right through. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to it. He gets up and uh, says, well, I have some business to attend to, so I would show you around, but uh, I apologize. He waves his hand. It's something I'd much rather discover for myself. All I need to avoid is drinking the moat water, correct? <laughs> <laughs> and a plethora of other things, but just don't eat anything. Just, <laughs> just <safe. laughs> If you're a god slayer, you should be fine. <laughs> Wraps tail around Amai's neck. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he he walks out. You, you exit. You come out into the Mirage District. A secret gathering point that exists between places in Indigo. Fall hasn't fallen here. In fact, it's almost a perpetual fall in the Mirage District. It's something that you can't quite escape. <laughs> you come up and over here. <clears throat> a line of spirits charge past you one after the other, a worried exorcist chasing after them. No, 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 come back! <laughs> I might just smile. You walk out. Santa's like, do you deal with your customer? Yes. Quite pleasant. A person very far away from home. Mm, can't imagine that. <laughs> uh, she you? sort of she sort of cocks an eye at you, like winks at you, am I? I mean, 
I'm Indigo born and raised, but you're, uh, Sagaris, right? <laughs> yes. Mm, well, it must be cool. That's, Mitsudai's closer to you than, than it is to, yeah, I think my geography's right. <laughs> she, like, <laughs> <laughs> thinks about that. It's been a very long time since I've been back home. <laughs> you ever miss it? To be honest, I never really had much love for it. I was always treated as an outsider. I see. Well, this place works as a great home for outsiders. Not just the Mirage Den, strict <laughs> Indigo in general. <laughs> you see how many people from foreign lands are pouring into the port these days? It, it's quite heartening and also worrying. I hope the situations at home aren't changing too much. Hmm. No, it's the situation here. There's so much excitement here these days. Like, there's ghosts to be fought and treasures to be won. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why people hunt down legions, to tell you the truth. You walk out in front of the Great Clock Tower. Uh, a brilliant building that adorns the Mirage District, visible only from it. It's said that those who are chosen by the district itself can see the clock tower from anywhere in the city, while those who remain unknown to this world of wizardry cannot view it from anywhere. She wanders down in this direction. Ugh, am I? You don't like this side of town. Not because of, um... The upsetting uh, stonework, let's just say, but because it is a reminder to never, ever dare Sienna, even for a second. <laughs> this forest, this expanse is to some extent your doing, because you implied that finding the rare herbs you used in your potions was difficult in a big city, so overnight... An entire half of the district was overcome with this brilliant, vibrant forest. <sighs> he just looks and sweats. <laughs> he just <laughs> like... <sighs> I can't... I... I can't get used to it. <laughs> you say to yourself, and then a voice chimes from immediately next to you. It's rather nice when you do, though. He just blended in perfectly to the foliage. <laughs> he, he smiles. I, always looking on the bright side. I just feel, I don't know, self-conscious. Mm -hmm. I see. Well, your efforts have given me a good home to live in. Oh, can I show you my most recent work? Oh, of course, of course. Walk, walk, walk. This person moves with an uneven gait. Every step is almost a little jostle or a jangle. They, their body is not natural. You know that much. But at the same time, this is, this is a person, same as anyone else. Hmm. Move over in this direction. And they, uh, they turn back. Wait here for a second. All scuttle, right. Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. Uh, he calls back to Sienna. <laughs> over, over here. <laughs> Moves, moves, moves. Drag, drag, push, place, drag. <laughs> he takes a few. <laughs> it's a very important piece. Capturing the spirit of this one was rather difficult. I find it to be rather enigmatic. Bastard it's, smile, real bastard smile. <laughs> it's, 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 it's wonderful. <laughs> I didn't think I could I can tell the smugness right from here <laughs> He nods It was an important part of the character I'm glad I got that across He nods and then Drags the statue back in this way And then you see him putting it over here <laughs> <laughs> He once again just hides behind a very strange <laughs> smile. As, okay. As craftsmanship goes, quite beautiful. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Incredibly lifelike. Yes. I wow. have to respect the craft. <laughs> he calms himself down. This stone cutter nods to you. This is Carver. He makes... 
statues as his way of saying thanks for various boons or favors. This entire forest is littered with those that did him justice in the past. And you just... Eh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> he looks around. There's so many familiar faces around here. It's yeah. It's soft putting to most people. For you, it's well, it's normal. <laughs> it's normal it, at this point. It feels quite. He he feels a little warm looking at it because it it shows that Carver cares. <laughs> Carver cares a lot. There are also yeah. you can also tell that Carver likes the dingers more than probably yeah. anything else. <laughs> yeah. You've caught like too. you've caught Carver on days that he's bored just making little dingers. <laughs> <laughs> he pats Cal on the shoulder. The the <laughs> statue Cal on the shoulder and walk. <laughs> you head down in this direction and you uh you eventually head inside. Cal's apartment. I'm gonna just show you where this is on the map, so that you, mm -hmm. ev for everyone's references, it's down past these flowers. Eh. Ooh. Bam. Ooh. Bam. Right there. Uh, come in here. Ka chunk. Door's thrown open. <laughs> Three people are. You move inside, and three people are already here. Enjoying mugs of beverage. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> and almost, an almost silence descends over the room that is immediately punctuated by, Hey everyone, we're here, I brought Amai, Amai, hear their stories, me, Sienna, sit down, thank you, Sienna. <laughs> <laughs> she sits down and relaxes back in the chair. And, and I didn't get it off her seat down, jeez. <laughs> hey, am I? Hello. Hey, welcome to the party. Hey, am I? <laughs> it's wonderful to see you all again. <laughs> you move in. These are your fellow residents of the district. Um, well, immediately in front of you is Cal, a man who was once trapped as a mummy that you dragged all the way here to get exercise. <laughs> <laughs> but that is a, that's an entirely unrelated story, to be honest. <laughs> um, you look over, you see Nyx. She sort of operates the cafe around this place. She's a business owner, and then you see um. You see Sunflower. She's one of the agent that hangs around the area. Apparently she's haunting someone somewhere else in the city and otherwise just chills out managing uh, managing to just read a lot. <laughs> That's her main <laughs> occupation these days. <sighs> Good to see you so, too. Wish it was under better circumstances. I, I, I wish it was better. But I am glad to see... <laughs> You are all healthy. He ruffles Sunflower's hair. Aww! <laughs> she sort of smiles from that. Yeah, um, well, thanks. Uh, we, uh, Nix and I had an encounter with who we think did this. Um, she gets a more serious look for a second. Um, I think, uh, I don't know if you knew the Legion in question. They mostly kept to themselves. I think their name was, um, S Severance or something? Sever? S just cutting. Uh, she makes a sort of a gesture. Um, they just, uh, they blended in with the IPD back in the day. And, uh, after the IPD went away, they didn't really know what to do. So, they hmm. just, um... Hung out in their room, and someone got him, I guess. Uh, she, like, she gets a, um, uh, more concerned look looking down. But, um, right, okay. Uh, she, uh, sort of draws herself up. It's not just them that's been worried lately. There's been something around the district. Um. Around? Yeah, it's mostly been... It's mostly been going after Legion or people with a familiar. That's... <sighs> I 
That's concerning. Yeah, and um, well, Nick's Nick's had an encounter. I had one too. Um, are you safe? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm 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 safe. Uh, it took one look at me and then it <laughs> ran away screaming. <laughs> <laughs> she says, <laughs> and tries to put on a brave face. <laughs> kind of a, like a, oh. <laughs> um, But, um, right. He comes closer and rests a hand <laughs> on her back. <laughs> they, uh, they, they sort of exhale. Um, this haunting, uh. She looks over to Nyx. It was the same for you, right? You heard the drop of a coin. Yeah, uh, I've been, I've been banned from picking up coins lately from my uh, friend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> by the way, do you have any uh, odd jobs that uh, you need doing? I've had a bit of a loss of income because of this. <laughs> <laughs> Do you pick up coins regularly? <laughs> oh yeah, people drop change all the time, and it's not exactly hard to pick it up. So <laughs> this one sure over here, not... this one over here, immediately chimes up. I never thought of that. Your chat is probably excellent for just scooping everything up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure you're not just pickpocketing. I would never. Oh my, come on. You know me better than that. No, I know you too well. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, am I? You know, um, one other fun tidbit. Uh, the twin witches of the Mirage District, they both have this energy. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> All right, but so yeah, uh, you might you might just want to avoid picking up any coins you hear drop. Uh, it happens not too long ago. I heard something fall, and uh, being me, I went to go pick it up, and then Ari freaked out like real <laughs> bad. Like I've never seen a freak out like that before, and uh, I was shoot. <laughs> All right. Okay, something tied to a coin. Coins. Yeah. We're having a what? we're having a sleepover here, so um, so no one will be in danger. I can set up some wards later. I'd appreciate that. This place seems to be fairly stable, but it couldn't hurt. Just in case. <laughs> Did any of you get a look at the coin? Ooh. Hey, Nix. It's time Ooh. to roll. Time to roll. Okay. Uh, no. <laughs> no, you sure did not. Hey, uh, Sunflower, how are you? How are you doing, bud? Uh, yeah. You, yeah let's, let's give you just a good old normal one. I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, 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 Cal, oh, Cal. <laughs> uh, well, Cal is just gonna roll a d6 to see if he had. He thinks, ah, oh, I might know something about currency. I've been, around, I've been around a fair bit. Yeah. Yes! Yes, he does! Oh! <laughs> Would you mind explaining that rather unique mechanic Cal has going on? So, Cal has a gift called Well Traveled. Um, <laughs> I think I've done this before. You may, at any time, add 1d6 to one of your rolls if you believe you may have done something like this in the past before. If I roll a 1 or 2, add it to the, nah, just kidding list, and you may never use this ability to gain a bonus to that activity again. Yeah. Uh, roll a 5-6. Yeah, this is familiar. I can add it to the, add a d6 bonus to that activity forever, even if I roll 1 to 2 on a future attempt. Recogni add recognizing currency to your list. Yeah, yeah he's fucking a uh, coin man. Fucking yeah. Coin collector. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me a, uh, in this case, uh, roll me 1d6. We're gonna add it on to a composite of Nyx and Sunflower's rolls. Uh, is that what the d5 should- what the 5 should be? Uh, no, just give me a bonus d6 at this point. 
You got it. You get to, you get to add It's a five again. Five again. Okay. So, Amai, as you as you lean down and are like, well, did you get a good look at it? All of them, like, lean their heads in together. And it's like, well, I kind of got a glimpse out of the corner of my eye. And and then Nyx is like, well. It, I don't remember. <laughs> I did. <laughs> and between everyone, you do manage to put it together because Cal just chimes up. Oh, sounds like Mitsudai currency. Me- okay. I think I've actually had that happen to me now that you mention it. <laughs> oh, that was it. That was it. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> Someone dropped a meat to die in coin the other night, but I'm not picking that up. That's suspicious as hell. Yeah, yeah. who would do that? Somebody. Does. Is there anything that I can, like, from my experiences that uh, is similar to that, like a coin and a haunting? Ooh, yes. Uh, give me a give me a roll to do, um, and you get to, to, you get to add your one d six bonus. As <laughs> 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 I come together, I'm fucking losing my mind. It's so fucking good. Uh, whoops. <laughs> uh, uh, roll to do now. Complex. Yeah. Okay. See? Okay. Excellent. Hmm. Oh boy, Mitsudai and coin. <sighs> okay. Legends related to a Mitsudai coin. Well. There's nothing in particular that stands out, but you start to follow a thread in your mind. Almost, what if the magic isn't working right? What if something different is happening, as things always do? In fact, you've been dealing with improperly summoned familiars for most of your life, unfortunately. (laughs) And in doing so, you recognize maybe the signs of this. And so you decide to almost like a, like a search engine, go through your Mitsudain myth. You pick out legends one by one. And yeah, you, there's one. There's a, there is a more recent legend about a ferryman for the dead that demands payment from puny mortals to carry them to the to carry them to the next world. It's it's a funny myth. It's one that has only cropped up in recent times, but at the same time you go, hmm, yeah, that sounds relatively familiar. Maybe we have a match. You narrow it down a bit. Okay, how could that manifest? Hmm. No way around it. Spirit of death. That that is the conclusion you draw yourself to. Anything more specific than that is out of your wheelhouse, but you go, how could that manifest? Yeah, spirit of death. Well, that's fun. <sighs> that's that's dangerous if it's missummoned. Hmm. That's already caused the death of a legend. Hmm. If this is allowed to run rampant. Bad things can happen. Uh, something speaks up, almost invisibly from your shoulder, disappearing into part of your soul. Uh, Senra can almost activate or deactivate at will, but he flares out in a cloud of smoke. You want me to hunt down Mitsudai coins or something? I... knows. <laughs> I would prefer I be with you. Hmm. I'd like you, if you can take note of wherever you hear these coins, perhaps we can find a correlation with uh, where they're sighted. Mm. Smart flashes into nothingness. (laughs) If I can find somebody who has seen it, perhaps, perhaps I could, hmm, that might be dangerous. Want to go to the scene of the crime? Sunflower puts up a hand. Yes, that would be... That would be... That would be good. I can, Are you sure you'd like to come? Yeah, I can take you over. Trust me, I'll keep you safe. 
She puts up her hand. <laughs> Sienna dramatically stands up. No, no, you're keeping these two safe. Come on. Some <laughs> <laughs> sunflower back in this direction. No, but we're, they're not. I, Nyx is already plenty strong. Yeah, and Amaya is too. Come on. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> it's she, she grabs her hand. <laughs> Why are you saying I'm not enough? <laughs> Sunflower for you and like, Ari? Sure, for me? I mean, you know where I've been. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> she, she flares up and just, just seems confused. Elsewhere, you, um, you walk back outside. <clears throat> Travel in this direction now. And you go to... What is a completely uh, nondescript section of the district? You wouldn't know that there was a door here unless you specifically, like, pointed out. She points at the door. Okay, all you. All, <laughs> all. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be You're, honest. There's other. No. no, there's. Listen. There's other people in there that I don't like. So, um, counting entirely on you for this one. You got this, right? I got this. <laughs> he walks in with, uh, with some swagger. <laughs> yeah, you got this. You're the problem solver of the Mirage District. This is easy. You, uh, you head into the apartment building, and the first thing you notice is how oppressively silent it is. <laughs> <laughs> Pitch darkness. No lights. Ah. And I'm sure there will be some fuckery with the dynamic lighting. Let me know if anyone can't see at any point. It's it's important for the mood, for the vibe. Mm -hmm. um, oh. you, uh, you start looking around. It's dead silent in the apartment. <laughs> He makes sure to relight his pipe. Ooh, excellent. Allow me to light your pipe for you. <laughs> I can adjust your lighting. Here, let me hit this. Dynamic lighting emits a bright light now. Doink, 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 bam. There you go. Significantly more light. And he he's not trying to hide his presence. He's just walking very carefully. Immediately roll to die. Okay. Uh, seems fine. Yeah, nothing. Nothing? Nothing, nothing. Just dead silence and the uh, occasional groan of a fo floorboard under your feet. He walks through very casually. Oof. Taking a look around. Gets a lot darker down that hallway. But to your left, there's there's an apartment here. But um ah, right, Sienna's gonna retroactively be responsible for a second. Uh here we go. <laughs> the ghost of Sienna. <laughs> okay, so basically in order to get where you wanna go, you're not gonna like you're gonna wanna go down the first hallway, she gesticulates. Take a right. Then take your next right, and then it's at the end of that hallway on the left. Okay, thanks. See ya. Bye. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is an older Amai. Also, I, I apologize. This is, oh, no. this is before I got the 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 sexy updates. So I'll be quietly uh, creating a new one uh, on the side. Continue. <laughs> Perfectly fine. But he he just takes a stroll through. Continue walking. Silence. Roll to die for me again. Am I, My red only is oh, six. <laughs> am I? How do you deal with the silence in times when you're completely alone like this? What do you feel? <sighs> I think he's a younger am I would be unnerved by it. He's very used to having Senra around. It's rarely ever quiet. Yeah. Um. So that almost upsets him. Hmm. But I think 
he feels that connection with uh, Senra and the others yeah. and sort of feels that warmth and just lets his mind wander, having those chains keep him grounded. Ah, excellent. Exactly the answer I was hoping to hear. You hear something drop. He... Hmm. You track where it was. Here. Hmm. Fallen in the corner. There's a coin glinting. He... Walks over. You approach. You don't sense or see anything else. It's just that single coin hanging there. Hmm. It glitters in the darkness. He squats down and uh, takes a look at it. You look at it. Yeah, it's a dime currency. Plain as day. You'd recognize it anywhere after your time in Mitsudai. What age was this? What, what year was this uh, minted? Oh, freshly minted. It's glinting, shining. A brilliant treasure. Freshly minted. Oh. Noise. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nice eats it. <laughs> yeah, it's... Oh. Um, he's going to wander his hand over the top, and he's going to try and uh see if uh he can sense where it came from, if there's any tether to this. Ooh, okay. If this is a real coin or it is a facsimile. Ooh, give me a roll to do. Add 1d6 to it. Nice. Ah, okay. So, you look at the coin. This is obviously not a normal piece of currency. Immediately, you sense the the almost emotional energy burning from this thing. This is a segment of a creature. This is a long tendril or a feeler extended out into the city above. Oh. From below? Hmm. Oh, that's a good question. With the 22, you don't know. All right. <laughs> <sighs> what are you going to do with it? I'll give you one more piece of information. If not directly picked up, the coin will vanish after a set period of time, basically disappearing. It's like casting a fishing line out. Yeah, I think. He sort of gives a cheeky smile. I'll take the bait. <laughs> <laughs> Do you he reach out and take it? Okay. Yep. You feel that tug, and you just smile. You picked up the coin, and you feel like, how do I put this? You hold on to it. You feel it entwine with you for a second, and you know something in a moment. Whatever this is, is not aware that you know that it's hunting you now, and that gives you a certain amount of joy. <laughs> <laughs> he, he smiles a little bit more wryly. <laughs> well, <laughs> you've got a crime scene to investigate. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, which direction was it from here? Uh, this was direction. Right then left? Yeah. yeah it's this it's way. Just making sure. All right, you continue heading down. <gasps> marbles. You see the marbles on the floor. <laughs> oh, who left these here? <laughs> <laughs> Do you... Hold on, let me let me replace. There is a new one I now. There, oh, use God. that one. This, this one's newer. Uh, he... He leans down and just looks, somebody's got to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> you pick up the various marbles off the ground. And, uh, <laughs> stack them all up, make a nice pile, and, uh, yeah, you feel proud of yourself. Oh, i got to leave places cleaner than I left them. Oh, um... Uh, was it this door, or...? It's this one down at the end of the hall. Ooh, do you want to, do you want to open this door? Uh, I think, I think he'll, he'll knock. Is it, like, uh, unlocked? It's unlocked. Okay. Uh, he'll take a peeky in. You look inside. Yeah, you've heard about this apartment building. This is a oh, place marbles. that's... Need more marbles, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a place meant to house legends. You find the marbler. <laughs> 
Uh, no, you look around the apartment building. This, this place is, how do I put this? A little sad. Um, this apartment building provides home a respite for creatures without purposes, necessarily. They're given places to stay while they can theoretically find those, but most of them just fade into nothingness. There are actually places all over the world like this. Normally, they'd call them haunted houses, but in your instance, you know the relatively sad truth. A creature likely occupied this room once. It's now become one with either the floor or the ceiling or the sky. He sort of... He looks a little bit sad at... Like, it's it's like an acceptance, but it's still like a sad parting. No. Eh. It's, Such a shame. This, this apartment building is a little uncomfortable, but your target is deeper in. He closes the door and continues on. You continue on. And I see a door at the end. Just average, slightly ajar, and you hear very, very low talking from inside. Someone sounds a little pissed off. He knocks. You knock. And am I? I'm going to give you vision of the room for a second. As you gaze across, you... A man on the inside hears your loud knock. Huh? (laughs) He kind of turns over. Who's this Jack? And then he's like, (laughs) oh. (laughs) <laughs> are you uh are you that other guy? I'm a guy. I'm not sure if I'm the other one. Uh-huh. Um am I? Is that it? Uh yes. Cool. And I don't have I'm glad I don't have to me. talk. He he kind of runs over your oh. sentence. Cool. That means I don't have to talk to these two anymore. He kind of turns directly at you, then sparks a glance back. Come on in. Take a seat. Okay, rude, but <laughs> all right. Oh, <laughs> you suddenly oh. understand. <laughs> you suddenly understand <laughs> how one can be driven to this state. He he goes through a f- a, a myriad of emotions. State of events. <laughs> a myriad of emotions just flash across his face. Like surprise, then disgust, then surprise again. <laughs> Thank God, I'm actually glad to see you compared to these two chuckle fucks. <laughs> I, I wasn't prepared for you either. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you all. I am am I Morali. Oh, um, Socorro Aquila. Ah, I'm a I'm a lawyer dealing with your um, murder case, I suppose. Yes, yes, yes. Murder, right. murder. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I'm Barbados, and that's Sonder. <laughs> it's, it's a pleasure Sonder. to meet you, Sonder. Sonder glances back at Barbados and says nothing. <laughs> you cannot tell if he's annoyed. <laughs> um, I just looks at Barbados. Barbados? Yes. <laughs> Nods. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see you are not dead. <laughs> Why would I be dead? Well, uh, the curses I placed uh, seem to didn't have not worked. <laughs> curses? <laughs> <laughs> well then, I'll keep that in mind. You might have some curses coming your way in the future. <laughs> Try me. <laughs> so, for context, you two. Sonder. Oh, God. Sonder, I'm so sorry. Sonder. No, you're not. You're not sorry. You're Don't right. apologize to Sonder. <laughs> Sonder, oh. you're, uh, the consequences of your actions have finally uh, come down upon your head. And uh, the your... consequences of his actions or the consequences of Tyr's actions? The consequences of your actions in this one instance. Uh, okay. 
Specifically, Sonder, specifically you spreading your card around to a few specific sources has resulted in this motherfucking lawyer over here getting the, the idea that you are some sort of special consultant that can be called upon. <laughs> this keeps happening. This keeps happening. This keeps happening. <laughs> you know who the other person the lawyer called for this exact type of incident? This chuckle fuck. And you know what, Barbados? A murder sounded interesting, so you <laughs> actually came. <laughs> Everyone you like, why the fuck? Barbados walks in and everyone's like, why the fuck? Explain. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, uh, Mike takes a seat, a seat down on the chest. Um, just a warning, I took some bait earlier, so something might be appearing. No. Oh. Uh-huh. Bait? It's not Hey, Sonder, five check. <laughs> roll yeah, it's Sonder, roll it, roll Sonder to immediately die. begins to ping. Uh, <sighs> what are we? Roll to die? Roll to die? Give me a roll to die. Give me a roll to die Give immediately. Me roll to die. Oh. <clears throat> Sonder. Sonder. Oh, that's like a that's a maximum lizard brain roll. Is that's a maximum that is. lizard yeah. brain. This <laughs> man just walked in, very politely introduced himself to you. And then said, by the way, I've just taken some bait, so... And then you look at him, and you look at him, and you see what is the equivalent of a fish hook buried inside of him right now, and you're like, I see. (laughs) (laughs) He sits down. They decided to dangle it in front of me, and they don't seem smart enough to realize that I knew. They? You mean the murder? Murderer? The potential. What I have. Some kind of magic thing. Yes. Okay. (laughs) He just sits down, (laughs) kind of just disassociates a little bit and lets you talk. (laughs) From what I can tell, it might be a botched summoning. Something from Mitsudai. Hmm. Wow. Kind of crazy. So, uh, <laughs> what was the bait exactly? Did you, like, you know, he shake hands? Up, oh. He holds up a coin. A coin? Mm-hmm. Freshly mi- uh, minted. Meets a dying. Looks like it's from uh. an antique shop. He <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> 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 like, looks at it and thinks, hmm. I wonder what its perception of the culture is. Uh, let me, let me, let me, I don't want to hold it. Fuck that. I'm just going to, like, you know, squint oh, at it. Oh, sure you don't bit. want it? He, he tries to grab his hand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it might be a good experiment, he, he you know? He, he just jokes and, and <laughs> just pats him on the, on the side. Don't worry. Yes, yes, yes. So Mitsudai coin, I've been to Mitsudai once before. Loom, loom, yeah. loom. <laughs> Listen, I, don't mind him. I, he's yeah. just, he's waiting. Don't mind him. Yeah. He's fine. Amari looks up and, and just sort of smiles placidly. Hey, um, uh, could you all like lean in real close real for a second? I gotta talk to you two, not you, lawyer, uh, for a second. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, it's a magic I'm, thing. You don't I'm care anyway. I'm your anyways. legal confidant. What? <laughs> oh, he kind of stops. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. whatever. He kind of just sits back a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, why the? Why is he here? Who like? I, I, Barbados like looks at him, clearly shit talking this man, and then goes back to the little puddle. Slender <laughs> <laughs> looks at Barbados. <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, what? Why is he here? <laughs> you know, it's, like he doesn't look important at all. How did he find this place? Why is he? Am I? You know, you know the answer to this. Whenever yeah. anything bad happens, Sienna calls the lawyer to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> the power of law, the greatest magic. Yeah, the greatest magic. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, I think she calls it the the mystical arts of legalese. Um, <laughs> you even have laws? <laughs> There's a few. I There's too many now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I I know that yeah. Sienna was concerned. Oh obviously. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you say Sienna, he just kind of rolls his eyes and continues <laughs> going what he's doing, looking around the room. Uh he looks at the coin and goes uh, from what I understand there's something that goes along the lines it perhaps might be a death spirit mm. like the wish granter kind that goes evil or just like <laughs> I'm, I'm not entirely sure uh, you know it's... death spirit doesn't narrow it down <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it does a little bit. You're sure it's a spirit? It's clearly a spirit. <laughs> he kind of like shoots the glance at Barbados and then looks back. <laughs> can I sense... If, is there any like nature tied to this, uh, this tether that's attached to me? Give me another roll to do. Excellent. Uh, Sonder, give me a roll to do as well. Okay. Hold on. I'm, I'm considering something stupid. Oh! Oh! Oh, Sonder, what are you considering? Uh, Sonder consider- I'm considering doing something dumb. Uh, Sonder holds out his hand for the coin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my search is his face and hands it out. <sighs> Sonder, you take the coin! You feel this thing attached to you. Roll to Perfect. do Good. immediately. Good. Uh, can he walk in? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. From, from his earlier die? Yeah, of yeah. course. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god. <sighs> Sonder? <laughs> hey, Sonder. Hey, Sonder. Hey, Sonder. Yes, yes. You know where this Sonder. mother you know where this motherfucker is. <laughs> you take the coin and you're like, don't run. <laughs> now who's hunting who bitch? <laughs> oh. oh god. Okay, yeah. what do you do with this information? What happens? Uh where what is it doing? Uh, uh, it is... they seem to be tethered to each other oh, now. Oh, it's waiting at a maximum di distance for nightfall. <laughs> oh, oh, silly bitch. No, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Saunders starts walking in a direction. Am I? You know right. exactly what's happening. Yeah. Hey, where, where are you going? Hey, hang on a second. Oh, it's uh, magic. Don't, no, don't. No, no, no. Hang on, hang on. He kind of stands up. Are you, what's going <laughs> on? Sunder turns around. He's like, you want the problem dealt with, don't you? <laughs> yes, but I have... Do you know where it is? Yeah. Where? <laughs> what direction? What area of the city? Oh, I can... Do you want me to tell you, Sonder, and then you decide if you want to share it with this man or not? <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, sure. it's in the old, It's in the old noble district. Ah. Ah. Okay, you know what? He'll he'll share that. I guess that's why he's here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. share it? Yeah, Sakura's he'll share that. Kinda, Sakura kind of gets a hmm, kind of face like, oh, that's interesting. All right, then. Well, if it is a legend, then there's no legal boundaries for what anything you do. And if it's the old noble district, there's not really any legal paperwork I have to do around that. Carry on. My job's done. <laughs> <laughs> Thunder carries on. <laughs> Amaya bows slightly and says, thank you for your work. <laughs> and then continues following. You have a wonderful day. Well, but good luck with that. Uh, oh, you I'm don't want to join in? Oh, you see, Amai, there's something mm -hmm. far more important for me to do right now. What, sit on your fat ass? <laughs> I, uh, uh, I, there's a parade ah. coming to town, Amai. Mm -hmm. Not just any parade. The one of the noble variety. You know how the people of Indigo love nobles, right? <laughs> he just looks confused. <laughs> Am I? You haven't, you haven't heard sleeping. Sh you haven't heard this shit about This conversation is happening. Thunder has exited. He's gone. Uh. <laughs> Am I? You haven't heard shit about nobles coming to town. 
I... You've been out of town, though. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, well, that sounds interesting. Um, this fellow seems to be, uh, in a rush. I'm going Oh, do- yeah, follow the hunting dog, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it scowls at that. <laughs> Barbados. You tried to warn him. <laughs> you just shrugged to yourself and, well, you've got business to do, right? Yes. Well, you see, this thing is, this murder might not even be connected to the coin. So, might as well stick around and look around a little bit more. Oh, yes. You stay, you stay behind in the apartment as you two head out. Amai, you look over to Sonder. Hmm. Can you roll me a d10? to sound. <laughs> ah. I see. You've heard of this man. Oh, <laughs> oh. God. In oh, fact, is that his... <laughs> oh, no. Hey, Nico, how does it feel to see it happen in real time? <laughs> <laughs> You've heard of this man. In fact... Yeah, you've seen him around town once or twice. You followed the rumors from last month. And, Sonder, you start to wander ahead, cutting away through the darkness of the apartment. You were the source of much rumor and happenstance around town before fading away into oblivion. Almost like you disappeared through a hole in everyone's memories. This but, is the got intended. for a time, you accomplished many important things in the city of Indigo. No. You reflect on them deeply. <laughs> Sonder, you reflect. Sonder, you turn over the events in your head. All the important things that happened to you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Hey, Sonder. Hey, Sonder. You shot a man. <laughs> he did. He oh, fuck really yourself, Sonder. <clears throat> <laughs> the end! <laughs> Last month was great for you! <laughs> oh. Amai, you travel behind him. Yeah, that's Saunders. Yes. <laughs> you follow behind him. He's like this. <laughs> He's just, he just sort of smiles. <laughs> Sonder, you go into the city. Sonder. Following a trail. I need one second to prep something. You and go prep something. Saunders chasing a ghost. Saunders chasing a ghost. I've gotta, I've gotta put, I've gotta put something out. Really quick. You know what? Break time. This is the perfect yeah. break time. Yeah. Fuck break yeah. time. <sighs> okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm apologizing right now. Instantly, I'm apologizing. <laughs> it's, it's. <laughs> no need to apologize. Oh, no. oh <laughs> I love the rancidness. <laughs> <laughs> That was a the greatest shit. reveal ever. Yeah, I know. Everyone's <laughs> just like, ah. <laughs> Suddenly, everything made sense. Oh, yeah, everyone everyone else thought everyone else was the worst person in the room. <laughs> 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 Holy yeah. shit. What a fucking room full of people. Okay. That's a room full of disasters. <laughs> my Everybody talk to chat. Um, more people are up next time. I've got to. I've got to ruminate for a second. Do I organize this mess? I'm sorry, Sander. No. Took the point. <laughs> Hi, Chad. How are you? Hi, Chad. Hi, Hi Chad. Chad. You know when, like, you know when you're like, yeah, the, we're getting back to Indigo. This one's gonna be long, and then you get in the session, and you're like, yeah, this one's gonna be long. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Yeah. That's how we, we roll. Until Sonder punches a ghost. Yeah, <laughs> it's not in the ghost until Sonder's punched a ghost. Man, I love it when we flash back to all the important events of each character's lives and <sighs> Sonder shot Maxie Higgins. That was great. Yeah. Sonder so shot great. Maxie Higgins. That is the that is what he did. <laughs> love that for him. Don't we all? Would that we all could be Sonder. <laughs> Shooting Maxie Higgins. Uh, I'm sorry, Sander. I, uh, I love Sakura. Sakura's oh, yeah. here. I love Sakura's here. I love him. I love watching him. Do not put me in a room with that motherfucker. I will punch <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
What a yeah. fucking vinegar <laughs> room. I, Yo, I fucking love a Mai with Barbados. What? Yeah. Oh my god. I, I feel like you could just put Sonder, uh, Barbados, and Sokuro in a room for like three hours and just make that an entire thing. And then you would just be the most tense, just, just piss and vinegar scene of all <laughs> yeah, time. Yeah, just a room full of piss. Yeah. Stinks. Yeah, I was laughing so hard at the fucking Carver statue scene because they were all like, oh, yeah. look at this awful man. And I was like, they don't know. <laughs> they have no idea. I, I can right. smell him on the wind. <laughs> I'll be right back for real now. Uh, I knew Bob Bettis was going to show up. I was like, that. Nah. Yeah. Sensed him. Also, Cal is precious. Oh, that yeah. whole room was precious. That whole room was precious. Yeah, I love that room. <laughs> I just want to hang out in that room. Yeah. Just had to separate everything that was with. nice and everything that was rancid. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was the nice vibes room, and then you had the rancid vibes room. They have to both exist, or the world falls out of balance. Yeah, it's a balanced thing. I There's Carver. <laughs> and Carver! I love, I love Carver. Carver is the true neutral. I saw oh, balance. Yeah, <laughs> got him. Also, Sienna's default to just hire a lawyer. <laughs> yeah. Just to be safe, you know. We don't want to be doing illegal crimes. Or they do and they want to be represented. <laughs> I want to know what I'm doing is illegal. <laughs> and you tell me if this is illegal? Yeah, this is super illegal. Cool, thanks. Just wanted to check. Nice. Murder can be okay. Yeah. yeah. Fucking murder is okay. Murder is okay, says Sonder. That's what we learned here in Daisui Sen. Murder is okay. <laughs> murder is okay. Cool, man. Ari Ari is just fucking wife. screaming. Jews have it or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why are we investigating a murder if it's okay? Do you, you want to give the guy a medal? A cookie? Yeah, we do. We want to high five him. It's pretty like impressive. That. Oh, yo, nice. bro, your technique, pretty height. <laughs> pretty height. Hey, man, just here to say, good job. Yeah. <laughs> awesome fishing skills. I'm back! Well, that well, was buddy. phenomenal. Bye. Oh. Hello! Bye. Chat, Bye. how's it going? We're teaching chat that murder is cool. Yeah. <laughs> not in real life, though. But, like, not in real life, but, like, only in TTRPG. Just to cover ourselves yeah. legally, don't <laughs> murder. In real life, it's bad. Murder is okay in Minecraft. <laughs> in Minecraft, yes. Only not in real life world. Murder is cool. Asterisk. Is. In Minecraft. Asterisk. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, uh, All right. Hey, Brennan. <gasps> Brennan time. You round? Son of a bitch. Am I going last? Yeah, I fucking knew it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, J Man. Hey, Brent. I'm sorry. Yeah. I had I had to do it to you. Uh, Brennan. I had to do it to you. Yeah. Yeah. You ready? Am I ever? Okay, let's let's do this. How would you how do you characterize the legend of Beretta Pietro? Would you say that it was uh when do you think you hit your high point, you know? Or is your high point still in front of you? Oh, the high point is so far in front of me. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? Are you serious about that? Because um as far as I can tell, uh, you just hit something of a high point on your way back into town. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, it's, it's basically a graph that never stops going up. Yeah, you the tell- the legend of Beretta Pietro. You tell yourself that as you get stitches. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it got- Listen, it got bad. On your way back into town, Beretta. <laughs> You got engaged in the most epic battle anyone has ever seen. 
In fact, it it's, pretty cool. it's so cool and so disbelievable that uh, it will not be shown. Hmm. <laughs> This small, this small person immediately to your left frustratedly continues stitching you up. There you go. Are you sure you have to wear the raincoat? This is making this a lot harder. Yeah, it's really good for building up dramatic tension. <laughs> That's not, it, it's good for building dramatic tension. It is phenomenal for you losing blood. Come on, let me close you up. <laughs> no, it's fine. I don't need that much blood. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> they glare across. I thought you were supposed to be dead or something. Sit. Well, um, this would be the third time that I come back, so... Okay. Here I, I guess, am. I guess that's just what you do. They wave their hand around. Bretta, your relationship to this city has been a rocky one. Especially, your reputation has soared and plummeted more than any other individual, to the point that you now have to remain undercover, even in your own home. Well, you tell yourself that, or you tell other people that. Actually, no, you're, you're, you're honest, you're to the point, you're doing this for dramatic tension. <laughs> you know what you're about. I don't want to cause a scene in the streets. <laughs> really? Vampires, the undead... Okay. It would be such a scandal. I I don't know what you're talking about, but I don't think you're going to cause a scene today. It's the big Camellia parade. They gesture with their hand. I don't think anybody cares about the Pietros right now. Wait, they're having a Camellia parade? Yeah. <laughs> they lean forward. It's the new noble family moving into town. Like they're they're they're, they're, they're throwing a big thing. I, if you show up now, I, I don't know if anyone will care, to be honest. Aunt Z -Z. <laughs> ah, she's been Hello. laying back. Uh, How long was it gone? <laughs> gone? You were gone. A few How weeks. Did I know that. It was Come a few on. weeks, Yet, The doctor knows better. Oh, by the way, Doc. Yeah. <laughs> my little cousin over here is running out of blood. Why yeah. don't you give a blood transfusion for me? That's no. a good way to settle our tie. <laughs> yeah, no, stop. You're disgusting. Your wounds healed on their own. I'm not messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like you're going to have to hold on to that dramatic tension a little longer, huh? Mm. <laughs> I guess so. Especially I mean, since you, the oh, city you know. seems to have moved on. <laughs> Sitting up, you know, if you want to make a remember, why don't you ambush the festival, huh? Challenge their strongest to a duel in front of a thousand faces. Don't do that. Don't cause a scene. Listen. Cause a scene. Come on, guys. This, this city, <laughs> this city is already so close to some sort of rebellion happening. Like, okay, no one's happy about nobility coming back to the city. No one. People are already like inches away from starting a riot. Don't incite anything. Sounds like tyrants yeah, to sounds me. Sounds pretty cringe. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a rebellion. Come on, come on. Don't listen Stink. to this, Doc. Sounds like, sounds like the least free thing I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's pretty free, Auntie ZZ? What's pretty free? A riot. That's pretty free to me. A bunch of souls yelling out, throwing bottles and angry things everywhere. That sounds like Setting stuff on me. fire, bleeding all over the place. <laughs> that's, that's a real hell right there. Cosmo sits back in their chair and just stares at the ceiling. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. You start a fight, I'll be there. If not, I'll probably just relax. Okay, I'll let you know. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Doctors, I'll keep you employed. Thanks for your time <laughs> and the blood. <laughs> I'm going to head out, too. Thanks so much, Doc. <sighs> You know, that's like the worst thing that you could wish on a doctor, keeping them employed. Like... It would be pretty lame for you to go to school for all that time and not be able to work, so... I'm happy about my job safety, but at the same time, stop making wounded people. <laughs> Don't worry, it's mostly going to be me. No promises. <laughs> See you do later. You, do you two walk out together? Yeah, we'll walk out. Yeah. Together. <laughs> you, walk out, you walk out with your cool aunt. You walk out with your yeah. cool aunt ZZ. Your yeah, cool aunt ZZ wound up sticking with you across your summer vacation. She now follows you. <laughs> there you go. You got into a fight near the entrance. Yes. Uh, yes. It was It was a wonderful fight. I really enjoyed it. Bretta, this is How long were you waiting for me? Uh, 
well, I heard you were coming back on into town, so I just, around the last week, I just sort of, you know, waited every day whenever I could. But only well, during the That doesn't the sound very obsessive. Well, no, of course not. It was only during the evenings. I mean, think about it. If I just waited every day, all day, that'd look pretty lame. And besides, there's no, f there's no point in a fight before noon or even lunch. I agree. Brother. Even still, it's kind of sad that you don't have anything good going on in your life at night. <laughs> she stops. I just got here. Come on. Gotta give a girl time to figure out the scene. Scene's gotta figure out the girl first. <laughs> You're just saying things now to sound cool. Yep. I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of goes over and she gives you a nice pat on the soldier. A uh, so shoulder. Well, I'll tell you what. You have a wonderful day back in your lovely city. By all the fun stories you told, I bet it's just waiting to blow up again. So when you find yourself in the middle of it, don't die or else I won't be able to get my rematch. We're basically even after what I figured out at the gate. I don't know how that would make us even. A draw and me winning would mean I'm still winning. She stops. No, 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 no. You were cheating before. That was our first honest match, so it's only a draw now. I could have cheated well, plenty of times, too. Don't start on me. I know more <laughs> than you because I'm older than you, so you should just shut up. She just pats <laughs> your shoulder twice. I'm going to run off. I got to go bug the guy. He runs off in this direction. Oh, hey. <laughs> just like storms pass. Wax harp in the back of the head. It keeps oh, going. Crap. <laughs> what? <laughs> I know that voice. <laughs> you see them around the corner. Mm. I uh, sketchily peer at them from behind the corner. What are they doing? Uh, delivering mail. It's their job starting today. They're keeping so busy. How is it? How does it look? I don't know anything that's going on in the city, do I? Hey, dear man, does Randolph notice any of this? Let's find out. Probably not, no. <laughs> Randolph, you can't notice anything. Why? Uh, Randolph, is, <laughs> Randolph has mid-boss stats. It's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bretta, it's your boys. You used to run a gang in town, and now look at them. They, they're delivering mail. They look so professional. It's great. <laughs> you follow they them in your legit. terrifying ass raincoat, you serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> no, people do that. It's fall. That is the <laughs> stabbiest trademarked raincoat. It has appeared in three yeah. separate series now. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> you just uh... sit behind and you watch and you, you appreciate. You, you lurk from the shadows. Hey, Harp. Huh? He turns around and looks back. Who the- He, <laughs> like, reacts and takes a step <laughs> backwards like, what the fuck am I gonna get- Oh. What the hell, Brett? Is oh, that worry, you? I'm not going to mug you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not- What? Why are you dressed like that? What's going on? I'm building dramatic tension. You keep building dramatic tension and Randolph is gonna slap you. <laughs> I think he's gonna slap me anyway. Yeah, probably. Um, she looks back over to Randolph. Hey, uh, good to see you alive. Um, I knew, I knew you were alive because uh, Teach told me. Uh, I knew she couldn't keep a secret. <laughs> but uh, it was, it was a big relief. Um, then I told Randolph, and uh, he uh, handed me a gun, and he said, uh, "Find out." What do you think that means? I still don't know. I still have his gun. <laughs> <laughs> Probably means he's giving you two options. Okay. And he told you to find out. So find that's the option that he's chosen for you. Bretta, what happened to you people to make you all like this? <laughs> um, I'm learning myself. <laughs> wow, I'm really happy about your emotional development, but at the same time, this is a loaded firearm and I could be arrested. <laughs> No, that's that's just yeah. that's just yeah. a run of the mill delivering mail firearm. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Bretta, I don't know how long you've been gone, but Tempest now runs the city, and uh, believe it or not, there are no longer any more delivering mail firearms. It's just uh, it's just it's it's, it's different classes of weaponry now. This runs the city now. 
Yeah. 80% of it. Well, that went pretty smoothly. Um, what about yeah. the mob? Pockets of resistance have all died out. Uh, mob went legit. They're technically traded companies now. Um, so, uh, yeah, Tempest can regulate them as they regulate everybody else. And tied them? Oh, Tide got, Tide got downsized, especially after that. Uh, there was an incident with a bunch of ghosts. Now they're relegated purely to ghost hunter duty. That's excellent. And uh, Gailarni is try trying to move in, same as always. And uh, of course, motions with Ed. I feel like the 13th Ward's making a big play, but nobody else seems to be noticing. You hear about that Camellia family coming to town? I did. I keep hearing about it. <laughs> <laughs> you are upset by this. <laughs> it clenches, clenches fist. <laughs> yeah. yeah, some noble family. Like, I don't know. You think they're moving in to, like, rule the place? I don't think they're coming to hang around. Hmm. Well, that might balance Tempest out. I think they're going to be allied with uh, folks around here, 13th Ward. After all, it was Kazia that invited them. Ah, interesting. So I guess the waltz of politics continues even when I'm gone. Yeah, the dance is getting more dangerous. Uh, don't get shot. Uh, don't carry around. Those, how many swords do you have? <laughs> like, I was <laughs> the umbrella, the raincoat. Uh, she she opens her raincoat and she's like, she motions to her three swords. <laughs> wow, I three actually swords. prefer to call them melee guns. That's fair. That's very you. <laughs> he pats you on the shoulder. It's like, and I'm would gonna you believe they never run out of ammo? Yeah, I would. Um, I'm gonna tell Randolph that you're around, so uh, if you're gonna run, you should start now. No, I'm not going to run. You're not? I think I've been unfair enough to him. I should probably say hi. Yeah, you probably should. Come on. Come on. Say hi to your boy. <laughs> hey, boss! Randolph uh, looks over to Harp. Yes? Points at Raincoat. <laughs> looks at Raincoat. <laughs> Well, is that how you're going to greet your old, old boss? <laughs> I hear they call you by your real name now. You you hear sound of a uh, barrel chamber opening. <laughs> <laughs> and you hear the sound of a, of a bullet going into it. There's a the second bullet going into it. Oh my god, we're gonna, get, third bullet going we're into gonna, gonna get arrested. Yeah, There's okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm disengaged in this situation. <laughs> so, boss, how's it been? Oh, you know, um, exploring the afterlife. Mm -hmm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Barrel chamber closes. <laughs> Oh, boss. How are things with you? Oh, very good. The uh, Sampede Trading Co. has been going extremely well thanks to you. I knew you'd handle it. Of course. My job, You've always been my best man. Of course. He uh, looks at you and he gives you like a bit of a smile. So, boss, might I ask, what's up with the raincoat? Still trying to be Deb? No, I was just building dramatic tension. Mm, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> what for exactly? Well, I noticed you loading a gun, so mm -hmm. I feel now's as good a time as any. Good. He points the gun <laughs> at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, Bretta, narrate away you throwing off the raincoat. <laughs> <laughs> So Beretta, in one swift motion, throws off her raincoat, and in the hand that she's used to throw off the raincoat, has a gun facing back at her old Pancho <laughs> Bill. <laughs> you are prepped. You yeah. are ready. Mm -hmm. Do you both fire? Yeah. Beretta, <laughs> you shooting? Yeah. Beretta's firing into the sky. 
Hey, Randolph, where are you shooting? He's shooting right next to her ear to deafen her. <laughs> Two shots ring out. Everyone sprints in different directions. No one's hit. Randolph. I thought your aim was better than that. I assumed you wanted to be the Stampede King, didn't you? Mm, no, not right now. Being Stampede King and head of Stampede Trading Co. at the same time is a rather, he thinks to himself a little bit, dirty mess of things, wouldn't you think? Especially since is somebody tough. else has come to town to take, take that title. Oh? And who's that? Oh, Champion of Noctua. She, what? <laughs> <laughs> She wants to be the Stampede King now. Oh no, she already did become it. Oh, so you were just shooting at me for fun then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I deserve that. <laughs> you do. But did you really think that a, a bullet was going to deafen me? I was shot out of the womb, after all. <laughs> Randolph just kind of shrugs a bit. Worth a shot, I guess. It's good to see you, Bill. Good to see you as well, boss. He w steps forward and extends out a hand. She puts her gun away, and then she extends a hand back. They do a shake. Uh, Randall but it's take like a cool secret shake. Yeah, it's one of those cool ones, yeah. Got some wiggly fingers in there somewhere, probably. <laughs> yeah. Randall takes a step back. <sighs> well, boss, what are you planning on doing? Well, first of all, I'm not your boss anymore. Mm hmm You're the chairman, after all. True. So I guess I need to figure out the new lay of the land. Yes. I'm not gonna hire you for free. Also, I'm not planning on hiring you in the first place. <laughs> That's probably for the best. I'm not very good at deliveries. I get lost easily. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> These two guys back here, it's like, wow. Uh, wow, huh? <laughs> Are we fighting or not? <laughs> oh, no, you're good. No, we're not okay. fighting. <laughs> they go back to delivering mail! <laughs> he, uh... He kind of thinks to himself a little bit, Well, certainly see you brought some interesting characters with you as well. That lady who just ran by and slapped harp, harp in the back of the head certainly seems like a, a whole pack of cards, if you get what I mean. <laughs> yeah, trouble seems to follow me. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> But at least it keeps things interesting. I suppose that's that's nice in its own way. He kind of uh, scratches his chin, and he uh, he uh, he uh, looks out uh, behind you. I don't know if you've gotten a good look at the new at the new trading co, but we've gotten quite a nice setup going. Even got a nice horse statue set up on top and everything. You found a horse statue? Yes. Surprising, really. Where did you find such a thing? Had to import it. <laughs> <laughs> Importing, hey? That's right. With nice little hand from Mr. Kazuya. So, you're working hand in hand with the 13th Ward then? That's right. That's good. Yes. Sound like you're a little displeased about something a little bit ago. What's that? Uh, something about that noble parade coming into town. Oh, yeah, you just... You have a big, fancy death, and then everybody moves on to the new noble family. It's kind of telling. It says a lot about society, really. <laughs> In a way, really, yes. <laughs> In all honesty, though, what do you expect when a firework's that big after one had already died out, right? Good point. People hey. become addicted to fireworks. Right. Maybe you just need to make one bigger and louder, then. Unless it's not your style anymore. No. My style is definitely still big, loud, stupid fireworks. Mm. <laughs> That's but good. hopefully I won't hurt the people I care about this time. 
<laughs> he kind of chuckles at that one. Well, I certainly wish you a whole heaping lot of good luck on that one. <laughs> and not that you need any, but good luck with what you're doing. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other around. Of course. After all, we're male people now. He... Yes, I look forward to my first package. <laughs> he kind of uh, nods. He then raises up a hand and then heads this direction uh, into the Yoshihara estate. Uh, Freda, you've got other plans in the city, though. You've got a place you want to visit, right? Yeah, I gotta... Well, there's somebody I gotta see. And yeah. then... There's a certain pool that I need to see. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, hold on, I'm cutting us to the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Bretta, it's time to come back. It's time to lay down new roots, and I guess, maybe, if you're really feeling daring, it's time to set off a brand new fire in the city of Indigo. But, uh, first, it's time to reflect on all that you've lost to get here. <laughs> you, uh, you stand. You stand in your apartment. You just, uh... Look around. It's so quiet. It's so desolate. <sighs> the pool's still here, though. <laughs> the pool is still here. Here. She takes a step forward. Leans over. And dunks her head in the water. <laughs> <laughs> you dunk your head in the pool. Uh, this has not been cleaned in a while. It's not great. <laughs> but in doing it, in doing this, you feel like you reemerge into a brand new indigo. God, it's cold up here, actually. Holy shit. <laughs> no, that was dumb. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I mean, that was dumb, but, like, whatever. You got other plans, right? You've got plenty of plans. People to see. Uh, an entire town to learn about again. Yeah, you got an entire... Oh, you gotta go stalk around the city. You've got so much to do, and... Wait, you think, a, uh, you think about it for a second, and you look out across from your penthouse suite. Your eye picks up on something gorgeous in the distance. Something that was mentioned to you in passing. That's right. You can't exactly live here anymore, Beretta. That's not, that's not an option for you, but you always wondered. Just that building right across the way, right? You always oh, wondered like what, what lives the people in those smaller buildings must live. And, well, according to a certain contact, someone might have a couch that you can surf on for a bit down in those buildings. I look forward to surf. <laughs> <laughs> Bretta, you move throughout this city and you have a wide variety of plans. First of all, I want you to roll something for me. Yes. And you're going to apply a minus five penalty to it. No! <laughs> what is it? Uh, this is you sneaking out of Pinion Tower unnoticed. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I should have left the raincoat on. <laughs> yeah. Listen, sometimes you've got to roll for your crimes. Oh. Uh, lock in whatever you're going to lock in. Let's lock in. Uh, blue. <laughs> you lock in your blue stat and in doing so um minus five uh you're spotted <laughs> yeah no you're definitely spotted on your way out but you do manage to make your way down through the city a very nice oh wait yep. did i just fail a roll to die you did yes good <laughs> beretta smiles you find your way down into the flag district. No, oh, get out of here. You're not here. Go, leave. Chew. <laughs> uh, you come down into the flag district, and you wander across the way. Pinion Tower will no longer do for Beretta Pietro. No, no, no. You have a new castle with a new friend. Pinion oh. Tower is just too fancy for my blood. <laughs> 
you straighten your collar. And you, uh, you find your way into your brand new apartment. I'm going to leave the surprise of that just there for a hot sec. <laughs> Bretta, redecorating has never been so easy, is all I'm going to say. <laughs> you dust your hands off and you're like, yeah, good work, me. As the consequence of you being spotted flares to life in your ear. Hey, Bretta! <laughs> You can hear it on the other side of the phone. You haven't picked up yet, but you know the noise. Hello? <laughs> you crack open the phone, and you hear it for real. Hey, Barada! <laughs> How far are you? <laughs> Why am I hearing you twice? <laughs> I hear you're back in town. Town. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you liking the apartment <laughs> were you following me dad no uh you just got spotted leaving pinion tower oh good i made a scene well, maybe a little bit <laughs> he uh he like looks around how was your trip how was how was how was uh my father i guess <laughs> every bit as rotten as i expected I guess, yeah. <laughs> it sort of grumbles. How's your apartment? Can, can I see? Oh, would you like to? It's, yeah, of course. I just freshly decorated. Pokes his head inside. I see. Isn't the, <laughs> <laughs> isn't the decor invigorating? And, uh... Well, you should be free to live your own life as, uh... You see fit? Glad you're... Glad you're back. Hey, hey, Beretta. What's wrong? Is it the beanbag table? No, uh, it's, uh... It's, 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 uh, nothing. Nothing's wrong. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Um, Beretta, can I ask you for a favor? Anything. Okay. So, uh... I have someone who Kazi has told me to sort of watch over. Um, could you... Like, maybe show around the city, help her out. She's apparently, uh, lost her cousin. Okay, um, do I get any more hints? Uh, yeah, you remember that, uh, remember when we used to go over to the Camellia Estate when we were kids? Uh, when you were a kid, and, uh, you would, you would play with the bookworm child. The, the one who likes reading, that one. Oh, yeah, no, I do remember that. I thought I kind of blanked that part of my childhood out of my head. But yeah. I do remember the camellias. Okay, that's good. Um, uh, could you uh, maybe watch the second in line for a little bit? Her cousin is gone uh, very missing. Okay. Um, that's that good. shouldn't be much of a problem if she doesn't mind running on some errands with me. I have a bunch of people I need to apologize to. Yeah, just uh, show her around or whatever. Um, maybe, hey! You were good on that island at solving things. Maybe help her find her cousin. Oh, you consider Beretta Pietro to be somewhat of a detective? Yeah, of course. I mean, you're always reading those detective novels back in the day that you thought reading was cool. I don't remember that day. <laughs> <laughs> you, you sort of walk towards the door and then you realize someone's been poking her head in this entire time. <laughs> Am I allowed to come in now? Uh, yeah. Hey, uh, Bretta, you remember Elixia, right? Elixia Camellia, look how much you've grown. Look at you. That's, I... <laughs> we bump into each other. <laughs> I, yeah, um, you, you, you too. You cut your hair. <laughs> and you grew yours out. Can you do a twirl? Let me see. <laughs> oh, this is great. Look at you too. Wonderful. Um... Don't worry, Daddy. We'll be fast friends again. I, I'm sure, I'm sure you will. Have fun! <laughs> he exits out in this direction rapidly. Door slams. There's dead silence. Um. Hi. <laughs> so you lost your cousin, have you? Y yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have somewhere I could sit down? Um. I have a beanbag table. 
What's that? It's in my apartment. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, sure. <laughs> fidget, 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 walk, <laughs> walk, walk. She just walk, watches you. Which one's yours? This I one right here. You, I thought you lived in Pinion Tower. Oh, no. Um, I know you're from a noble family, but so you probably don't know what it's like to live on your own, but it's quite <laughs> <bigger now>. <laughs> <laughs> You crack the door open. <laughs> and you show this person into your room. <laughs> What is this place? This is where I live. And this is my roommate, huh? um, who's definitely not a camellia. Yeah? <laughs> oh, we got guests. Hey, sit down. You can shove the pizza out of the way. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Beretta goes into the kitchen bathroom. <laughs> Don't use your fake name. This is a real okay. one. Okay. Yeah, sure, fine. Yeah, no, I'll g g calm down, Pietro. You move in and you're already giving me orders. This is bullshit. <laughs> That's why I'm on the top bunk. <laughs> she sits down at the atrocious Kotatsu you've got set out. Um, so, uh, wow, those are swords. <laughs> oh yeah, that's my sword lick. They're on the, what do you mean lick? It's a salt lick on which I put swords. And other rare items. <laughs> she stares at you directly in the face. Why? What? Where else would you put them? <laughs> um, in a weapon rack. Behind glass? Like, anywhere to preserve their value. Oh, uh, well. I don't plan on leaving much history behind. That... What? Huh. <laughs> No, actually, what do you mean by that? Go back. <laughs> you ever just say things to say things? No, <laughs> usually not. <laughs> I have much to teach you, Alexia Camellia. Stop. <laughs> so, um, well, it's good to see you again, I guess, Beretta. You do look good with short hair. Oh, thank you. And oh. you've gotten taller. Thank and you. you talk now. That's new. Yeah. <laughs> There's just a slight grumble off to the side. Um, I need help. Um, I, uh, well, or actually, me and Skyus both were supposed to come over and see you the second you came back to town. Um, yes, I've heard that there's a big parade. There's going to be a big parade, but just at the same time, you are a noble scion of the few remaining of Indigo. I think, I think my dad as well as grandma have interests in like trying to get you roped into the family. Uh, please look at my surroundings. Do I look like a noble scion? Do you want me to answer that question honestly when you have legendary swords sitting on a salt lick next to me? <laughs> Leans in over the Kotatsu. <laughs> yes. Retract slightly. You seem like, um, uh, <laughs> she seems definitely nervous by how close you're getting. You seem like a person who found everything that they own on the ground and then piled it up in random allotments. Stop looking at me. <laughs> but you're so cute now, I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Alexia, <sighs> how do you react to this shit? Uh, <laughs> depression. <laughs> she just... <laughs> she sits there like that and Sorelli rolls out like, wait, so there's supposed to be another one of... <laughs> she places her back, the small of her back against the fucking wall. There's supposed to be another one of you? Yeah. Um... There's a lot of them, but this is the best one. Uh... She has like, a single bug in her life, right? <laughs> oh, bug eating, huh? What? Huh? 
Pietro, what? It's a Camellia specialty. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, um, Skyus was supposed to come with and say hi to you, but, um, he heard you'd be here and then he ran off. <laughs> I can't imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> Alexia oh. sitting in this nasty ass room looking around. Yeah, I can't imagine why. <laughs> hey, Skyus. Yo. I think right now, you might be in the only place in the entire city that's even better than this room. Oh, yeah? Yeah. The wow. one and only spot that could outdo the sheer glory of this singular room. Skyus, oh. my friend, you're in a bit of a pickle. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say Skyus is a gambling man? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say that Skyus, to some extent, might lack some preservation instinct that uh, might guide him away from, um, let's say, a, 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 a den, an entire den of angry mobsters? Yeah. <sighs> Are you a lucky man, Skyus? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not a lucky man at all. <laughs> Skyus. Uh -huh. How many hands do you think you've won? On a scale of uh, all to none. All to none? Oh, wow. Hold on. I, we can figure this out real easy by challenging God himself. Uh, God, uh. Give, me, give me something against that. <laughs> uh, let, me, uh, let me see. Okay. Ah, fuck oh, you, Harp. Harp. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Harp came in earlier. Skyus kicked his ass. That was what. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, Skyus? It escalated. <laughs> this is the single most stressful game of poker you've ever played. You rolled into town trying to escape those. Well, a future with Beretta Pietro. And you found this <laughs> nice little casino off to the side, you were pretty sure. But no, what you assumed was the casino turned out to actually just be a small speakeasy. The casino was down the road. Instead, you found yourself many hands deep with the current head of Riviera, Prismane Iris. Hold on, Skyus has to do something really quick to ensure maximum gambling power. No. Let me just... There we go. <laughs> <laughs> no! <Sky. laughs> So, it appears that, um, it appears that we've gotten rather far in our game. I have to admit, you're quite talented and bold to find your way down here. Yeah, well, I, uh, I heard this, I heard the city got some, a lot of nice places, such as, like, a nice gambling institution, so I figured, why not check it out, right? Yes, um, hmm. <laughs> he, like, looks around. The problem, of course, is that you lack a certain amount of uh, respect and understanding for exactly what the city's customs are. Oh, <laughs> can, uh, can, can you, can you enlighten me then? I am talking about your money. Ah. <laughs> it down to the table. None of this works well in Indigo. This guy is, his eyes kind of like, uh, wince a little. It's like, well, I, I, I swear, like, last night I had some, uh, money, but, you know, like, I only have this stuff, and, you know, it's, like, a lot, like, isn't there, like, an exchange service you can do or something? Like, isn't that what your bank is for, or is that, like, a lie? They lie there... to me? <laughs> <laughs> there is an exchange service, of course. Um, it is one that can be easily managed. Uh, the problem is, I do not know if you have enough money to exchange what you currently owe. <laughs> mm. Alright, so, I don't, I'm not really too, uh, familiar on like the how much how much a vol is worth can you can you can you tell me how much i i owe exactly right now in this very moment uh i think um he starts rattling off numbers and skyus would you once again i have to ask 
Especially considering this current situation, would you consider yourself a lucky person? No. Hey, there's some money on the ground. Oh. <laughs> well, ain't that a lot? Ain't I as lucky as a peach right now? Um. Gaius reaches down and grabs the the, the the coin he just heard rattle on the ground. Are you hoping he kind of looks at it for a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> you pick up you pick up the Mitsudai gold coin and uh Prismane is like, ah, I see. Are you adding that to the pot? Yes. I see. He looks down and he calculates. That will not be enough. Hey, Skyus, can you roll to do for me really quick? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Hey, Skyus. Yeah. You mind if I cut the camera ahead a little bit? Skyus. Yeah. <laughs> Skyus. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, okay. 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 We've got this. We've got this. Um, let me go. Um. What's he gonna do? He's just Prismay and Iron. It's not like he ever. It's, you know, not, it's not like he's gonna. It's not like he's fucking Dracula or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, that'd be fucking crazy. Uh, no, uh, Skyus. Yeah. You might not be lucky. But you are fast, aren't you? Yeah, he's pretty fast. You know, <laughs> ran right next to a turtle once. <laughs> Skyus, you run, and you run, and you run as fast as you physically can. You sprint your way through Uptown like a fucking blur running from the mob. Skyus running like a fucking Looney Tunes cartoon in this very moment. <laughs> you run, you run, you run, you run to the best of your ability, and uh, stop right there. Alright. Slam! You hit somebody else on the road! Ah! Uh, hey! Ah! He looks down at you! And and then and then like looks back and forth and then he's like, hey, hide me! Hide me! Hide me, okay? I need someone to hide, hide me. me. Well, no, you... uh, hide me first, then I'll hide you. Come on. Uh, that, I don't think it works that way. Anyone maybe no, can we hide her at the same time? Really quick. Come on! Get, get, get. Uh, <laughs> he, points, he points back behind him as a line of the tides that <laughs> sprint in this direction. What would you do? <laughs> I did nothing, I'm pretty sure. Come on, hide me! I'm not gonna hide you, I'm getting chased by those guys! He points behind <laughs> him. It's the fucking mafia behind He grabs you and pulls you behind the fucking curtains. <laughs> and, uh, there's a moment of silence. Okay, okay. Now, one of us could have hit the other one and taken the bullet. Been really honorable about this, but, uh, now we're both hiding behind a stupid curtain and we're both gonna die. <laughs> He, uh, this guy is, uh, this guy is kind of like, uh, puts his, uh, hands on his chin and looks at this guy. Now, please, what's the odds they'd kill a person in broad daylight in this city? He smiles. <laughs> you, you know that this place is like a, uh, historical monument, like, uh, I'm pretty sure Takakawa Mori got gunned to death over here. What? By the mafia, yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, right? <laughs> what's wrong with this place? <laughs> They, they wind up charging past. Oh, I uh, got so distracted, I forgot I was being chased. <laughs> Why are they chasing you? Oh, um, I don't know. <laughs> he are scratches you a, the side of his head. Are you a criminal or something? That's not as far as I know. <laughs> oh, I'm being chased because I didn't have any money to pay the mob off. I see. I didn't huh. know the city had a mafia. Yeah, don't worry about it. I got this. I got you, I got you covered. He walks out. Hey, mafia! Buzz off! This <laughs> guy quickly grabs that guy and pulls him back behind the curtain really quick. Hey, hey, I got a problem. I got, yeah. a, I got a real problem. Yeah, it sounds like you, uh, um, uh, tell me, uh, it, are, are armed weapons permitted by people in the city? Oh, absolutely, absolutely not. But, um, I got a, I got a, I got a real big problem, though. What's that? Nobody's there. <laughs> he pokes his what? head out between the curtains. Yeah, take a look. Nobody's there. Guy yeah, pokes his head out. <laughs> yeah, I went. Yeah, you said you were getting chased by the Mafia? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> you both look and then look at each other. Weird. Uh, strange, okay. Well, do you get, I guess there's no maybe problem they, then, right? Maybe, they, maybe, 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 maybe I lost him. He, uh, he kind of found yeah. I am pretty good at escaping. Nice job. Yeah, I noticed that. Really brilliant work with the curtain. <laughs> Straightens himself up. Mm. Well, uh, 
You wouldn't happen to know where a uh, certain district of uh, leans in a certain district of outsiders and nobodies is, huh? Uh, he thinks to himself a little bit. He thinks to himself kind of harder, harder, harder. No. Oh, okay, that's a shame. Ugh, maybe I'll find it. Um, yeah, yeah, I've been looking all day, and apparently I looked in the wrong spot. Faced right through a wall and scared the crap out of everyone. Oh. Uh, scratches his Are you chin. like, uh, are you like one of those, like, uh, ghosts or something? Eh? He looks up over, uh, and over at you. Ghost? No, I'm a, I'm a normal one. He leans in. You're a guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. Hey, uh, did you know you're, uh, marked for death? Honestly, it's not the first time I've been told that, surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This would be the do second you... or maybe third time. Do you consider yourself a lucky person? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. My narrator can't control me right now, so let's find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> the man claps you on the shoulder with a big, wide grin on his face. Hey, if you die, tell me where uh, tell me where your money's buried, right? Uh, I don't have any money. That's my family's. I see. Have fun, bud. <laughs> <laughs> he starts to wander off as... One of the stranger inhabitants of the city leaves you behind. Let me, uh, let me show you the traveler. Oh, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> he wanders off and leaves you in a lurch. Motherfucker stole a stop sign. <laughs> I did. <laughs> you stand there and you look around. Huh, no mob. You know what? That's great. That's great. That mark for death thing, though. <laughs> I mean, being marked for death, that's one thing. But, uh, I mean... What's next, though, Skyus? Like, you've got a big open city in front of you. You know, that's a really good question. Hmm. 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 Skyus thinks to himself, he's just gonna walk in a direction and see what, what the fuck happens to him. Roll a, roll a dice. Determine your direction. What does the direction say? <laughs> the direction says that you want pizza. Well... <laughs> Oh boy, uh, those accents, all right. <laughs> <laughs> this guy shuffles down immediately, sensing the pizza joy, and goes, Hmm, I don't know what the hell this is. You, you head on into your pizza joint and uh, click. Yes, we hit the hour mark, and this is a good break point. All right. Okay, here we well, go. Hello. hello. Let me Pizza. go over to here, move you back up in this direction. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to take the most audacious move. Uh, would everyone be cool with me splitting the session, actually? Doing this again, taking our time? Um, it'd be in a week, and Christian, I know your considerations. Yes. So, yes. yes. I see. But that's fine, because my most important scene yes. is about to happen right now. Oh, it is? Yes. I see. Skies is going inside, right? <laughs> going into the fucking cube. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it back. I'm yeah, gonna yeah, bring yeah. It back. How does everybody else feel about that, players? Yeah, whatever you need to do. I can go either way. It's up yeah. to you. Okay. Yeah, I'm good either way. Do not either worry. way. Either way? Okay. We'll have more time then. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> you know, I'm actually not very upset at the concept of being able to play this game more. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a blast. I'm I I swear to oh boy. Okay. I know I know the exact note I'm gonna end on though for a two-parter. Uh-huh. <laughs> Next up. Oh boy. Pizza. Next up it's Roma. And I hold on. I can't keep meeting Skyus like this. <laughs> <laughs> you sure okay. fucking can. Skyus is doing something. Skyus is amazing. Gonna die. No. You, you stopped me. 
<laughs> I adore him. I... There are two characters that I cannot claim are doing their best, and that is Sandra and Sky. <laughs> <laughs> I love Bias. I love him. He, oh, I boy. love him. I adore him. He's going to give me high blood pressure, but I love yeah. him. That one has to be right. Okay. Yeah, somebody did too. I've got to think of the various ways, so Christian, you obviously can't mm -hmm. be here next time, so yeah. In that case, we are going to emphasize you for the remainder, and I thought of a perfect end note for all of this. Nice. What's so we're happening? gonna... What was that? What's happening? We are going to do you next, Roma. Oh. And then, uh, and then, uh, we're gonna do you, then, then an Amy, then a, um, then a, uh, we're gonna do you, then an Amy, then a then a Christian, or not necessarily in that order, but um, yes. Is this a cutting the session short early, not getting to everything we? Oh played? yes, this is this is cutting the session short early. If it's cool with you, I'd like to actually play again next week. Oh okay. No, no, I I just like to have additional time. I can wrap it, but I don't want to. I'm like, eh, I I think. I think rather than leaving this for chapter three proper, you guys now have enough clues to just hunt this shit down immediately and deal with it. So I'm like, might as well do it in the beta, you know? Okay. Okay. I just, sorry, I was in the back. The opening chapter, the, the little opening story for the yes. crew hunts a, where Sondra hunts a ghost. <laughs> Sondra immediately hones him up on a fucking ghost. Listen, he took the coin he was going to, and there was no other choice. The coin yes. happened, yeah. and then Sondra yeah. was in the room, and I was like, Sondra's gonna take that coin. I'm gonna take the coin. Do not fear, simply grab. I also yeah. realize what we're doing next. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Cassius, we haven't checked in on you in a bit. Yeah. He... It's... Yeah. Work. There's something I... Can I do something before I go to work? Oh, yeah, what's up? It doesn't necessarily need a scene, but if I go into my room and I check in, I move past the first secret in my pants drawer to the <laughs> second secret in my pants drawer, what color is it? Oh, boy. Um, hmm. It's blue. I'm sure it's blue. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's blue. Okay, just check it. Just it's blue, check not it. green. Of course, yeah. It's blue. Okay, just making sure I'm not fucking crazy. Okay. Oh. We can go back to work now. You go to work. <laughs> it's a busy day today. You gotta say goodbye to someone after all. Who's but... leaving? Huh? Who's leaving? Oh. oh, I know who's leaving. We're at that point now. Yeah. But, you know, it's still... Hmm. Still rather nice. Let me... Up over here. After all, it feels like it feels like it's been forever since you've been back here. Back to the good old Pom de Terre Detective Agency. <sighs> Walk up those stairs. It's blue, it's good. It's early in the morning. You made it's it back in time. When when did I leave? Like, what time was it when I left the church? Uh, probably 4 or 5 a.m. And now it's like... It's probably like... 8, 9, you checked You checked your place, you ate some breakfast. Let's say 10 a.m. Okay. This would be earlier in that same day. He's, is that, does that mean he's late for work? Uh, technically, yeah. He comes up the stairs and opens the door hastily. You crack the door open, and you actually see two people already in here. One is a familiar figure. Yeah, so I was hoping for a little bit of help on that front. Like, I don't know, um, maybe I could borrow Cassius for the afternoon. And across from him, the erstwhile secretary. <gasps> <That's her>! <laughs> <laughs> so cute! <laughs> say borrow like how much time because we need to figure out like time estimates you know like, uh you got like, any estimates i just need an estimate please give me an estimate <laughs> <laughs> i uh don't know how extensive the damage is because i'm not the guy with the magic eye and here he is grabs cassius puts him right here what? like what do hey, you need for uh, like i need some electrician work like please 
Just bail me out just this once, okay? <laughs> it's, um, well, uh, I think there's been some, like, misunderstanding over by the RNA and building. Um, they're sort of like, they're, they're building out and back, and, uh, I think they, I think they accidentally cut something. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I see. Okay. Um. Another voice chimes up from across the hall. No, 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 no. Cassius is far too important. <laughs> She's sort of spies. <laughs> if you need someone else, there are actually, there are other people that we can recommend you to. Plus, it's important that Cassius stays around the office today. Isn't that right, Belle? Checks papers. <laughs> is it important? She not, she not, she not, she not, she not. <laughs> oh yes, Cassius is very important. Look how it's important. Important. such an important boy. Yep. Look at this boy. <laughs> look, at, look at how important this boy is. <laughs> Cassius is like, looking around like kinda of getting nervous, like why are they acting weird? I Okay. Here's here's the deal, basically. Like so long as so long as I get back up at some point, it's fine. It's just uh if it's gotta be later, it's gotta be later. I can drop by later after work. Thank you. You're a, you're a real lifesaver. I'll bring your burger or something. Okay, thank you. Waves. Sort of exits. Waves. Turns to these two chuckle fucks like... <laughs> What's so important about me being oh. here today? Oh, nothing. I mean, you're a very important and treasured member of this detective agency. Also, you were late! She stands oh, up quickly. I'm sorry, I... Something kind of weird happened this morning. No, I was worried that something weird might have happened. Last yeah. time you were late, you were just gone. What about the insurance uh, papers? Uh, I can't go your signature again. What if I get caught? <laughs> they won't catch you. They won't catch you. You will never, you will what never be caught. I, did. <laughs> I would just, if they caught you, I would just say, I did it. I, no, I signed that paper for sure. You think I would let them catch you? Hmm. <laughs> All right, I'll believe you for now. <laughs> <laughs> a gracious consideration, to be sure. Um, Cassius, it's... We've received a wide variety of different jobs, but none are more worrying than the contractual work that one Julius Tier continues to send you. Ah, uh, did something happen? No, it's... This is a general complaint. He will not stop calling. Oh. Do you want me to call him? No, absolutely not. Tell him to leave. <laughs> Why? He will... Uh, he's trying... Uh, you need to understand. I understand what's going on here. She folds her hands. He's trying to... He's trying to steal away our greatest asset. Well, our second greatest asset. Motions <laughs> over to Pell! He, he nods, he nods. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop. If I could blush, I would. <laughs> I, he's not trying to steal me away. He's just... Cassius makes, like, an expression. <laughs> it's not like he could, anyway. I... I have refused to join the Tide already. Well, that's good. Continue to refuse, please, because he doesn't seem to take uh, Cassius is busy as a hint. Well, I might help them, but I won't join the Tide. There's only so many excuses that I can give. I'm not too sure how many times I can say we're invaded by lizards anymore. Yes. <laughs> well, we if you tell him we're invaded by something, he might show up. Uh, no, 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 no. She holds up a finger. When Bell mentioned the lizards, he visibly or audibly recoiled from the phone. Uh, we think he has a fear of lizards. We will continue to exploit it for as long as necessary. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yes, it was quite interesting. <laughs> but is there, were there any particular type of lizards you said, or just lizards? Lizards in general, all types. I see. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> it just sort of came up in casual conversation, and honestly, I don't even remember how it did anymore. But then I felt the presence of heinous, like, recoilment. Fear, terror. Just, <laughs> oh. Ab abject and absolute sheer scariness. <laughs> Kelsey speaks up. Oh, really? <laughs> That's good, fine, thank you <laughs> We are a detective agency after all Of course You said you had a weird day Perhaps you wish to um, Do you wish to file a case for yourself? Uh, 
no, but someone might come by and ask to acquire me to look through their creepy basement later. I see. So, normal Julius Tier adjacent jobs, of course. Yes, but not for Tier this time, though I would like to continue to accept the work from Tier, if possible. <sighs> of course. It is ultimately up to you who you decide to work for, but it will be lonely around here. It's not, I won't leave. I'll still do the, it's not like, I'm not going to leave. Look. Thane's broken hearted, very visibly. <laughs> if you're worried, if you're worried about me leaving, I would never leave. <laughs> Squint. Well, other than that time I left for the island, but that was different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just so that we're aware. <laughs> that was different, that was different. I'm not going to. I'm not going to quit or anything. I like it here too much. Also, the tide is kind of a disaster right now. I have noticed that. <laughs> That's well, why they need so much of my help. Oh well, to some regard, we are a disaster ourselves. After all, we hired that new girl. Dodge got promoted. He doesn't know how to be a detective. He's still learning. I feel like I've done a pretty good job showing him the ropes. Mm, she she seems to consider that. I'll take that, I suppose. <laughs> and, like, you know, if it doesn't go super great, I can always help him or something. I suppose, yes, you could do that. She, I mean, she said, it has to be at least as good as Talon, right? Talon is... She looks up at a bell. <laughs> He's, um... <laughs> well, some things have changed, and we've we've lost much. <laughs> Guys, we've God. also we've also gained so much too, like your presence once again. And yeah, that's not all, actually. And you hear a loud and distinct knocking at the door behind you. One that you haven't heard in quite some time. As the door flings open. <laughs> Hello, I'm back! Wait. Uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. oh my goodness, look at you. You're smiling more. You don't look so scary nowadays. <laughs> she goes over and pinches at your cheek a little bit. Oh, I missed you yesterday. Where were you? What were you doing? Is this who I think it is? Yes. <laughs> this is this is the person who rents this desk. An exorcist named Long Roll 20 name Oogle. Chandri Oogle. <laughs> yeah, that's close enough. <laughs> oh, wow. You're back? I'm back of I'm I mean, of course. Look, she kind of like poses and almost twirls around didn't you hear i mean you i feel like you know more than anyone the city's haunted there's so many ghosts and terrible things so i was able to convince them to send me back now that there's business here i uh, i see well mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. wow well, i'm actually I'm, shocked i didn't think he would come back i i i'm kind of surprised myself i'm glad they proved me but i mean this lovely office all again how could i not want to come back Come on. Oh, hey, Belle. <laughs> you kind of look. The right, correct moment to hug. Oh, <laughs> she kind of moves forward and just gives Belle a hug. No, no, it's quite fine. Here, come, Cassius, come in too. Come on. Hi, it's group like hug, group hug. A group hug. Group Cassie. hug. Cassie. <laughs> <laughs> like holding his hands out, like um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After a far too awkwardly long hug, uh, Cassius kind of leans over. Hey, Cassius. Yeah, yeah. Who's that new girl? Oh, Sorelia. Yeah, she's single. Um. <laughs> you Cassius, you, a cons of, you see like a array of emotions across his face. It's like it's like it's like uh oh um. Um, You're um, still held in the hug. You can't escape. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, uh, my inst my instinct is to say n no, but 
knowing Beretta, maybe? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> she kind of thinks about that, and you notice a slight menace falling over her face. I see. She seems Wonderful. pretty devoted. She does. Um, oh, I'm so I'm so happy to see everything's all going up and up. Oh, Dodge has been promoted. Isn't that so great? Yes, it's oh, really good. Me. Tell me, how have things been going with him? Uh, well, we still do training and stuff. He's, he's starting to mm -hmm. pick it up and everything. We just mm -hmm. got back from the island. Oh, you went on a little vacation together? Vacation is a strong word. Beretta died, so we went looking for oh, her. Oh, that, mm, that big rich lady? Was, yes, but she was alive. Um, oh, okay. Well, that's that's a mystery solved. Yes, that's why we went to the island. And then uh, I got uh, kicked off of a cliff by the ghost of Shimpei, and we and there was an <laughs> Oni that was killing people. <laughs> yeah, it really does. Uh, there was a lot of things. <laughs> why did you get all the fun mysteries when I was gone? I got like one case when I went back to Lancia, and now, now everything goes and blows up in Indigo. Yeah, it's almost like as soon as you left, everything decided to combust. But at least she kind of, uh, she kind of looks. It's infuriating. I hate it. I spent, I spent so long traveling both ways and back, and it feels like I missed everything. It's so annoying. She kind of uh, readjusts herself, but but I'm happy to be hacked. And it looks like you kept my desk exactly as I left it. Well, you I suppose your that's and everything. Oh, I suppose that's there's nothing you can really do. She kind of picks up yeah, the doll Dodge and almost gravitates tried. back. Dodge mm. really tried. Oh, the poor dear. Oh. She kind of oh, like crawls over her desk and then just kind of gets back over on the chair and then leans almost dreamily on the desk. Oh. Well, it's a pleasure to be working with you again. I hope we can find some real spooky cases to figure out ourselves. There are a lot. There's a lot of things I should probably update you on so that you know oh, which ghosts are food to be exercised. Dinner day? Aren't, I suppose. <laughs> Excellent. And she kind of smiles, puts her hands together. That sounds lovely. I mean, she kind of uh, starts unpacking a bunch of stuff. She seems to have uh, acquired more to bring in and reload. Uh, anyways, um, I tell you what. If, if you want to go out and do something like that, I would absolutely adore it. It'd be fantastic. Uh, take your time, though. I know you're a very, very busy man. Yeah, apparently. Um, he looks over to Belle. Um, Thoughts vigorously. <laughs> what you needed me to do today? You uh, yeah, actually. Oh. Uh, speaks up. I, um... Any chance you can hunt down a missing rich kid? Which missing rich kid? <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently, Skyus Camellia has disappeared under mysterious circumstances. <laughs> Sk Repeat that name for me? <laughs> <laughs> You've encountered this person once or twice. Hey, Cassius, how quickly do you hit the fucking trail? She's like, uh, we need to find him. And he's like, uh, got it. It's like, <laughs> it's like two minutes later of like, oh, he's missing? <laughs> <laughs> Cassius. Like, oh, he's missing. And he's like, I'll go find him right now. <laughs> Immediately downstairs. You're like, go, 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 go. Are you following? Are you following any sort of a trail right now? Yeah, I think he probably, uh, oh, wow, he would probably, oh, it's good, Noctua's here. Like, he's like, he's like, well, I can probably find him pretty easily if I can just find someone, oh, Noctua! He, like, mm -hmm. reaches out, he, like, waves. Oh! Mm -hmm. Noctua, could you do me a favor? I, uh, like, activates, like, an NPC that you just <laughs> alerted. <laughs> Shifts oh. over. Noctua! Okay, Noctua, okay, there's a lot yes. of things happening. Okay. Well, this is the champion of Noctua. She's my roommate. Um, oh, Noctua, the champion of Noctua. Hi, I'm Shiskawadri Oogle, but just call me Oogle. Everyone does. She kind of like waves and puts her hand forward. I see. Nice to meet you. 
Oh, he's, it's so pleasant to meet you too. He's my coworker. I think I've told you about her before. Yes. Um, can I, do you remember a couple weeks ago when we held the goodbye, welcome back party? Yes. And there was that guy, Skyus, that we met? Yes. He's missing. I see. Uh, can I, can you, you know that he like, you know how like I can like, if he like, cause they're still connected yeah. by the string. So he like does that like brain thing where he's like, you know how I can do this? And he like sends thoughts to Noctua. So you're going to find him using your weird magic powers. Yes. Can okay. I, okay. I'm going to write to Noctua. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, so me. much has developed. Uh, take three damage. Okay, let me just, hold on. Oh, wow. Nice. All right. Does she have a string disguise that I can just follow? Yeah. No, that should be pretty simple, actually. Stares at, continues staring at you. Knock to a feeling. I get to know. Noctua was wandering around the outside and sniffing the air with her doinkers. Uh, she's apparently trying to take in the scent of fall before leaving the city. You know it'll be fall where you're going, too, right? I am aware. Do you want to but, uh, catch the city scent specifically? She nods. Do you have anything important you're doing today? Um, I'm going to be saying goodbye to a bunch of important people. Okay. I assume you're too busy to come with us, then? She thinks, and is like, I'm never too, I'm never too busy to engage in a thing. She takes a step <laughs> forward. Ulu kind of peeks over. Oh, excellent! I'm happy to meet you! Oh, are you, so you're Cassius's friend? Nods. Oh, excellent! Yes, well, I, oh, I don't think I've had the privilege to meet you yet. I'm Oogle. I'm, of course, the co-worker. I work on a bunch of spooky paranormal cases. I see. And, Oh, and Champion of Noctua, that's a big name. Yes, it is. It is a significantly large title. <laughs> oh, very, very big. Anyways, um, she kind of like, <laughs> if you want to tag along with us for a little work, that sounds good. Uh, let me let me roll the die for something really quick. Oh, of course, of course. Um, she kind of like uh, looks at her nails for a second and it's like, oh my, maybe we should all go out and grab dinner afterwards and catch up together. I'd love to get to know you a little more. Well, I think today's actually knocked to his last day in the city yes, this for a while. Yes, actually oh. sounds very involved. I'll be on. Um... A... <laughs> oh, <laughs> she I stops and like blinks <laughs> twice and like, wow, that's. She's, um, she's so she's very busy. She's very and busy. No, no, that's not what that means. Anyways, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Cassie's going through the seven things in his brain. Okay, so we gotta find Skyus. Uh. Say goodbye uh, to Noctua. Say goodbye to Noctua. Is... Should I have waited for Dodge? Uh, did he have his <laughs> own work to do? I didn't ask. Did Dodge have his own work to do? <laughs> Dodge is busy today, yes. Okay. He's just he's going through the list. Okay. Well, he has he has Noctua's string disguise in his hand. He's just like, well, this way. <laughs> Carry on. on. Head off in that direction. <sighs> Now I've got to ask a question of Selif. Yes. How often do you go back to your little secret library? Hmm. I'd say at least once or twice a week. Once or twice a week. Okay. Well. Hmm. It's on one of those trips, actually. Do you start to feel that sensation that Aza was talking about? It's almost subtle at first, but, um, you feel that, you feel that sensation of being watched. In the library? On your way there. It's... Okay. It almost seems like it's singularly focused around that location. In fact, it takes you stopping right in front of it to be like, I can't go in right now. Huh. Yeah, no. He wouldn't go in if he felt like he was being watched. Sort of exhale. Can you give me a roll to die? Mm, there you are. Hmm. 
Tell me what you're locking in. Hmm. Makes the most sense. You peer around. And yeah, you feel it. You feel that presence of an eye boring into you. Watching you pressed flat against the roof of the building it continues to watch oh is it just that one or is this a different one hmm. that's a big question <laughs> <laughs> crawls forward and the one eye kind of peeks up from around the roof it stares at you L later now later is Selif by himself? He is currently. Hmm. That's fine. Oh, okay. I suppose it is later. At the affirmation, he almost springs from the roof and just kind of lands down in front and stands up to the full height, which kind of tall, but kind of lanky at the same time. Um, he sort of, like, approaches up. Uh, I, I... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. He's staring forward, and um, he seems to examine, and... And then, reaches a hand up, and he pulls on his zipper at the very top of his hood, and just drags it on down. Oh. And then, looks at you. <laughs> It's a lot to think about. <laughs> much, much to think about. Much to think I about. Got, I got, got, got. He kind of steps over, and then he reaches in, and he has a box. You, you. He hands the box over. What have you handed me? Do you open it? He asks the question first. <sighs> he looks at the you and then at the box and um he sort of <laughs> important people need yes good for body his eyes narrow in what way power strength to face e evil Uh, then Selif politely returns it. Then no, thank you, then. Oh. Though I appreciate I, it. I, I see. He, um... He... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, what happens? <laughs> he, um... Then I shall take... He, um, unzips the hood, pulls it all the way up to the top again, unearthing the singular under point again and he just shoves the box the entire box inside his maw and then closes the zipper again tasty <laughs> feed ah evil evil <laughs> he kind of claps his hands twice i can show you it's it near near not mm. he kind of points off into the direction it, if later i Show, show, come, come. Later again? No, now, now. <laughs> oh, I see. Mm -mm. You, you will see and, and see deep, deep into the earth. <laughs> There's, <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna, he uh, kind of seems to revert back to neutral and then sort of starts moving off into the woods, not really following the road as he almost carves his way forward, and then he turns his head back behind. Now? <sighs> the of sighs. Oh, dear. <laughs> so it's time to make a call. Do you? Yes, I'm coming. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Seeing pleased by this, 
the form known as Ross almost crawls deeper into the trees, expecting you to keep pace. Sella follows. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> you head in that direction, then. I think next is... Next is pretty much the second to last. I got an idea, but, um... Oh. Christian, it's your time. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah. Hey, uh... Hey, Brennan. Yes? Uh, it's time... It's time for the follow-up. <laughs> okay. okay. Here we go. How long do you think you spend in your apartment with Elixia? <laughs> uh, probably just long enough for her to feel super uncomfortable, and then she <laughs> try to she try to go and run whatever other errand she had planned for the day. <laughs> okay, uh, that was immediately. So <laughs> good. Then uh, we're ready to go. <laughs> I see. Okay. Um. Well. It was nice to see your apartment. Um, can you help me find my cousin? Of course, I did promise my father that I would. Yeah, thanks. Um, hey, hey Pietro. Leans over. Yeah. I don't, I don't wanna like really dampen your parade, but um. No, well, I don't have a parade today, it's yours. Yeah, sure. Uh, we gotta, we gotta get your name on the lease. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, come on. Didn't come really on. know that there was a lease. Yeah, I mean we're renting this from somewhere. Sort of leads you away. Like he slowly stands up. Are you just gonna leave your swords here? Oh no, I'll take my swords that I need. Okay, what about that knife? No, I I won't need a knife. I've got several guns. <laughs> of course. Yeah, sure. Come outside your apartment building's rally leading you off in this direction. <gasps> you sort of exit down this way. She runs you off over here. Um Thanks for uh thanks for showing me around. Uh, no problem. I guess you should start learning your way around the place. I, I guess, uh... What brings the family to town, now of all times? Kazuya asked us, um, I think, uh... Well... Every city-state needs a noble family, I guess. You don't sound so convinced. I'm... I'm the second in line. I'm not, um, I'm not nobility, nobility. She kind of, like, mumbles off as you continue walking. Well, so am I. I'm here. And your wacky family still wants to try and marry me into yours, so... Second in line can't be too bad. I mean, the Pietro family is a good one and has a good reputation. Did I guys, everybody? Oh, there they, are. there they are. Yeah, yeah, there they are. You guys are like gun salesmen, but like, I don't know, you've got money. I guess that's enough. Yeah, people do tend to buy guns. Mm. <laughs> she seems rather upset with this as you slowly crack the door open. What does the pizza have to do with the lease? Oh, Lixia sort of looks over at you and shrugs as you head inside. Oh, drop. Drop. Doink. This one. Uh, hold up, it's complete and utter darkness in here. Oh, is it? Is it Oblivion? You might need a refresh. Yeah. You've oh, it's embraced- back. It's just back. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, oh, you've embraced the true Oblivion of the pizza place. You, got, you three come inside. Soralia, like, walking in. Hey, take it a booth. Oh, welcome to Mr. Marco's Pizza! <laughs> take a seat. <laughs> okay. Cool. Lady up front uh, quickly starts grabbing menus and other things. You you walk inside, and you uh, you you see a relatively normal restaurant. 
Alexia sits down at the very edge. It's, this is a nice place. Uh, have I been here before? <laughs> you, no, no, never, not even once. Hi, take a seat, take a seat. She kind of dances around everyone. I'm, uh, I'm Hap, and I'm here to take any orders or anything you want to put in, so just let me know. Maybe start everyone off with some waters. She's kind of like, oh, hang on. She kind of runs back this way and starts delivering pizzas. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, okay, sorry. Uh, water? She seems to be sweating. <laughs> um, excuse me. This one speaks up down here. I believe I ordered pasta rosé. Okay, just one moment. I'll be right back. She kind of stops. <laughs> uh, pasta rose. I don't think we have that on the menu, but I can. Oh, now, Hap, just give them what they want. Don't worry. I'll make it up special just for you, gentlemen. Okay. <laughs> she changed back. I'll do that. Hang on. Uh, so, so sorry. I've left you twice. I'm I'm so sorry. Would you um Would you all prefer uh anything to start you off? Um, did, were we coming for food, Sorelia? I, uh, I think this was something about Elise. Yeah, we're gonna meet the manager here. Um, yeah, pizza, it's fine. Just anything normal. Um, yeah, Veggie Supreme with rocks on it, please. <laughs> rocks, you say? Like, um, <laughs> what do you mean? Like rocks. Uh, like rocks? <laughs> like, like rocks? What, what are you what talking are you about? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think we have rocks in the menu. I, I, I mean, there's the park across the street. I guess I could run and grab some. <laughs> Do that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay, sure thing. Anything for a customer? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Um, anyone else? No, I'm good. <laughs> Oh, okay, thank you. I mean, uh, you're welcome, <laughs> absolutely. Um, how about you? Sorelli is like, yeah, just normal cheese pizza, it's fine. I'm gonna refresh ah. real quick every time you guys swap, you guys disappear entirely. Ah. <laughs> hmm. Alright, that's an order, alright, okay. Boss, uh, putting it in. <laughs> Kinda runs back. We got a cheese pizza, veggie supreme with rocks. <laughs> oh, rocks, huh? Oh, that's an order right there, if I've ever heard one. Yeah, get the rocks. <laughs> get the rocks? <laughs> yeah, go grab some rocks. I got them out back. You do? <laughs> yeah, we got some crazy clientele. Some people love eating rocks. Go on back, get some. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She puts the order in and runs back here. <laughs> and for a moment, you're all left alone. Uh, <laughs> Alex is like, <laughs> clearly upset. You just put rocks on your pizza. Why? It's a power move. <laughs> hey, Pietro, you seriously, can, can you digest those? Well, we eat the rocks from the cave all the time. These are just parking lot rocks. These are floor rocks. I know, but the chaos that the order caused was well enough. <laughs> she seemed like she was about to cry. Oh, okay. Um, well, you've certainly changed, Barata. Um, hopefully for the better. I don't know, are you still gonna make my cousin eat bugs? That's to be determined. That's not an answer I was hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> Is your cousin willing to stand up for himself and not be forced to eat bugs by a child? You're not a child anymore and you carry around weaponry. That's a good point. It doesn't mean as much. I guess you also carried around weaponry as a child, though. I guess I'll have to figure out whether or not I can find a child that will force him to eat bugs in my stead. <laughs> Pietro, you... You feeling okay? Like, ever since you got back to the city, I kind of wonder. Like, this how are you... This element, Sorelia. Uh, sure, okay. Amongst oh. the most noble of all, I am the devil of devils. You're making... A... Okay, she seems to be doing better. Alexia <laughs> like seems to be encouraged by the fact that, yeah. <laughs> well, good luck with the rock pizza, boss. I'm gonna need to make the rock pizza really quick. I gotta, uh, I gotta fix up this uh, family really quick. Hang on. He's, <laughs> he steps over. Okay. Rock <laughs> pizza. Hang on. Let me, uh, let me, uh, 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 
the rocks break the dough and she has to start again. I'm going to cry. (laughs) 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 So the manager owns our apartment then. Uh, Sorelli shakes her head. Nah, we just met here the last few times. Apparently it doesn't feel safe in our apartment building. Apparently there's some, like, demon that lives on the upper floors. A month ago I would have thought that was weird. Now it seems kind of pedestrian. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, apparently he just prefers to meet over here. I mean, this is where we signed it the first time. He's a nice guy. I mean... (laughs) You're not going to believe this. Uh, He carries around a gun with him? Silence reigns. As someone walks into the building. It's almost like a perfect storm. Happy starts walking this way again, carrying three waters for the assembled crowd. She almost feels like yelling out. She's about to say, I've got your waters. And then almost immediately a door creaks open and shuffling through like a monstrosity, some tangled menace of a man shuffles through with a trench coat hanging out and almost looming and searching across eyes that peer through everyone until eventually one kind of bulging stares across at this table looking over. He says, Oh, Sorelia! Well, 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 if it ain't my favorite gal. <sighs> yeah, there he is. Say hi to Curtis. Uh, uh, um, are you joining? I didn't know we were joining another one. Um, uh, sir? He look, she looks. He's got a shotgun in his hand. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, you're the, yeah, get me a water and maybe, maybe I'm, oh. If I could have a pizza with some anchovies and mushrooms, just let me know. Love of the slime really gives it a good texture. What a powerful odor. I mean, man. <laughs> <laughs> he stops, turns around. Oh, uh, oh, so uh, which one? Is it you? He kind of points up directly no, no, at no, 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 that's that's little Miss Pietro. It's been so long since I've heard that, your is name. That, is that a gun? Are you carrying around a gun? <laughs> Sir, this isn't... Oh, of course, this is an open carry establishment. What am I talking about? But you can't have that! <laughs> she stops. It's like, oh, oh, no, don't worry. I have a class three weapons license. I'm quite legal. So don't worry. Oh, but I'll, I'll stuff it in the booth. Don't worry. He tosses the shotgun directly on Elixir's side. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, what kind sir. of gun is it? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, hmm. Uh, let's, let's roll for gun. Hang on. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, it's a PHR gun. Oh, okay. Well, at least you have good taste. He steps over to the side, slides on in. Hey, hey, can, I, can I trade? I don't want to sit next to the shotgun. Y- yeah, sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, you want to sit next to me, Alexia? She is about to lose her mind on you. <laughs> <laughs> he scoots up a bit closer, looking at all of them very closely. Oh, so you're Sorelia's friend, little Bretta. Yeah, that's what you called me. Uh huh. So, Brad, uh, you're gonna be rooming in our wonderful little estate. Yes, it's quite lovely. I've already set up uh, quite comfortably, so uh, I just need to sign the lease, and then you can be on your way. Thank you. All right, all right. Thank you. He, um, <laughs> he pulls out a piece of a gum, starts chewing it, pulls out a little notepad. All right, well, I have a few important questions for you. Is that anchovy flavored gum? Oh yeah, specialty <laughs> item. Oh. I don't really well. get why everyone wants sweet gum. I used to be a bit of a sweet addict, but by chewing stuff like this, it gets the habit away from my mouth, if you get what I mean. No I'm more sure. sweets. My face couldn't survive another pimple. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> And the he fish oil is probably good for your skin. <laughs> oh, absolutely. He puts down a notepad and pulls out a pen. So tell me, Bretta, have you ever been associated with a criminal element? 
Uh, no. Don't okay, he writes that down. Did you used to run a gang? No, oh, it was you used the to run Stampede a gang? King who is somewhere else. Oh, huh? right, I saw that in the news, huh? yeah. Yeah, don't worry. That's just a formality. Ah, uh, let's see. Um, have you ever rented before? Um, no, not myself personally. Oh, okay. Perfect, perfect. All right. I don't really care about credit and stuff like that. It's all fine and dandy. You willing to... Well, I guess if you're following up with Sorelli over there. And that's fine. So, okay, okay, he kind of puts down a notepad, and then like, all right, you got any money to put in? You got a job? Um, uh, actually, that was my first order of business, was to get a job. Oh, okay. All right, well, <laughs> so really, so, you're going to pay the rent? Your question, no, I have yeah, no money. it'll be fine. I've got a all job, right. job over at the Pom de Terre Detective Agency. Uh, so yeah, nice. she's a janitor. I'm not wow. a janitor. They just say that a, because they're mean. <laughs> that's a big She's word position. The best toilet cleaner I've ever seen. I refuse to engage with this line of questioning from either of you. <laughs> I think that she'll be the top toilet cleaner within a month. I <laughs> hey, all right. He kind of uh, continues drawing. All right. <laughs> drawing. Yes. He's drawing <laughs> in his notepad. <laughs> All right, he kind of tears a page off, puts it to the side. Okay, Brad. Uh, well, how long do you think you'll be staying with us? And do you have anything you need to hide? Any storage? What? Um, hide? Anything to hide? Hide? Yeah, everyone, I, uh, you don't know the kind of clientele Fade keeps. Or, oh, wait a minute. It's been a while. Didn't you see the new? I'm so freaking out. Oh, did you did you hear about that, Brad? Uh? No, what what about Fade? He'd always talk so much about you. Oh, makes sense you're moving in, really. Yeah, actually, he's been dead for years. It's actually Dust, the brother. It's a plot twist. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? Um, hold on. So, hold on. Rewind. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Oh, you're gonna um, make him talk more. My my friend Fade is not dead. It was a brother of Fade, uh, uh -huh. but I uh -huh. was friends with Identity the brother. Identity theft. Yeah, yeah, crazy oh, okay. stuff. I, that's that's wild. That's going to take a bit to digest. But I'm glad he's alive. I'm sad that uh -huh. his brother is dead, uh -huh. but it's good to hear yeah. that he's alive. Yeah. Look, look, look. He kind of like scoots over and gets really quote close. I know they're not cops anymore, but they are right behind us. He kind of like gestures at the tide back there. But I'm telling you, most of this is just formality. I know you'd like probably had some old gang crap going on. I just need to know if you're going to be causing any trouble in the apartment or didn't be hiding anything out. If not, well, we'll be fine and dandy. You, you really don't need to whisper. I've heard that the tide only hunts monsters now and despite the fact that you look like a horrible lizard person um you should be safe i hear that a lot you gotta sit <laughs> back a bit you never know there are monsters everywhere brad uh, anyway it's hurt don't but dodge no, the question. i don't plan on i don't plan on bringing any crime to your apartment <laughs> oh that's wonderful good old dusty boy's been really scared about that recently trying to turn over a new leaf i can respect it all right okay now i just need you to sign some stuff for me okay. he kind of puts out some just to make sure you're on the leads to cohabitating are you two married no what? not yet what no okay <laughs> No. Well, congratulations. Hope I get invited. He kind of scoots in and passes the paper over. <laughs> yeah. I really feel like I should have a lawyer look over this, but you've already read it, I assume, Sorelia? I mean, yeah, to the... Sure. I mean, it's a lot of legal speak and stuff. Alexia leans down. Here, let me see it. <laughs> yeah, you, you read books. I don't think reading books will give me power over this but at the same time i know a shady deal when i see one <laughs> i do have glasses i that means nothing <laughs> i have it glasses means that you're smart no it means my eyesight's poor yeah because your brain is diverting the energy 
I wish it worked that way, Beretta. I really do. <laughs> she starts to just read and write. I got two orders for y'all. There you go. I'll be back with yours, Mr. C C C C C Curtis. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't worry. I'll wait. Okay. Big brain time. Oh, yeah. Man. Immediately shifting through it, she's like, okay, no, you don't actually want to... <sighs> Basically, like, she shifts over and whispers in your ear, if you're caught for any with any violation of these absolutely archaic rules, you're going to be screwed. This is a complete ripoff. Well, what's wrong with the rules? It's, it, it, there's a lot of absurd stuff, and you violated literally all of them immediately. <laughs> mm. But Sorelli has already signed the paper. I guess maybe you don't want to join her in legal hell, though. Well, she joined me in regular hell, so I'll join her in legal hell when she signs the paper. <laughs> she kind of takes them back and stuffs them in his coat. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Your friend's right. It's a whole hell hole you just jumped into. But don't worry. Even if you got a loaded gun to the back of your head, doesn't matter if your good old friend's trustworthy enough not to fire it, huh? <laughs> Right. That is something that good people say. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of puts his uh, things away. Man steps on up. Hey, all righty. I got some, uh, got the last pizza for you. Here you go, Kurt. Oh, thanks so much. Hang on. You got a permit for that gun over there? Huh? Uh, yeah, I got a, got a, got a cleared three. I even got it renewed with Tempest. What's, what do you want? No, no, no. I'm talking about those guns. Gives it gets you a finger gun. Oh, oh yeah! I've been working at the gym. He gives a little flex. Oh, that's what I like to see. Hey everyone, um, uh, how are we splitting up the bill today? Uh, he's got it. And she, she points at him. <laughs> <laughs> that's cruel, Brad. Uh, yeah, that but that wasn't on the legal met. fees. Wow. They see what kind of person you are. He kind of thinks about that. Well, nothing I can do. Put it on my bill. Put it on my tab, even. Ah, we don't run tabs here. You know that. All right, I'll get the bill out for you. I'm going to step some back. <laughs> well, uh, Beretta stuffs a handful of pizza in her mouth and then scooches everybody out. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, what? 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 It's time to go. We are not paying. Otherwise, we won't have money for rent. Wait, you didn't even eat your pizza. No, I had a handful. <laughs> that Beretta, looks over directly Beretta, and just you take a handful of rock pizza jam it in your mouth and then run before you can get called for the fucking bill <laughs> oh, girl fall girl, girl fall <laughs> in the really corner is... oh you're going um, over in the corner uh, what Sees them leaving, turns over and looks at the pizza with a single handful pulled out, and there's just like a snapping noise. <laughs> I can't help but feel that I have made a powerful enemy on this day. <laughs> oh my god. But uh ultimately, what you miss in the pizza place is um well, someone who's a little lost himself. Someone who entered the pizza place looking for a nice, delicious meal, but... It can never get something. I mean, can I have my something? <laughs> okay. Skyus. Yeah. Where the fuck are you? Oh, fuck, dude, I don't know. I'm on Lord's screen. <laughs> Skyus. You were... You've had better moments. Yeah. You've had worse moments. But uh, getting caught by something while climbing through the tubes of a pizza place was not... Shit. That's... That, uh... That moment, you're not sure where that falls. It's no child, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> you find yourself... Yeah. You find yourself here. Give me a sec. This will take a moment to prepare. It's quiet here. Really quiet. 
you, uh, you stand in what appears to be a wooden building. Coffins adorn the left wall. Guys, looks along all of them. Where the hell am I? He looks back. Pizza place? <laughs> He takes a step forward, takes another step forward, walks up to this, peeks inside. You look inside. It appears to be full of personal effects, clothing, items. It, <clears throat> yeah, it's positively packed. They appear to be, they appear to be just scattered, normal alien clothing. Huh. He kind of uh, looks around and he kind of thinks, Oh, yeah, he actually, like, pats his pockets. He still got the coin? You do. Oh, cool. He holds his hand and he kind of, like, flicks it up and down and whistles a little bit as he starts walking this direction. Why is he a dumb son of a bitch? <laughs> you walk through here with a coin. And you walk into this room. And immediately in front of you, actually, you see two people. They both stand and turn, and you make eye contact with each other. There's a moment of silence. Silence. Terror fans back and forth. Amai just looks at him and just feels a wave of, oh no. <laughs> Sondra's still following the coin. Yeah. This guy is flips the coin in his hand, sitting here watching. <laughs> are, are, the, are the two coins connected to each other? No, they're connected okay. to this place. Uh, hi. Sunder <laughs> pings. Uh, He's not paying attention to the rabbit. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. Hi. He got like max lizard brain roll. He's not <laughs> not interacting with oh, the rabbit. Yeah. No. It all leads deeper in this way. Cool. All right. All right. Great. <laughs> um, <laughs> what, what? Wait. Where did you? Where did you get? Oh no. <laughs> hey, don't I know you from somewhere? Yes. Did I light on fire around you at one time? Yes, you did. Oh, yeah. Um. Can you hand that to me, please? Oh, I found this on the floor, though. Yes, that is... It's kind of like the thing that lit you on fire. Oh... He thinks to himself a little bit. Well, let me drop first before I do this. Ah. I found it, though. <laughs> and, like, honestly, this is like one of the, probably like the only thing that kept me from dying from the mob earlier. So it might be, like, lucky, you know? He kind of smiles a little bit. Looks like Junk. you. I... I don't think it is. How about, um, you stay out here just for a second. <laughs> <laughs> you come into this room, Sonder. What you see around this place is just, uh, well, there is what appears to be, <laughs> at first glance, you think viscera. Neat, but no, it almost appears to be it's around mattresses. A collection of bone, that much is for sure. But this isn't blood, this is more like an Icarus stain on the ground. It's trapped beneath the beds. It's clear that this isn't natural. You can't just do this to a person. It almost appears like someone spilt a glass of wine on the ground and it's uh simply spread out. The bones, you see, though, are worryingly human. Is there anything coming off of them? Like anything Sonder would pick up on? No. The best way to put it is this feels like a discarded meal. That's valid. My, like, rushes in. Uh, to check. You yeah, move in and you see it as well. Sonder, how are you vibing with this? Uh... 
is tracking. Like, I'm sorry. Lizard, um, lizard brain continue lizard. on. Lizard. Uh, actually, are the, have the bones, like, do they look like they've been... Are they just, like, clean? Are they not on? Like, what's going on with that? There are, a lot of that State liquid of is pooled up around them, but, uh, yeah, they appear to be relatively clean. Nothing bit them. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. <laughs> I was spotted. What's Am the I smell in the room? Bad. Atrocious. Good, actually. No, around this one, good. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right. Uh, Mike takes a few steps and uh, is going to check. Is there anything that he can tell from these? You take a quick this look. This Icarus. This Icarus material. Hmm. Best way to put it is, this was once human. Ugh. Yeah, bad. Hmm. He looks down and, uh, is there anything that I can tell from the way that this person de was deleted? Ah, <laughs> uh, fun. Um, hmm. Yeah. I mean, obviously this was done magically, but it appears that there was some deeper purpose behind this. There's no Nova in the room, no resonant emotion. It's just blood and death. You get the feeling whatever this person was was completely siphoned away. Am I nothing of this person remains? What the? Except bones and goo. Except bones and goo. All you need. This, this seemed to be more like a phantasm? Hmm. That's an interesting supposition. There's no way to confirm based on this, though. He just sort of touches the ground. Can he still feel the connection? The the hook into? Oh, from himself? Yes. Yeah, it's leading you in this direction. The same direction Saunders going, and the same direction... Skyce, what are you doing back there? Oh, I know exactly <laughs> what Skyce has been doing back here. What's uh, that? So Sky is, upon being promptly told by Amaya to stand out of the room, he promptly immediately got distracted and started walking this direction. Yeah. And then went back into this room that he was in originally. Popped in there. And then he saw a door way back here earlier, and now he's going oh, in yeah. there. So here's the fun thing. <laughs> yeah. You try this door. It uh -huh. does not open. Well, that's some bullshit right there. He's going in <laughs> 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 You move in this direction now. Guys, this is going to enter the room despite Amai's warnings. Amai seems to be, like, focused and, and like, concerned about this. As Amai focuses he... in, Guys takes his time to just... Climb <laughs> in. <laughs> his eyes flit over and he just, like, sighs, <laughs> standing up and moving around. So what's behind here? You, you travel to the door. <laughs> what is? Sonder uh, is gonna ping for the door and push the rabbit out of the <laughs> 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 ping... the rabbit away from the door. You ping for the door and um, oh boy. It's like Sonder's version of listening at the door. There's just Whatever's drawing you in is on the other side. Is it... Okay. What's... What's the... What's the vibe? What's the motive? Does it know it's being dragged? I don't think it does, no. No, it doesn't. It just wants to draw you in further and further. Is it valid? <laughs> I respect it. I, res I respect it. <laughs> Sonder Crack. carries forward. You open the door. Coffins. Lots, lots of coffins. Guys enters the room and immediately looks around and kind of walks up to this empty coffin right here and looks in it. Nothing inside. Oh, what about this one? You crack it open. Nothing. Apparently, this room seems to be quiet. There's nothing in here. Ah. 
guy flicks the coin in his hand again. You flick the coin up and down. That's the only sound right now resounding around here other than your own footfalls. Hmm. Sandra pings the room at large. You ping the room at large. Something's off about this place, very obviously, but it's more hanging all around you than in a particular place. You can still feel this creature deeper in. Another door stands in front of you. Uh, a mic calls for Senra. <laughs> oh. He's concerned. You, uh, you call out a name, and almost immediately flaring up around you, the... The creature flares to life, and Sonder, you feel uh, you feel something a little bit different for once. Uh, with a flush of life, this tiny gargoyle creature emerges. What's going on? Oh, oh, you got you found your place somewhere. You found yourself someplace nasty. Yes, you might. Something terrible might be afoot. Hmm. I'll watch your back, I guess. Mm. I I contact with Sonder. <laughs> eye contact with small cat. Breaks eye contact, continues on. <laughs> <laughs> now I reached an understanding. <laughs> you continue up. And, uh, yeah. Do you listen at the door again? Yes. The process repeats. The process repeats. You ping the next area, and this time it, the door opens almost all too easily, as if responding to your inquiry. Kachung. You, you feel like the next room is increasingly wrong. Guys, peeks in. Is that a nest? Big old nest in the middle of the room. Understands in the doorway to be a wall to stop the oh, rabbit. It's too late. He slipped past. It's too late. The rabbit's in. Uh, Damn. This guy's pats the nest. You pat the nest. Don't touch. Touch the room again. Good straw. Hmm. Still deeper in. This thing wants you running. Wants you running and following and panicking. Wants to tire you out. Hmm. Does Thunder? <laughs> they make noises. They're like, uh, uh, am I just gonna look? What is the? There seems to be a significance to the stuff that they're hoarding around themselves. Yeah. Looking at, at these vases. Looking at these vases, they all contain different reliefs. A lot of them borderline draconic. A lot of them covered in blooms. A lot of them centering around this very concept of death, the afterlife, etc. Seems to be the big focus here. Death, ferryman, nest. Coins. <laughs> he pings the room again. He pings the room again. Does there, like, any anything? It's... As any as... signs that anything that has th thoughts has ever been in this room? Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, this is very deliberately created. You get the feeling that this path that's out in front of you is meant to symbolize something. It's, you, you can tell it's very important that these objects are in the order they're in. Like, literally, it is of the utmost importance that they are arranged exactly like they are, and, uh... You get the feeling that whoever arranged this would get very upset if you messed with anything. Oh, funny you say that. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is, meanwhile, has immediately popped into this nest and has picked up this thing. Okay, you pick up the vase. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a heavy-ass vase, Skyus. He looks inside of it. You look inside the vase. There's nothing inside, but the outside is gorgeously adorned. Hmm. I don't know where we're at, but this place seems pretty nice. He takes the vase and keeps walking this way. <laughs> you carry the vase with you. All right, please just, just don't go ahead of us. Guys, thinks about that. Look, I don't even know what we are going up against. At least, just don't. 
<laughs> he just <laughs> seems to be frustrated. This guy is, uh, raises a hand upwards uh, for a second. Uh, but if I'm being honest, though, he, uh, he kind of uh, points around a bit and then points back at you. If we stand here still, we're just going to die anyways, right? Then I understand. I'm not saying we shouldn't move. Yeah. Okay. Sonder, Sonder is, Sonder listens again. Listens in quotations. Um, he's looking for intent. Like, does it want, like, what does it want? Is it trying to, is it just trying to upset them? Or is there, like, an end goal here? Or is this just, like, a fun game? Okay. Um, scanning for intent. Give me a roll to die. Ah. Oh, ah. God. <laughs> oh, we, I forgot. You're locked into black. We're clashing. <laughs> so, give me a roll to do versus this. Okay. So, you can sense some amount of intent in here. This thing desperately wants to ferry you to the afterlife, and it's doing its best to make an afterlife of what it can. The ingredients in the city are so scattered. The best it can do is gather a bunch of coffins, objects of religious significance, and then guide you down the river Styx. It's trying to push you towards the point, towards your end. It wants you to travel through this maze, and it wants you to perish on the far side. That much is simple. Hmm. The spiral contorts inwards. Guys, thanks for a second. Guys, thanks for a second. Guys, thanks for a hard second. What if we just went through the floor? <laughs> It'd be easy. I... Can we? Yeah. I can do it right now. Uh, give it a try. No, all right. He, still holding the vase and the coin in his hand, immediately you notice a flare-up of magic around him, and the floor beneath him. I'm gonna roll to do versus God. Yeah, uh, no, this is this is another <laughs> clash. You're within something else's space. Yeah, clash with this. You got it. I think I get a weird bonus here. I don't remember. You, you get a 1d6 to transmutation. Yep. Yeah, no, Skyus immediately oh. feels this flare up inside of him, and you both sense a weird spike in magic immediately as the floor around you begins to droop inwards. Okay. So, what you do is you reach down and you respond to a magic being with magic of your own kind. Yeah. And you know what it does? It gets fucking mad at you. <laughs> Too bad. You, um, you, uh, you feel the entire, you feel, you feel this place shift and jump again, and almost the world starts to hop and contort, and then you're back in the first room again. It hops back and forth as you try to find a way, simply put, out of this place. Give me another clash. Sure. Uh, it hated that so much. Yeah. <laughs> Flash. <sighs> Skyus, you feel it writhe and shriek again as it shifts over to this configuration. He, uh, he thinks to himself a little bit. Oh, okay, 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 okay. He, uh, he kind of walks around this way. You know, this is not nearly as bad as last time, I gotta say. Good thing, I'm actually able to stay calm this time due to having such nice good dudes around here. Remember correctly, you're like an expert on this, right? Y yes, yes. Yeah. This guy is still holding the vase, uh, starts walking this way, and then opens up this door. You move back in this direction, and almost going along with your narrative, it shifts back this way. Oh. No more loopies, alright. He then starts, keeps walking this way. He, uh, <laughs> he's waiting for uh, Amai and Sonder to come through. Yeah. Keeps walking, keeps walking this way. Mmm, we haven't been down here yet. He then cracks open this door. 
that door swings open before you can even arrive at it and just opens out. It, it's just it's just a wide opening. Oh, this is convenient. Huh? Sonder, oh. can you roll to Sonder. die for me again? You will roll to die, absolutely. Sonder, your sense of intent shifted again. At first, it wanted to drive you in, carry you to the underworld, and literally, in that second that this bunny boy touched the ground and caused all of those problems, you that can wants spend... us to go away. Yeah, no, it opened the fucking <laughs> door for you and told you to leave. Sonder, <laughs> Sonder, what do you do? Two lizards challenging. <laughs> <laughs> Skies, have you gone outside? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Sonder and Amai. <laughs> Amai. Silent in the house. Yeah, Amai doesn't leave. <laughs> you know what? I think Sonder's, Sonder's formulating a plan. He looks at the coin that he took from Amai. Uh, is Amai still tethered to anything? Amai is, yeah. Something's still mm. deep within the house. Sonder comes to the conclusion that he wants it to come to him. <laughs> Do you exit as well? He does. He comes to the conclusion that inside of its own domain, they're not going to get anywhere. Um, yeah. But if it was waiting until nightfall, that means it's going to come after. It's going to come after him eventually. Bra fucking vo. Am I? What's the plan? <laughs> um, seeing them both leave, he's like, okay. Hmm. He's gonna do one attempt. Okay. Uh, he is going to hold under that that connection. He's gonna hold it up to his heart, and he's going to uh, try and uh, channel his experience with uh, creatures like this to try and empathize with them. Ah, of course. I see. Give me a roll to do, add your 1d6 bonus. All right. Ah, I see. Okay, it's gonna clash with you. Oh my. You empathize with this thing. You reach out, you try to touch it, and you try to show sheer sympathy. And you know what it does? It sends a simple call back. You see its form on the far side of the room, charging at you, reaching out one great clawed hand and in that moment your instincts kick and you dive mm -hmm. backwards into the abyss you don't know where you are you don't know where you are but this place is small and smells kind of bad <laughs> <laughs> sky is you like look around for a second oh <laughs> well, you found your way out, so that's good. This guy is kind of scratching his head, and, you can count, and if anyone were in the room, they'd be able... Oh, now they're in the room. Uh, There's he, only darkness. Ah, here, hold on. Let, not me, let, me, let me move you all over. Okay, doink, doink, doink. That's two of you. Oops. You come back, too. Uh, doink, 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 doink. Doink. Controlled by the should it enable you. Doink. Doink. Controlled by all players. Can you see through the eyes of the Skyus now? Uh, yes. This is Skyus' okay. eyes now. Yeah, no. Uh, popping back in, you both uh, you both can noticeably see Skyus' attitude's actually a lot different in this moment than it was a little bit ago. He's no longer the being chippy and cheery and whatnot, he, uh, but he does look at the both of you. Well, looks like we made it out, so that's good. Amaya uh, is sweating <laughs> as he just, like, takes a knee and takes a breath before standing back up. Yeah, I can... Sandra watches Amai. You okay? 
And that's something I haven't felt before. It revealed itself to me. Just for a little. Uh, this guy is going to kind of tilt his head at him um, with that. Oh, and what'd you learn from that? <laughs> it's quite temperamental. <laughs> Certainly seems so. Walk it in there, kind of figured if we showed any sign of weakness or concern for a second, it'd probably eat us up. He smiles. <laughs> yeah. It's against this appliance. <laughs> this guy is actually takes a step uh, forward and kind of like leans around and like kind of peers at Senri for a little bit. How about you? Uh, I honestly thought you handled yourself pretty well in there. That was some fairly decent magic. And then Senra looks over at Sonder and is like, I sensed you doing a lot of shit. And then says nothing. <laughs> Sonder looks, looks the cat in the eye. Yeah, the cat looks at you and is like, I ain't saying shit if you don't. <laughs> Perfect. They understand each other. <laughs> Sonder oh. pings this area. Where are they? You. you He's just this. looking for, for any, any anything familiar, I guess. Or anything. anything if there's oh. anything else in here. Anything, anything familiar. He doesn't care. Anything. Anything familiar? Well, hmm. yeah, you've been here once or twice. Oh, fantastic. Cool. Great. <laughs> you've been, um, you recognize this place. Yeah. Come out into the sunshine. This is the old noble district. Oh, in the gambling house. Yeah. You come Ooh. outside. And you look around. And you notice it's getting a little later in the day. And Sonder, you know that thing will be back. It absolutely will. And there are two other people it's attached to, as far as he knows. Yes. <laughs> this guy is holding the vase that he stole and still flipping his coin, kind of sits there and says, yeah, you, you flipped the vase! <laughs> well? I only have a sand. Is there any... Are there supposed to be other people on this map? Yeah. Oh, there they are. Everyone yeah. loaded in. We're good. Right, we're good. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling to load in. Oh, yeah, roll 20 is starting to chug a little. It's yeah. fine. Sonder uh, watches fine. Skyus have the things. It's like, well, you're going to die. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> He's just kind of like, eh. Amaya um, 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 places his hand on Skyus' shoulder. Yes. How about you uh, come with me? He kind of tilts his head a little bit and then kind of shrugs. Okay. Um, <laughs> You have a. Do you have a place you need to be tonight? He thinks yes. Will he answer that? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, if so, I have a place where at least if we're together, we won't be caught out. That thing. You upset it quite a bit. If it comes and finds you, I don't think there's going to be a chance to <sighs> talk it out. Mmm, yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. He kind of uh, smiles a little bit at that. You know, it's my third time being marked for death. Sundered <laughs> is not surprised. Sundered's <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, man, you know what, I believe this. Sundered <sighs> steps up to Amai, if you're going to take care of that one. He takes out a business card and hands it to Amai. Uh, things comes after either of you. Let me know. I'll keep it in mind. You, you're very useful. S slow blink. <laughs> Sonder, Sonder slow blink and uh, says nothing. I think you. Sonder slow blink and fucks off. I think he's got yeah. somewhere to be. He yells her back, thank you for your time. <laughs> <laughs> he looks back at Amaya and gives him a nod. One by one. Fucks mm -hmm. off immediately. <laughs> it's yeah. gone. You spread out into the city. Hmm. Well, not everyone, I guess. Cassius. You what? wander across. <laughs> you wander across that same old bridge, feeling the dread build in your body. Second time today, huh? You look up at the church. Cassius, how does that place make you feel? Uncomfortable. Definitely. 
Is this where the string is leading me? <clears throat> past. Just past. Off in this direction. You need to say goodbye to this place. But you can't help but look up and over, and that same thought echoes through your head, a burning mark on it. You exhale. Breath still fresh hanging in the air. As you think fairly heavily about this, you buckle down. Do you keep walking? He keeps walking. If it had been blue, I think he would have got it. They got <laughs> I think he comes up with a plan in his head of what he's going to do about that later. Yeah. He keeps going. I think he's, he's like, okay, I'll come back here later. You know, he's got he's coming up with like a little plan as he's walking by. He sees Silly and he's like, oh. Yeah, you, you see the figure hanging by the uh, the entryway, and she sort of smiles. Well, welcome back, I guess. I, uh, I have business in the old noble district this time. Walked all the way back just to figure out I had to come back. I see. Well, don't disturb the place. It's a graveyard now, after all. I see. <laughs> Cassius? Yes? Are you afraid? Yeah, kind of. Hmm. I see. She walks forward and seems to focus in on you very intently. Hmm. Well then. She reaches down, pulls something out, she starts to rapidly shift a piece of paper between her fingers, one after the other, fold after fold, glorious. And then she shifts and she places it in front of her face. Quack. <laughs> does he laugh? He does, he does. <laughs> oh, I got one. <laughs> Delightful. That's the one for me today. <laughs> he watches it her fold it. He's like, what's she going to do? He didn't know her very well, but she seems very like elegant and kind of cryptic. And then she does that and he just goes, what? <laughs> She's like, hmm, smile brightened. Good work. <laughs> very pleased with herself. She returns back to her church. And Cassius, you turn back to the road ahead and the noble district in front of you. And that's where we'll call it. <laughs> Thank you everybody for sticking with us up to this point. I know this was long. I decided no. to carry it out. I'm I I I am I am sorry for extending over, but Jesus Christ, I was I was having a really good time. <laughs> and then one more thing, right? Oh. Yes. yes. The knock fan art Don't and forget. one more thing. I think okay. this would be the point to say if you're uh, first uh, if you're uh, tired, right? Yes. Yeah. If, you're, if, you're, if it's late and you're tired, you can if go. If it's late and you're tired, go to bed. Please. Um, but... I gotta go to bed! Go to bed, Amy! Thank Bye you so much for playing! Goodbye! Goodbye! So we're continuing next week where we all die, yes. yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd love to. Yeah. Right. I was not in danger at any point. You weren't. Uh, so are we starting with, uh, fan art? Yes. Yeah. We start with fan art, then we move to the next thing. Uh. Um. Everybody hop into the stream with J-Man, and this will show off the fan art. Yay! <laughs> Okay. Everybody watching? Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. So, first up, thank you very much, Lister 2020, as per usual, for putting this Imgur together. And let's get started. So, first up, from Lister 2020, we have One Wish Left Beta version 0 0.01. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're excited for beta version 2 next weekend. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then from Zephyr Zers, we got Nocti's hint, hint Corner Bar. 
Owl Beta. Owl Beta fucking died fucking instantly. Fucking died instantly. <laughs> Literally the second it was yeah. up, it got hit to the ground and annihilated. Yeah. Yep. Gonna have and to make that up. Uh, <laughs> that from to Western 2020. You're a Kobe! Kobe. I mean, sorry, you're a Kobe, Kobe Shonen. <laughs> <laughs> and then from Nervous Dragon. That's so cute! Aww. It's Sakti stealing Solve's clothes for day nine of Stoptober. <laughs> <laughs> Happens. Then from us, we got Seely. Aww, oh, fantastic. Uh... And from G.I. Joe, we got a Silla. Update a Silla. He's so pretty! Look at him. He's pretty. so pretty. Dude. Dude. Dude, Silla's new look. Okay. And from Kagat Trashbin. Alright, you're my newly appointed emotional support crutch. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> oh, it's my Oh, oh! Is she is? I am undercover in camouflage. We ate one of them. She I can't wait to make them. friends with the slime. The slime. Oh, it's good. a trash bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's beautiful. Worm. Beautiful, beautiful worm. Beautiful worm. <laughs> From Chad, <gasps> get the Razumba. Oh <laughs> Razumba. 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 I love my son. <laughs> oh man, I love him too. Oh, yes. 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 Perfect. Yo, man. is dying. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh no, Jimin. That's what yeah. After. Yeah. There he is. The the graspers. <laughs> my my son. Big fingers. Big fingers. Grappler, be careful. I'm not going to do this. Oh, it's oh, my heart. Yeah. There they okay. are. They're not going to get grabbed by the ghoulies today. Yes. Shame. <laughs> yes. I'm not going to survive as well. Oh, this is an older so... one, but a very nice one. That's There's nice. secret oh, sad in this pretty. one if you look closely. There is. <laughs> she fucking is. Don't, don't look. Don't look. Don't 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 look, 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 do Oh, yes. Some bastard. Bastard. And then... Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, the vibes. Nice. Yes. Listen. You <laughs> chose to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Melias. Ah, <laughs> oh, excellent. Oh. Yes, 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 yes. Living for it. <gasps> yeah, yeah, it's the boy. boy. Oh, it's the cat. I love him. The cat. The cat literally made eye contact with Sonder and is like, "That is officially outside my pay grade." <laughs> <laughs> I'm not feeling that. I don't. I can't be bothered. I can't be asked. You know, that's oh, the proper choice. Thank you so much, Alexia. Yeah. Yeah. He's finally ready. Yeah. It's finally time. I can't. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> He's free. Oh. I can't wait to bully yes, that shit. Oh. Hey! Oh, Do I make so you cute. uncomfortable, Alexia? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Very much. <laughs> and then from 2020, Do Not Disturb, he is sleeping. He's sleeping? <laughs> oh god, so oh, I god. had entirely different plans if you guys obviously went yeah. to the end of that. But, uh, no. no. <laughs> No, no so I'm, I'm leaving. Gonna Here's what death. happened. So I'm just gonna force it to face I'll tell you exactly past. what happened in Skye's brain. Three yeah. times in a row, he tried to do something, and then he got told, Bitch, you're dumb, and he went, Okay, fuck you all, and he decided to leave. <laughs> Skye's is pretty excited he does not like Amai. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no. <laughs> that's what happened. Oh, my God. Okay, next up. God, that's spicy. There's one, <laughs> rema there's one remaining thing. J-Man, are you prepared? Yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Um, yes. Let's start. Advice time. Okay, everyone. We had a very good session. But at the same time, I think there are a lot of points for improvement. 
There are multiple areas in which you could improve your run. Uh... Such as bringing Noctua along. Weren't you, didn't you, like, in, in, like vote to, like, leave yourself at some point? Like you I did not on. want to engage with no the slimy lady. Noctua, <laughs> you could have come, and then you would be on this fun adventure with me. No, I absolutely refuse. She, she's but she's not even with me anymore. She's slimy. She's slimy. No. <laughs> Noctua, she's not even with me anymore. No, um, that's one point of improvement. Point of improvement, too, um... You put rocks on your pizza. Rocks on pizza? Like putting rocks on it is like better? That's a bad or... thing. <laughs> <laughs> is it better to put rocks on it or is it better not to put rocks on it? Tactically speaking, it is wise to put rocks on the pizza. It is a power move. That's I... what I was saying. <laughs> I don't agree. <laughs> <laughs> but um, ultimately, the final point of advice I have for you all is um, please enjoy Forgotten Indigo, One Wish Left. And vote to get Noctua re-included into the series again. I don't okay? see why you're complaining. My route was skipped entirely. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming out and watching. Holy fuck! Have a good night, everybody. Have a good night, everybody. Have a good night. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.